Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My one day this week, right, I came in this morning, it's like a sauna in here. The, the Primal Lifestyle people last night obviously had the heating on so hot. So we just came in, we turned the aircon to freezing cold and everything. It got warmer and it got warmer and it got warmer. So we switched it off, opened all the windows and everything. The aircon is not on, right, it's all switched off. But the thing above me is pumping out, boiling, boiling, boiling hot air. Looks even making my hair stand on end. Anyway, good morning. Shall we do the early bed special? I've got two early bird specials for you today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know why they put the bag inside that one, but there you go. Right, are you ready? You know uh, this is our regular stock. You know what the early bird is. You know that we... Right, have we already crashed the price? Okay, Couture Noir, script on black. I've also got it on red, coming up in a minute. Now, it will be, it is 5.49. And it will be 5.49 again at midnight tonight. But for today and today only while stocks last, the early bird today is going to 2.99 half metre. 2.99 for half a metre. That's not right, is it? Who's done that? Hayley! Hayley, that's the wrong number. Anyway, 2.99, take advantage. Take advantage. No, but now, is it, is it my glasses or is it wobbly? Is it waving? Have I got a ruler? Yeah, here you go, hang on. Yeah, that's definitely wavy, isn't it? I've never noticed that fabric being wavy before. Be interesting to see if it's wavy in the red. Oh, more people in baskets than we've got stock of. I'm not surprised. It shouldn't have been two... Oh, no, I can't do that. It shouldn't have been 2 .99. It should not have been 2 .99. It's as simple as that. Be interested to see what they've done with the red one, then. I wonder why that one had a bag in it and the red one's not got a bag in it. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Uh, you know where it's going. It's a mystery. Toya, my mate Toya, that. Right. You'll be glad to know the second. Oh yeah, it's definitely wavy, look. It's not funny, how, how long have we been doing this fabric and we've never ever known? No, hang on. Is that one wavy? That one's not wavy. 
Maybe it just goes wavy and let me just let me just square it off. Hang on. Right, that's it square. Is it wavy? Dunno. I think it's Bruce's camera work myself. Uh, it is wavy camera work. Have we gone down? We got down. Two ninety nine at two ninety nine. Keep going through. Keep going through. Keep going through. While you go through, I should just read out a few of the messages. So we're up to date. Ema says good morning. Patricia says good morning. Jan says good morning. Lovely sunny day. Marina says morning. Back in the car park. Only two more to go. Fiona says morning. How did your sunbathing go this week? Uh, so it's snowed yesterday, Fiona. It snowed. Um, Carol says morning, so please have you back. Only for one day. I'm only back for one day. In fact, I had such dreams about this place last night. I did my notice in my dream last night, just so you know. Also, I, I drove, I don't know what this means, if there's any dream um, interpreters out there. I did a lot of driving up to a T junction and just stopping in time. Before I was on Hannah's driving test, I think. Morning, John. Love to see you. Have a great day. Sue says good morning. Hilary says good morning. Bright and beautiful. Margaret says good morning. Woken up to snow again. The quilt behind you looks fabulous. Julie says morning, John. We've missed you. Julie, it's only been a week. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Morning, Mr. Lovely. I think the early bird fabric looks wavy because the script font. Oh, there you go. Neve says good morning. Kay says good morning. It's lovely and sunny in Staffordshire. You're saying it's lovely to have me back, right? But next week, you'll be sick of the sight of me. I'm in every single day next week except Wednesday. So I'm in Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week. I know, at my age. I, I bumped into, what's that lovely girl in the mornings on um, Gems? It Lindsay. Lindsay came in, she went, how are you, Petal? And I was like, oh, I'm old. Oh, you're doing ever so well. And I was like, no, that's not the response I wanted, but never mind. 2.99, 2.99. Lovely. Two nights I keep going through, keep going through. Lynn says good morning, gorgeous man. Don't know what she's watching. Marina says you were back in the country lanes. No, no, I was quite enjoying myself. Uh, morning, love the voice of the, oh, the video of the cats. Oh, they're having such a good time. Susan hasn't checked the weather yet. Yeah, so the cats have been out, the cat flaps have been fitted. The first day I had to hold it open for them to come in and out because they couldn't work it out. Then I realised why they're having trouble coming back in because it's in a French window, French doors. So in the dining room, it's at normal height. On the outside, it's quite a drop down. So I've had to build them a set of steps to walk up to the cat flap on the outside. Anyway, now, so last night I thought, when I went to bed, I thought, do you know what? A lot of the cat flaps, they stay in all night. I don't want them going out in the middle of the night. 10 minutes later, there was this thumping noise downstairs and Luther was literally like this. Ooh, ram no it won't open Ooh, ram like that. and he was ramming against anyway so i let him out i let them out when i got up this morning ruth was fast asleep there no ghost and i was like oh no anyway he came pottering back when i put the breakfast out he came pottering back in so they're fine 2.99 keep going through for this morning dulcie it's so cold she says morning john looking forward to seeing louisa later thank you katie Fiona says, hopefully you're awning this month as they're predicting a heat wave. Oh, are they? Are they? Well, it's really good because this month, I've got the last 10 days off this month. That's quite nice. Not, I've not got booked yet. I told you, it's just the way the rotor's gone. Uh, what would you want me to do? Today's menu. Today's menu. Here it is. Coming up today on the show, we've got tools and lighting at 8 o'clock. You wouldn't know it with all these lights on the desk. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the curved EPP wall hanging with Louisa Galt. Louisa Galt is in the building, everybody. She's getting so much love sent to her already. Um, Justin, the husband, came in and then went. So we don't know where he's gone. This is what she's doing in her first hour. Oh, hang on, hang on. Something's happened with my... Oh, there you go. Let's have a look at the picture. Oh, I love it. So that's the rainbow version. And then there's the other version. Look, gorgeous, that's our first hour. That's our first hour. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got Alice and Glass Fabrics again. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got FPP Cushion and Wonky Square Quilt. The FPP Cushion in the blue is gorgeous. 
Right, here you go. Oh, look. Look, then. I, they had sunshine up, obviously, up, up to Louisa's way, didn't they? I love those. Oh, now, look. They, if you set the triangles differently, you get a different pattern, do you? Does it look differently? Or is it the same? No, no, it's the same. It's, oh, it's lovely. There's the white one. There's the, well, the grey one. The grey one. And we've also got a navy blue one as well. Try it. All right, let me get, let me get the navy. Look, yes, it's going to look gorgeous in my house, this one. Look. Yeah, if I say it long enough. Look, look at the size. Super size cushion. <gasps> yeah, one of my cats could almost fit, uh, fit on there. And then, also that hour. No, no, she, not just that. She's got the, what's it called? The wonky square? That's this one behind me here. I think Bruce has got a picture of it somewhere. Hang on, we're just finding it. Oh, oh, that's an arty picture. Anyway, it's hanging on the wall behind me. And there's the three colourways. There's three colourways. There's a blue colourway, a green colourway, and that colourway. Oh, there's the green one. And there's a blue one, which we've not met. Well, like, actually, I love that one. That one's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, uh, that's till 11 o'clock. Then at 12 o'clock, we've got sewing machines. We've got more than sewing machines. We've got all sorts. Of, oh, got the, my overlocker, my favourite overlocker. Uh, coming up at 12 o'clock as well. There are three ways. We're going to try and work on something special now. We don't know what it is yet. But anyway, there are three ways for you to get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is by Facebook Live. Which are the ones I've been shouting out? Oh, the Luther story's got me cracking up, says Julie. Michaela says, good morning, John. Love to see you again. Feels like an eternity. Four days. You would need three of that size for each of your cats. I know, I would indeed. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, now you can also get in touch with us via the website, www.sayingstreet.com. I had to think where I was then. Sayingstreet.com. Uh, what you do is you go to the website. There you go. Click on watch the show live. Uh, and then what you do is the box on the right-hand side there. Hannah's going to write in it now. Hello. That's all you're getting today. Uh, oh, no. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it's, can I have it on the big telly, Bruce, please? I can't even see it on there. Hello, I'm Hannah. There you go. Hello, I'm Hannah. It says, right, if you scroll down the page, there's the two early birds. Now, uh, yeah, keep going down. Uh, no, sorry. No, you're not going down. The black one's sold out. I was thinking, where is everything? Where is everything? You have to click on pre-order. Yeah. <laughs> click on pre-order. Oh, there is everything we've got for the next five hours. Five long hours. Of fun. Of fun, obviously. So there's the lights and the rulers and the book. Then we've got Louisa's kits and patterns on their own as well. Don't normally do them on patterns on their own, do we? So there's all of got and some other bits and bobs you might need from that hour. Then we've got the Alice and Glass Fabricos. Oh, hang on, we got there yet. Yeah, there we go. Alice and Glass Fabric. Oh! Selling out already. Look, selling out already. Bundle, gorgeous bundle there. And two smaller bundles that Hannah's put together for you, a purple one and a green one. Then we've got some patterns from Lou Orth. Patterns, rulers, rulers, patterns, rulers, patterns. Oh, yes, now, this lady, Yoko Saito, how do I say it? Yoko Saito. I'm going to say Yoko Saito. I'm sure um, I'll be told the right way. Yoko Saito. Anyway, we've got a few bits and bobs of hers. Then we've got the kits for Louisa's cushions. 22. Now, there's enough to do the front of the cushion. The front of the cushion. You have to get your own backing. Pattern there. Uh, then we've also got the pattern for the topsy-turvy. And then the bundles. It's not called topsy-turvy. It's called... Wonky squares, wonky squares. I'd say it was a bit bigger than a lap quilt myself, but there you go. Then we've got, if it was a bottom quilt, we'd be all right, but not a lap. Then, oh, now, I've not got that machine here, but they're back in, back in stock. They're, they're, yeah, and then there's your sewing machines. Some books. Overlocker! Oh, I love that overlocker. I'm going to get one. In fact, I spoke to Elna this week about it. No, I said you've still got mine, so I'm going to... You can keep it, actually, Hannah, and I'll just get that one. Anyway, and that's your day. And before you know it, it's one o'clock, and we're going home. Right, so let's start with some... Oh, that one switched itself on. Oh, oh, yes, right. 
It is now time to reveal. Yes. It is now time to reveal our five Search for a Star finalists. Earlier in the year, we asked you, our viewers, no comma, who would like to apply to be, who would like to apply, who wrote this? Who would like to apply to be in the next Same Street, Same Star? We are overwhelmed by the amount of applicants. I don't know why some of them are um, highlighted, right? We have watched hours and hours of audition videos and have somehow managed to choose our final five. <laughs> I don't, this isn't, nobody said who wrote this, I don't know who wrote this. Our five very talented finalists will be on your screens next week, starting on Monday the 4th of April. Oh, and now I need to say something, because on the master schedule, it's got the same person on two of the days, don't know if she's doing two days. Uh, Monday 4th of April through to Friday the 8th of April. We have dedicated an hour each day to each contestant and they will be on the show demonstrating live. We're handing over the choice of who is crowned our winner to you, our viewers. And we will open voting next Friday once you've watched all five demos. So not like Dancing on Ice Vinyl where you started voting before they'd even dance. Joining us next week... No, no, not joining us. Join us next week to help choose our next Sewing Street Sewing Star. It's free to vote, and you can only vote once. You can only vote once. Right, shall we have a look at the five finalists? Here they are. Sarah Brangwin, Emily Roberts, Yvette Coleman, is that? Cotman, Yvette Cotman. And then we've got Ruth Springer, and we've got Sandy, oh my word, Millie Chip Masochi. That'll get shortened. Is that right? Masochi. We'll just call her Sandy, yeah. We'll just call her Sandy. Sandy Double M, that's what we'll call her. Anyway, so they're on for the each, each day next week. So I'm on every day next week apart from Wednesday. So they're all on with me apart from Wednesdays. They'll all be on at some time during the show. You have to watch each of them. Then on the Friday, you can start voting after the Friday. Right. Oh, should we get on then? Should we get on? Oh, I'm gasping for a drink. I can't tell you. No, no, I've got one here, but I've made it too um, made it too hot. Right, back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. Now you think it's just a torch, don't you? You think it's and it is a really, really good torch. I can't shine it that way because it'll shine straight into the camera. And I got told off when I shined it into the camera the first time. Shone it into the camera. But look, right, hang on. Switch. Oh, let me switch on that way. Right. Uh, click, click. Two little clicks and it switches on. So really, well, actually, if I do it like that. No, no, it's right, Bruce. Right, so it's a torch, but it's also da -ba -da 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 -da, a lamp. Look, so if you go away, you charge it with a USB charger. It's underneath here, hang on. You charge it with a USB charger. Now, I've got one of these. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, I know Julie Vaughan got one because she missed out the first time. She got it the second time it was in. Last time we had... That price isn't right. I thought it was more than that. Do you see that funny? I always thought it was £54, this. £45.99. £45.99. And they've left the split payments on. No, no, no. Last time we had all these on, the four split payments were on. This shouldn't be on split pay. Should it? Because it's everything over £99 is our split pay. Do you know what? The cold air's beginning to come in. Are you feeling cool air now? Is it coming from that studio or is it ours? Or is it the ghostly presence of who? £45.99. So you can look, there's the lamp. It switches itself off when you close it there. Uh, you charge it up here in the little um, thingy at the side there. I don't know what that's called. Dock. Dock. USB port, is it? A chargey hole, and it charges up with this, the USB. What are you looking at? It's a different one now. It's got a different code, this one. My phone one doesn't fit in there. It's one of the curvy ones. It's curvy all the way around, that one, Bruce. Look. Type C. Oh, Type C it is. Type C. The curvy chargey hole goes in there like that. And then you put that into either your computer, I put mine in the computer, or a pluggy for your phone or anything like that, sewing machine. And it's brilliant, so you switch it on. Two, two dots like that switches it on. It's ever so strong. I don't know if I can show you this. Like, if I turn around, can you see that on the wall at the back? Oh, yeah, look. 
And that's in the full studio bright lights. Look, don't try and follow it <laughs> for our cats. There you go, I'll hold it still. Look at that. that. And that's in bright studio lights. Imagine if it's a little dark village at night time. Eight hours it largest last last between last year char char charges. John, great to see you. Could you tell me how long it lasts between charges? Eight hours, D, this one. Eight hours. And that's when you've got it on all the time. If you only switch it on and off, on and off, on and off. Let's see that man up there. Oh, got a roof. I've got a fifu. Right, absolutely amazing project. So useful. Very bright torch and lovely lamp. Excellent for crafting and camping from Jerry in Devon. Thank you, Jerry. It is brilliant. When you put it down like that and you open it up like that, there you go. Have it in your car at all times. Actually, I've got a USB stick in my... I've got a... So you, you can plug it in while you charge. Oh, now, please be careful because there's those new phone rules, aren't they? They could think... Hello? They could think that's a phone if you've put... They couldn't then. Apparently, I read somewhere that you can, it's, you can even get fined if you're a passenger on your phone. Don't know how that works. But anyway, anyway... For other, no, I think you're all right on the bus because you're not driving the bus, are you, Hannah? No, they've not let her recently. Forty-five ninety-nine. It's a brilliant, brilliant lamp. Okay, be careful because uh, ooh, uh, a third, over a third of the stock has gone. Over a third of the stock of this morning's stock has gone. Crazy Lorraine, can you wish happy Steve a birthday? Steve, happy birthday from Lorraine. She loves you. She says you can buy her whatever you want today from the show. Lynn says on Skype. There is Hobby Maker. What does that mean, Lynn? There's Hobby Maker along the bottom of the screen. John, that blank lamp is blocking your face. There you go. I've moved it now. I've moved it now for you, June. Darlene says, Morning, John. I treated myself to the Maxi Task Lamp. Oh, my word. The quality is outstanding. I love it. Got on split pay, which means it's affordable. If you're looking for a workspace light, I can't recommend it highly enough. Oh, Darlene, thank you. Oh, Julie, ha, Julie, how have you chosen your winner already? Oh, I did a workshop with Sarah at the Stitch Festival. She's fabulous. Which one was Sarah? I'll have a look again in a minute. Good morning, John and team. Off to a wedding, so I'll catch up later. Love, Julie in Chirk. Now, don't you be blaming me for not reading that out. I've read it out today. Um... They're cheap on Fridays, aren't they, weddings? Yeah, that's why Delphine went to one last week. No, Claire, this is the oldest shirt I possess. I know, I know. 45.99, keep going through. Oh, another message. Good morning, John. A wonderful start to the day with you on Sewing Street. Hope you had a good time while you're off. Chris, Chris, oh, Chris. I, uh, um, what should I tell you? I um, had my cat flat fitted. I did my VAT, I did my accounts, uh, I finished draft two of my book, I approved the cover, the front cover of my book, I sold an awful lot of my book to Sewing Street. Um, what's the, what else have I done? I've done very little else. Oh, it's, I couldn't go out because the cats, I didn't want to leave the cats on the road. Anyway, 45.99, I better move on, look at the time. I don't know which one it is though, Bruce, so I don't know. Which one? Okay, what well, morning I spent an unexpected day in hospital yesterday. Oh, you're a welcome sight, John, to help me recover today. Happy Friday. Emma, what happened? What happened, my love? Oh, what's the matter, Bruce? Oh, Bruce really likes that message, Emma. He's married. Oh, he doesn't like it because you've been in hospital. I don't quite understand Bruce today. Oh, he likes it when Hannah says, John, there's a message on your bottom. Bruce thinks that's funny. Not your message, Emma. So, sorry, it's got nothing to do with you, Emma. But we hope you're feeling better soon. Hugs and kisses, Bruce says. Hugs and kisses. And he's married. He's married. Lynn says, on the bottom of the screen on Sky, normally there's a list of programmes each hour and I can pick what to record, but I can't this morning. We can't do anything about that. That's Sky, I'm afraid. And our, I don't even know who's in charge of it here. Nobody will, nobody will admit to it. No one will admit to it. No one will take responsibility for it. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them, but I can't. 
Click on YouTube afterwards. I don't know if she wants to know which one's to video, you see, doesn't she? Just video the whole lot. Just press your record button and video the whole lot. Anyway. Yvonne, morning John and team. I'm looking forward to the native light. I'm looking for a native light to take to the caravan as the clip on one I have is not good as the native light I have at home. Would well, you know which one's brilliant? Can I do the slim flex what's it ones? No, 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 you're in charge. Okay. Which one to college on to first? <laughs> so I said to take away, because you couldn't take that away to the caravan, could you? So I was suggesting these, right? These, right? Now, I've got one of these, and Dulcie's got one of these. D the reason I say it'd be good to take away is Dulcie's got hers when she's on location, uh, doing a film, right? She takes hers with her, she plugs it in, in the hotel, and it's the most, oh, hang on, it's not, um, I'm not plugged in. Hang on. Oh, this is, this is a USB plug, this one. This one's a USB plug, it goes in the side of my computer. All right, hang on, I've, got, I've only got one USB plug, so I can only show you one at a time. So, the black one first. Got lots in stock, lots of these in stock, which is brilliant. Now, what we love about this, first of all, let me take it off the table, is it's got this clamp, right? This is how it fixes to your table. It's a really, really sturdy clamp, and look how wide it goes. I have mine on the side of my table next to my office, which is a wide, wide, wide table like that. And normally, when you have something like this, doesn't it slowly like work its way to the edge and then snap off? This one doesn't. This one doesn't at all. It plugs into my computer to work it. Now to switch it on and off, you just press the. End. This is this is Hannah's lamp. She have to see. We'll have to do this one first so she can have it back. You see. This, this, well. This is the one Hannah uses in the gallery, right? On, off, on, off, right? But then, watch this. Can you see? It's dimming down and dimming up. I don't know if there's such a thing as dimming up. Uh, but look at this, right? Look at this, right? You can do this with it if you wanted to. It just stays. The gooseneck is fantastic. It just stays wherever you twist it to. That's a bit bright in my face now. Oh, look at how wrinkly my hands are. Oh, I heard something really funny this weekend. Uh, the wrapper may be wrinkled, but the candy ain't any. The candy's just a sweet. Meaning, I might be wrinkly on the outside, but I'm still like a Cadbury's milk tray on the inside. Anyway, didn't work. Uh, $49.99. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the split payment. You can have this home for sixteen sixty six. I think I'm going to have to go and put my smooth chunks on and my t-shirt. It's so hot in here. It's not clicky gooseneck and it's lovely and smooth. You can't feel the, um, the, the vertebrae at all. Beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Look at that lamp there. On, off. Yes, uh, now this is brilliant because what Hannah does is she has it clipped onto the back of the, the desk and then it bends round like this over a keyboard, like that. Because they sit in the dark all day, don't they? Good to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. That's my hay fever starting again. Did Bruce not press the button? Oh, he wasn't. Oh, okay. So in this studio, normally you have a sound desk here next to you, right? Bruce is right the other end of that. So he got down there, but it's too late. I did give him a little bit of a, too left, little bit of a warning. Anyway, 49.99 split pay of 16.66. Do you know that shouldn't be on split pay? Because our split pay here starts at 99 pounds, doesn't it? And you see, I have mine plugged into my computer. So when I come in, I'm working above my computer like that. When I switch my computer off at night time, the light goes off. I don't, because it just takes... Fiona always says, I always say it's not the wrapping paper, but the present inside. There you go. I was trying to say I might be wrinkly on the outside, but inside I'm still as sweet, but it didn't really work. It was, I couldn't, I was going to share the picture on my Facebook, and then I realised what lady, the lady had written on her T-shirt, and I thought, don't think I could share that one. I'll tell you later, I can't say it on there. I'd get, I'd get fired and banned from every television show if I did that. Okay, let's move on to the white one then. Oh, half the stock of the torch is gone. Half the stock of the torch is gone. 
We've only just got it back in. It's so fun. Claire's so funny, right? So when she was in last time, she was like moaning. She went, oh, you sell so many of my lights. And so it was a bad thing. And so it was a bad thing. She'll be watching now. I'm surprised she hasn't, surprised she hasn't messaged him. Does said it's great and very light to carry. Pardon the pun. June says, bless you. Is the light like daylight? Which one, Yvonne? This one, this one's daylight on the, um, this one here, yeah. Right, let's do the white version. Oh, it's here, it's here. They're exactly the same. Obviously, look at the writing, because the white one is white and the black one is black. Our website's wrong. Oh, they've used different pictures. All right, then, hang on. Bye. Oh, that's, that's very bright. There you go, there's the white one, exactly the same. Now, for some reason, we've only got single figures on the white one. Single figures being seven. Seven I've got of these. Now, Claire's at some... Oh, I know why Claire's not here. Well, I don't know if she's gone. They've gone to some... Be aren't, isn't there some beauty show at XL in London this week? That's why Hannah should be there, because she was going to be modelling on it, as the before. 49.99. Inside every oyster there is a pearl. 49 I'd say. I haven't seen Hannah for ages. Good morning, honey bun, says Jill. Ooh. Morning. Uh, you made me smile showing your age video. Hang on. Morning made me smile showing your age. Video. Who has a video nowadays? Well, that is now what it's called. When you car when, caravan, when you video something, isn't it on a video? Oh, you're watching Bridgerton. Oh, I'm so bored. Can't tell you. My own personal opinion. Well, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? Anyway, the next one, they've already started filming the next one. It's called Queen Charlotte. It's a, a prequel. And then there's another one, you know, the little one in the, with the ginger hair and the yellow dress. There's a whole one about her coming up soon. I know. There's 12 books. But I'm a bit bored myself, personally, I'm afraid. Sorry to say, anyone, if anybody worked on Bridgerton. Oh, Bruce, I like this. We went, yeah, I finished watching it the other day with the wife. I haven't watched the whole thing yet, Bruce. Don't spoil it. Okay. Which one am I doing next? Oh, the floor lamp. Right, hang on. Right, hang on. This one. Uh -huh. Oh. Right, I'm going to show you the base first. This one, Dulcie's got this one as well, and I've got this one as well. No, no, Dulcie's got that one and this one. I've got that one, that one, and the turny uppy downy one. Anyway, I'm showing you this bit here first, because when it comes, this is the only bit of assembly you've got to do. You've just got to screw this base to this, and then about here, there's another section. You just slide that bit in, right? Uh, I would show you the base, because it's nice and slender. So if you want it next to your armchair or next to your sofa where you're sewing, you can slide it right the way underneath, so it's right next to you. It's not overly heavy, you can lift it and everything, but it's heavy enough to stop it wobbling, right? Now, this is the bit I've got to show you now, right? So let me bring this down here. Here's the control pad, right? So on there you've got power, on and off. Is it coming on and off? Oh yeah, there you go. There's your power on and off. Then here, you've got color. You've got five different, I'll show you on the desk in a minute. Five different colors, five different brightnesses. So you've got 25 settings. Well, actually you've got 26 settings, but there's 25 settings on this lamp. Right, if you want to look at the tape, oh, how are we gonna do this? Because we haven't got an upstairs camera, have we? Actually, we can do it from there. We can do it, we can do it from there. Right, I'm going to show you the different brightnesses and the different lightnesses, right? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Can you see that? There are your brightnesses. Oh, you don't worry, don't worry. Right, and then... No, they were your colours, sorry. These are your brightnesses. They were your colours. There you go. Five different brightnesses, five different colours. So you can have it on, and again, look at the gooseneck. 
You can do whatever you want with this gooseneck, point it wherever you want it to go. But don't worry, because you get one of these as well with it. Look at that, it's $29.99 on split pay, $119.99. They look lovely, look lovely in whatever room you have them in. These look nice, right? So on here, you've got your on-off switch. Right, that's your on-off switch there. You can have 60 seconds or you can have 10 minutes on the timer. Now, this is where you can go brightness up and down, uh, color up and down. But if you click on that middle one, you get a night light. So that's the 26th one there. You can have it 25%, 50% or 100%. There you've got warm, or you've got cool, or you've got mix. Now what I love about this light, it took me a while to choose which setting I wanted. So I got it the right setting. When you switch it off, I don't think this is the right, oh, yeah, there you go. It's got a battery, you do get the battery with it. With the thing, right? When you, every time you switch it on after, it comes back to the setting that you left it on the last time. So I know which one of these settings makes me look the best on my Facebook Live. I know it's not brilliant, but it's not bad, better than it would be. So every time I switch mine off, switch it back on, it comes back on exactly what you switched it off at the time before. Oh yeah, 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 so uh, you can't really, I don't know if you can see this, it literally, uh, it's got one of the bigger pools, but look, you can see the pool of light there. So if you're in the lounge, or if you're in the dining area, and he's watching the telly, or the other way around, she's watching the telly, um, you can just keep it to the light to on your table, right? The only thing I will say is if you've got two in the same room, you can switch his off with your, with, if you've got one each, you can have fun and secretly switch his off when he's not looking using your remote. Oh, what's Linda found? I love my lamps, got five, but the gooseneck one, when I switch it off, it turns my TV on. So funny. Nice to see you on today. I'm off work with COVID. Oh, Linda, get better soon. I know more people off with it at the moment than in the height of the pandemic. Oh, yes. Oh, because you have to pay for your laptop phone from today, don't you? Oh, and uh, so have you not had one for a month? Oh, she's run out, tried to get more, couldn't get any. So how much are they? They were holding them back, weren't they? I bet they were holding them back. How much are they then? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're not getting miserable. We still have to test before we come in though, you see. So we're gonna have to pay every time we want to test before we come in. Hundred, well, it was on Twitter, wasn't it? There was a man who was a school teacher and his wife was at home with it, right? He was testing, right? And he was negative, 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 right? From, he, he tried to get some more last week and he couldn't get any. And then from today, he's gonna have to pay. And he's like, he wants to make sure that his kids in the school are all right and everything, doesn't he? So, I don't know. I don't know, Hannah couldn't get any either. I've got a few left, so I'll just do it frugally. Anyway, oh, maybe I won't go home. If we just stay in here, I've, there's a mattress. There's a mattress in the museum. Yeah, and yeah, because on, on, when they do sheets on that channel over there, bamboo sheets with Poppy. Anyway. Say that again. Fiona. Oh no, she tested positive on the 21st and she's still positive. That's 10 days, isn't it? 11 days. Oh no, because Vanessa felt she's over hers already. Anyway, let's move on. So that's the black one. I'm not going to do the same with the white, but it's exactly the same, but white. With a white base. Oh, clunk, clunk. Clunk, click every trip. Do you remember that? No. Anyway. 119.99 split pair of 29.99. Now this one should be on split pay, because it's over 99 pounds. So you're all right there. Four, uh, oh, it's four split pay. So all that rubbish they told me the other day about it won't be, four, it won't be split pay, it definitely won't be four-way split pay. Still is. No, but somebody's not taking it off. Well, Kat will be really angry. Because somebody texts Kat so she gets angry. No, we won't anger her. Oh, Yvonne bought one of the white slim lamps. Brilliant. I watched Bridgeton, never realised concealed zips were so accessible then. <gasps> no! Did you see a concealed zip? I didn't, I didn't even notice that. The thing is, they're trying to do that mixing modern. Like, when they went to the ball, the string quartet were playing Madonna's Material Girl, weren't they? 
I sat there going, I know this tune. And then I thought, actually, it's Madonna's material, girl. She's not that old. 119.99, four split pays for 29.99. Remember, we sent you after you've paid the first split pay if you take that option. Lovely. Hundred nineteen ninety nine. Can we do? All right, hang on. Let me move that there. We'll we'll do the big task lab. I'm just going to unplug. I'm getting all messed up here now. Oh, something's gone off. No, at that home you won't have this many lamps to plug. Well, you might do because what's name just said she had five, didn't she? Which one am I doing next then? Oh, this is the one Bruce is going to buy. Is your wife letting you, Bruce? Oh, she's very bossy. I can't wait to meet Bruce's wife. Oh, she does illustrations, so she's getting one of these. Right, okay, let me move the white one out of the way. So, again, you've got that lovely bendy neck look. And one, if you put it up, stays up. How many of these lamps that do that and they go like that after a while? If you want it twisted, you can twist it sideways if you want to. It's just brilliant. But what is fantastic about this lamp, now I need to make sure it's, it's this one we checked earlier. It is, isn't it? On. Right, there's your lamp, right? That, I'll show you these first of all, right? That there is your on-off switch. Then here, hang on, what have I got here? You've got your temperature up five down five your brightness up five down five then this one here is a timer you've got 50 minutes timer on there but this one here this one's brilliant if you put that one on right let me just switch it on you might see it flash right look look at it flashing right what that one is so if you start work in the middle of the day and it's bright sunshine you got your lamp on then as the afternoon goes on, it gets darker. The lamp realises that it's getting darker in the room and gets brighter. And oh, the other way, what's, what's the word for the other end of the... Sh 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 oh, there's a great big damp patch on the ceiling up there. What's the other end? What's the other... Um, yeah, um, if, it, if, you, if it gets brighter outside, if the sun comes up, this gets dimmer. So you're the light you're working with all day long is exactly the same lamp light. So if you're working on colour or painting or anything like that, it means your light will never ever change because as it gets darker outside, this gets brighter. And as it gets brighter outside, this gets darker. Um, right, message on my bottom. Morning, John. These are fabulous lights, not just for sewing, but doing jigsaws, paintings, embroidery, reading. I use them for... Oh, it's Susie. Susie Duncan. Now, did Mr. Dunks have a lovely birthday? He said he hadn't received a cake when I spoke to him, but he was expecting curry that evening. Anyway, uh, that doesn't come with it. So it's gorgeous, isn't it? So now, if you, oh, the other thing I've got to point out to you, look, look at this, right? Look at this lovely big clamp on the side of this one, right? So now it's got a silicon layer in there, so it's not going to damage your table. Look at the depth. Look at the absolute depth of that. Love it. But also, if you haven't got room for it on your table, look, I don't know if you can see there, there's holes. You can screw it to the wall. If you want it above your desk, you're not, not going to move your desk around, you could screw it to the wall. Screws not included. 119.99 or three split payments of 39.99. Is Bruce having his screw to the wall? He's going to buy it for his wife and screw it to the wall. DIY Bruce, he's known as at home. Message on my bottom. Bought the white Lumina floor lamp, have the black one already, and the chameleon desk lamp, and the ring lamp. Love native lighting, says Pauline. Pauline, you know what she's got now, don't you? She's got a magnifier floor lamp. She hasn't got it yet. We haven't seen it yet. She took it upstairs to show the management the other day. So I'm presuming they said yes. Watch this space. Uh, Lynn says, love you, John, finding the damp patch. It's not in our office. It's, right, it's not in here. It's upstairs because I've got a glass ceiling. Uh, Sue says, uh, good morning. Uh, Susie said, no cake, but a strawberry trifle is favourite. He asked for and got chicken fajitas. Look. 
I don't even know what one of those is. Wait, no, it's got chicken in it. It's got chicken in it. So I wouldn't eat it any other day. Michelle says, I love native lighting. The quality of the lights is fabulous. I use mine for not just sewing, but for office working as well. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, Fiona says they'll never match the quality of Downton. She's not talking about the lamp. She's talking about the um, Bridgerton. Right, so that's that one in black. Oh, the other thing I need to point out, look, you can see it from the picture there, but no, 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 so I can see it here as well. It's all black. So you've got a black silicon bit here, all the metally bits and plastic bits, they're all black, right? If you buy the white one, If you buy the white one, you've got a mix of white and silver on this one. I'll just bring it into shot for you. Henry. There we go. Well, white one's flying now. Right, so the white one, you've got a white base, you've got a silver stand, then you've got your white silicon here, and then you've got your silver across there. 119.99. Three split payments of $39.99. That's brilliant. We sent it out to you. Now, these come directly from Claire, I believe. So she's very, very quick the way she gets it out to you. I've got a new warehouse and everything. $119.99. Split payment of $39.99. It's a lovely lamp. Really gorgeous lamp. That picture makes the clamp look like it's black, but it's not. The clamp is white. Apparently, that's shadow or shade. Suzanne says, morning, John. I've got the floor lamp. I especially love the gooseneck, which means I can put it in any position I need. A bit like me. My programme... Marie? 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 Yeah, I'm coming to the tools. Don't worry. She says, my thing says tools and lights. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming to the tools. Is this not a tool? Is this not a tool? Um, can't wait for the magnifying floor lamp, says June. No, June. Okay, I'm moving on. Yeah, that's under the desk, I think, isn't it? Now. Zigzag. Zigzag. Zigzag, it's here. Right, now you might have... Now. Wait a minute. I got this out of the box earlier, and it was a white one. But this is black. That's really weird. There's been a magic trick. There's been a magic trick. The one you buy will be white on the inside here. Just check on the thing. Native lighting, bronze and white, yes. The one you, right, we really need to sort this out. Anyway, let me show you how it works, right? You, it's not white on the outside, it's the same bronzy colour on the outside as this. But you see the plastic bits here and here, yours will be white. The only thing that worries me is this one was sent up from the warehouse this morning under this code, so we need to just suss out. We'll suss out, don't you worry. 54 99 three split payments of £18.33. Right, so to switch it on, to, to open it up, you open it up like this. Well, hang on, come on, John. Then it comes like this. Then, like that, switched on here. We've charged, yeah, now you, this one comes with the, oh. <laughs> yeah, this one's not a C, this was the other one. This one comes with this charger here, it's a USB charger. Um, just the one, uh, now does it dim or does it do it? No, oh, hang on, no, no, you just keep your finger on it to, to switch it off. Oh, wait, no, 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 and you tap it, for, look, look, look. Tap it for different brightnesses. Just the one colourway, though. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Now, we're thinking, take it with... You have to switch it off before you shut it. Keep your finger on it like that. Right? Uh, it's lightweight. Keep it in your handbag. Keep it in the car. Keep it in the caravan. Take it to a restaurant. Take it on a flight. You can't read the menu. You see, you can switch on like that. You can just have it open like this. Oh, there's the white one. That's the white one in the picture. Look, so you can just have it open like this, though. If you want to read a menu or if you're reading on a plane on a night flight on a plane you don't want to reach up and switch that light on up there you just read it like that can't you just charge it up before you go oh donald and sue are on my bottom morning john please wish the light of my life happy 60th he's currently sipping his green tea and wanting every light you show we've got three already so that must be from sue happy birthday donald donald where's your trousers 
Yeah, please have your trousers on while you're drinking your green tea watching me. Hannah's, very, Hannah's easily offended. Or easily excited, shall I say. 54. Shall we show the picture again? Because that's the white one that you'll be getting. Yeah, that's the white one. Isn't it got white plastic, that one? Yeah, in the top. The top, underneath the lamp there. It's white, Hannah. Mine's black. We'll sort that. You're definitely getting the white one, though. You're definitely getting the white one. £54.99. pence. Right, yeah, moving on. I've got the little round clip to the table one now. So that one goes there, that one goes there. Just got, we've got a lot to pack up in a minute. This one. So now this, you can either use like this. Oh, it's already switched on. Or you can clip it to the table like that. Or clip it to a book, clip it to a bed head. You charge this one up. Now, does this one have a plug plug? Or does this one have a USB? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one this one has. Uh, Nathan, I did white, but you charge it up anyway before you use it. Uh, and then there's a switch on the side there. There's a switch on the side there. Switch, that switch just switched it on and off mainly. And then you just switch, turn the light on by tapping on that one, see? It's a gorgeous little lamp, this one. 24 99 look at the split pay, £8.33. I mean, it can sit on your... See, what I said I'd use it for is, like, imagine that's, like, bills and invoices on the desk, right? To keep... If you don't want the bills and invoices to fly away, and then you've got this on your desk, and you've got that all held in place. What's the matter, Han? OK, I can't remember which charge it has got on it. Whether it's a plug... I imagine it would be a USB plug. Oh, and if you want to hang it from the wall, you can do. There's a little thing on the side there. Let's put it. If you need them putting up, Bruce is it's very reasonable. He'll charge it. He'll travel anywhere in the United Kingdom, but he's very reasonable. And he says he doesn't matter. He'll cover the cost of petrol. I am joking. Do not expect Bruce to come and fit it for you. Morning all. Sky's having a laugh. My program guide says premium pearl kits. Oh, think they've got the wrong channel. No, no, Anne. Look. Oh, no, I'm only joking. Thank you, lovely boy, says Marie. Right, shall we move on? Oh, got one other little table lamp. This is... Now, this one, you just plug this one in. This one doesn't charge up, right? This one, just plug in. Oh. Oh, hang on. It's come unplugged. There we go. Seven ninety nine split pay. Look, no, just switch that one on off. This one, you don't charge this one up. This one just works with electricity. Electricity. That's uh, Billy Elliot, isn't it? Twenty three ninety nine. Now, if you've not bought any native lightings and you want to try one out, twenty three ninety nine. First payment. Oh, a split payment of seven ninety nine. Perfect for a teenager's bedroom to, or any, any child to do their homework or for you to do close work or for you to do your needlework or you to do writing. Hannah's just echoing my words. Beautiful. 23.99. Oh, that's going to sell out. Torch. Then I'll do a tool for Marie. I only have time for one at this rate, don't I? Right, here we go, torch. Uh, right, now be careful if you've got this in your basket. Yeah. Ooh, Bruce, cough it up. And what does, finish the sentence, Hannah. <laughs> Forty-five ninety-nine. It's a torch. Tip it twice. Look, give you a nice bright light. Oh, hang on, there you go. There you go. It's a very pinpointy bright light. Then, if you don't want it as a torch, you can open it up like this and have it as a desk lamp. I know. Look at the look at the split pay. Fifteen thirty-three three-way split pay. Just what? It's only got one light on on this one, isn't it? But it's got the different look. Oh, no, hang on. Temperatures hasn't got brightnesses. It's got different temperatures and got brightnesses. That's what it is. And you charge it up with this. C. 
do check out very 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 popular right very quickly I've got a tool oh the guillotine one underneath everything oh it's a <laughs> yeah that's right right I love this I was going to do a demo but we can't find the one that um 64.99 64.99 this is brilliant because it's a ruler and a guillotine all in one if you're having dexterity issues then it's fantastic you have to press down literally all you do is you line up the strips you want to cut uh, you can do angles you can do triangles you can do diamonds you can do all sorts of it but what you do is you slide that cutter up and down just using the weight of your hand no pressure at all now i've only got four left i've only got four left 64.99 it uses your regular 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade there it is there it is 64.99 remember you only pay one pmp no matter what you buy all day long no matter what shape it is no matter how heavy it is i don't know how they'll get this through your letterbox mind you they'll find a way Okay? Did you see me behind here? I think Bruce was trying to avoid showing that one. We will see Marie, we'll see more tools at 10 o'clock. Have I got to go? Where's the clock gone? Oh, there it is. I've got to go. Louisa Galt's up next. Yay! What we're doing is we are doing uh, that there and we're doing the rainbow version, which is it's over there but you prove there you go the rainbow version as well if you don't know Louisa Gold is she's fabulous I'll introduce you to you to her to you in four minutes from now follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media and pick up some top tips from us too If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again.
head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Okay, so Bruce is counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7. Hannah went, John, John, can you let them know? Oh, you did, I didn't hear it that way. Well, I don't have to let you know anything. Don't have to let you know anything. Um, Louisa Galt's here. This is Louisa Galt. Everybody, wave at your camera, Louisa. Hello. Oh, got new glasses. <laughs> no, just going blind. <laughs> oh. So now, before we do anything, say anything, because it's like a Louisa Galt shop in here today, isn't it? <laughs> um, who are you? Where'd you come from? And where, how did you get started? And what's so motion? Who oh, are you married God. to? And where are you living? <laughs> I'm Louisa. Yeah, tell them, yes. not me. Um, I have, oh God, I've been quilting for a long time. Um, I used to be a sub editor in London. And that's where I'm from, Walthamstow, East End. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we got made redundant. I spent the money and we went around the world. Fine, sensible. So well, I'll just move into shot a little bit later. Uh, went around the world um, and then I think it was one rainy day in a caravan in Australia oh, or somewhere, yes. Um, I bought a couple of magazines, quilted magazines. And I'd quilted when I was in my teens but then I'd like went gone to university. Oh, so when you worked to the sub editor it wasn't I wasn't sewing. doing, no. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. I it thought you meant you were on a sewing TV magazine. listings. Oh, were well, you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you must have been writing about me then in those days on this morning. Yes, yeah, yeah probably. Anyway, yeah, probably um, so I don't know. Um, so you're in a wet caravan, you bought a... A couple a of quilting magazines. I thought, oh, yes, and that kind of enlightened, re-enlighted my love of quilting. So we came home. Um, I think then I got a job for a mainline, like, stream craft shop. Um, just training in retail, because I've never done that before. And then went to Hereford, uh, worked in a lovely quilt shop there for four years, and then we got back up north. My husband's from the northeast. So hang time. on, were you in Australia with your husband? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh sorry, about that. no, no, missed him out. <laughs> Can't miss that, Justin. He'd be in the hotel watching now, being will, very upset. He will. He'd be cooking sausages. Well, not in the hotel. But. Oh no, <laughs> on his little. Has he not brought his little cooker no. with him? <laughs> no. So uh, yes. Justin's in charge of lollipop men and bin men in the and northeast. And ladies. Oh, and ladies. Oh yes, and bin people. Bin and lolly lady and lolly, lolly people, people. <laughs> and yeah. other things yes yes, yes. <laughs> um, but very important in the northeast yes where's the suit and a tie <laughs> no. and likes a beer and yes. a pie likes yes. a beer in a pie <laughs> anyway so you can um, so you so finished then, working in the shop yes so then we moved back up north and i wanted to start my own business um so i got into quilting well i was into quilting anyway um and then since then i've sort of when i was working in the quilt shop there was a lot of people that came in wanted to begin learn to quilt um, and they didn't do classes at the time, so I decided just made up this beginner's quilt guide thing. So we helped them find the fabric and stuff, and got them started. And then they were addicted forevermore. So as you are, as I am. So that and was so my first. And so, what's the name year. of your company? So Motion. Right, and where's that come from? Well, 
I think at the time I was into kind of free motion quilting, I was uh, teaching myself that, but also the slow motion of learning something. So it's like not all rush, 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 and especially I do a lot of hand sewing, hand piecing, which is very slow. So it's kind of so slow, so motion. And if you used to watch Sewing Quarter, you'll know that Louise was one of our favourites on Sewing Quarter as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and if you go to any, any sewing event, she's <laughs> there. She has a stall there. <laughs> When's your next event? Festival of Quilts. Oh, it's not, yeah, not, it's not in between. It's not. Um, no, there's Quilts UK at Malvern, but I'm. Um, we're kind of going on holiday. But okay, that's where you need a holiday. Well, I do. This is the holiday from two years ago. Oh. <laughs> but then you'll be Sorry. at festival. You've got a stall at Festival yes, of Quilts. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've been here at Festival of Quilts if you've not met her before. And um, Justin will be Justin will be on the stand. Justin will be on the stand. Yes. She makes him. him work hard and everything <laughs> yes. like that. Anyway, so let's just. So we're going, today we're going to do. EPP in this hour. Yes. Then in the next hour, which are these two gorgeous wall hangings, beautiful. There's, there's the uh, rainbow one, which I absolutely love. Which is what your that's like your signature piece, isn't yeah. it? Rainbow is like your signature, yeah. isn't it? And then we're also doing the other one, which is in like Liberty. Is it Liberty? Liberty, yeah. Liberty florals, gorgeous, right? So that's this hour we're doing EPP, which is English paper piecing. And then the next hour we're going to be doing a topsy-turvy, no it's not called Wonky that, squares. wonky square quilt and this gorgeous cushion. The cushion is going incredibly, incredibly well. I've heard well. you've been coveting that, I heard uh, from the what other What do you mean coveting? It's going home. There's one it? of them. <laughs> it looked lovely on my sofa, this. Uh, anyway, that, now that's not EPP, is it? No, that's, it's a very easy FPP. So if you've I've, never done yeah. foundation paper but it's piece, so in easy. Front, it's, it's really, really, really easy. Nice. That's in the 11 o'clock hours. So let's introduce uh, the kits from this hour, right? So we're going to start off with the rainbow one. Oh, I haven't got an overhead, have I? You'd think I've been off for a week. You'd think they've got the... Oh! Yep. Oh, there's a camera there. But no cables. <laughs> April Fool! <laughs> April Fool! We're not, by the way, we're not doing an April Fool, just so you know. The management are going to be, the management are going to be so un unhappy with me, but they planned one and I went, no, I'm not doing that. So there is no April Fool here. In fact, oh no, it's only nine o'clock. Right, £34.99. Now you get everything you need in this kit to do the front, the border, and the binding. You just have to supply your own wadding and your own backing. And is that thread. right? And what? Thread. Oh yeah, and thread, and time, and a needle. Yeah. Uh, anyway, 34 .99. let me show you what you get in the box. They're always beautifully presented, Louisa's kits. Look at this. So here, oh, this is all your fabric here for your EPP. That's your binding. That's your border. And that's your, that's your square in the middle. And then there's your instructions. And there's your papers. Everything you need is in there. Can you use the papers more than once, Hannah yes, wants to know. Yes, you can indeed. Yes, you can indeed. Message on the bottom. Morning sunshine, fantastic Louisa on Sewing Street. Just love the slow motion style of EPP and FPP slow motion sewing from Silly Nanny Jilly. <laughs> That's lovely, thank you. Thank you. And we're very happy. She's taken us long enough to get her here, hasn't it? <laughs> but she's here now. She's here now. Anyway, so that's your rainbow one, and that will make that. Another message. Uh, good morning, John Louisa. Nippy here in red car. Oh, red car, that's neat. Up your way, isn't it? Yeah, that's me. Love these, oh, Louisa, and can't wait to see the demo for these. Keep smiling from Claire. Oh, hello, Claire. Do you know Claire? I think if it's the Claire, I think it is. Yes, I know Claire. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Right, okay, so that's Rainbow, and that will make this one behind me here. Yeah, that one. I was just going to show this, Bruce, so you can actually see the actual size of it. Right, that will make this one. They're beautiful. I know you won't get the hangers with yours, but look. If you've never done curves with EPP, actually the first EPP I did of yours had curves in it, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. It was the Japanese. Um, yeah, yeah, because a lot of people start with hexes and think that's it, isn't it? But this is actually, these are, aren't they apple cores? Yeah. Sort squashed, of apple cores. Yeah. Squashed apple cores. <laughs> Third of the stock of that's gone already. Okay, morning, John. Love to see you again. What a joy to see Louisa on Sound Street from Aww. Annette. In Cornwall, Annette, isn't it? Isn't it, Annette? <laughs> oh, right, okay, you. so that's that one. That's the ra that's Rainbow. Now, the Liberty. Oh. oh! Now you want that one, don't you? <laughs> well, they could... Mm. No, because they're not cushion. Are they a cushion? There could be a cushion. No, I don't want this. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> look at these... Look at those glorious Liberty fabrics. 
Woo! <laughs> I don't think we were then. Look at that gorgeous, beautiful Liberty Fabrics. And this one has got a pink binding and a pale blue border. This is Macau, is it, yeah, this fabric here? Liberty Fabric there. You've got cream as you... Oh, that's linen texture, linen colour from Macau. That takes me back. And then we've got the instructions and the papers in there as well. And the Liberties are quilting weight, are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. quilting oh, weight. Yes, They're yeah. not your lawn weight. They're yeah. your quilting weight. I think they're the Wild Summer collection, that one, if I remember. Did you buy these from me? From you. Do you remember last time we worked together? Yes. It wasn't I selling this the same day? Oh, maybe. We used to work somewhere else together. Between St. Gorge and here, we oh, worked then. somewhere else together. No, it was a different... Oh, it might have been. Might oh, have been. Might have been. Anyway, who knows? We're here together now, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, so that's that thirty four ninety nine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, John, I love it. But I've got a colour scheme in my room that I want mine in. I've got my own fabrics, thank you very much. Well, I don't ever remember doing your patterns on their own. No. You can get the pattern on its own, right? But guess what? Guess what? <laughs> you get your papers in there as well. Oh, there's only seven of these left now. There's only seven of those left. Very, very popular. So that is just, I say just, that is the pattern and your papers. So if you want to do your own version, will it tell me on there how much fabric I need to buy? It will inside. Inside, yeah. 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 Inside, yeah. it tells you how much to buy. <laughs> Not on the outside? On no, the sometimes I normally put it on the back and then last night when I was printing them, I was like, oh. <laughs> last <laughs> night when you were printing them? I thought you were staying over. Well, all right, yesterday morning. Then. Oh, okay. All right. Good. So, so in the hotel, he's cooking yeah. sausages, you're using the printer, make yourselves at I'm home. I was sewing. <laughs> Which was sewing this morning. I went into the oh, green room right. earlier and I said, you're not finished yet. <laughs> no, I'm nearly there. 11 .99, 11 .99. These are oh, sold out. The pattern on its own is now sold out. Oh. Oh, no, you have to take that home just, if you do. Yeah, just it's right, it's gone on the trolley then. <laughs> uh, so the pattern on its own is now sold out. So I've now just got the two kits. That's all I'm doing this hour because we're going to, it's like an introduction. But uh, what I will show you is you need a glue pen. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a bundle or is it on its own, this? There you go, on its own. The pen and a, uh, uh, so you've got the uh, glue in the pen and one refill for 5 99 where it says blue refill, it really doesn't matter what colour you get at all. They're all the same strength and they all dry clear. So that's that, the pen and one refill. But of course, if you're going to take up EPP, you'll need more than one refill, won't you, Hannah? She loves refills. This one, you get six refills. You get... Um, Pink, blue, and yellow. I don't know why it says blue, pink, blue, and yellow, because that one's white in the middle, isn't it? But anyway, you get two of each cup, it doesn't matter because they're all the same glue. It's a bonus pack, this one. Bonus! $7.99. Right, do I need to show anything else now, or should we get on with the sewing? Wadding. Wadding, that's fine, that's fine. So is this by the half meter? This is half a metre. This is half a metre. Go, go your way a little bit. There you go. There you, we didn't used to have this back when you were in before, did no. you? So you can buy it, but half a metre would be plenty to, to well, do this. Oh, can you piece it? Yeah. Oh, she said, oh. Well, you need, it's 24, so you need 28 inches. 26. Oh, well. Piece it. Piece it, yeah. But there's a lot there. That's half a metre. Thank you. Look at the price, 6 99 Right now, shall we just do some sewing then to get on with the day? <laughs> uh, right. Oh, hang on. What's this a message for you here to understand it? Best bet counting more papers, A eh, Louisa? But, oh, best get from Lorna. Oh! She says, best get counting more papers then. <laughs> She's a cheeky. She's my little helper now. Little helper. Uh, she's my little helper. Aww. She'll hate me for saying that. Oh, she's cutting more. Hi, Louisa, you're looking beautiful, says Lorna. Oh, that's the same Lorna. Uh, Lisa <laughs> Lamb says, nice barnet. Oh, that's me. Watch out, Louisa. Doesn't. What does it say? Watch out, Louisa doesn't rush off to the loo. From Lisa Lamb. <laughs> 
I love she, Go on. I want to explain that. Go on. She came to the stand at Stitch Festival. Um, and Jenny Jackson was supposed to be coming as well, but she got COVID. Oh yes, that's right. So Jenny was kind of going to help me, like just cover for me to go to the loop on my stand because I was on my own, you see. Um, and Lisa came instead. So then Lee, as soon as I saw Lisa, I pounced on her. <laughs> oh, okay, then that's that good. Oh, Jan Hill's woken up. And then um, Pam Minihoney says, Morning, Louisa, it's Hello. lovely to see you on our screens again. June says, I love Louisa. She's so calm and knowledgeable. Uh, Amanda says, Morning all, nice to see Louisa again. Morning, says Helen. Morning, Louisa, from a cold, sunny Hereford. Isn't that what you say? You were yeah, in the shop was in Hereford. We're going tomorrow. There today. It's our today? anniversary. What? Wedding anniversary? Tomorrow, yes. How long have you been married? Gosh, 18. I know. How, the, how has he done that? <laughs> Look at the state of your face. 18 years? 18 years. How lovely to see you back on Sane Street. I had the pleasure of meeting her last Sunday. Lovely lady from Carol Harrison. Oh, hello, Carol. Hello, Carol. <laughs> right, come on then. Please right, come sorry. on then. Right, so. I'm going to wait over here. So oh, no, this, um, the hanging. No, you can come with it. You can come hither. Yes, I I, there's not enough room I for me in the shop. You. You Do what? I won't stab you. Right, so, well, not that hither. <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, right, okay. Right, so, this is made up of two shapes, okay? So you've got your Dresden plate. Right. Oh, hang on, camera's just focusing in on that there one. There we go. So you've got your Dresden plate in the middle. Right. Which is quite a traditional block, actually, a traditional shape for yeah. pigs in. Um, so I mean, traditionally, I started off with hexes, diamonds, and then I got a bit bored. So then I got started playing on Illustrator on the computer and started creating my own shapes. Right. And then I found that you could sew curved edges together with a different stitch, which generally EPP is right sides together, sewing over the top, yes. with straight edges. However, when you're doing curved edges, it's a completely different set, of, like skill, well, technique. Yeah. Just so that you can get the curves. So got the dressing plate in the middle and then your apple cores around the edges uh -huh. right so but they're start... squashed apple cores I would say. yeah well, I mean I suppose they're the not even factor are one they? into yeah. the other yeah. yeah but I've called them an apple core throughout the pattern okay so. okay so we'll start with the dressing plates in the pattern you've got all your pieces of fabric right I just would be one just mindful is that you need to get both shapes out of the piece so just be not too generous with where you place your dressing plate so generally in that bottom corner right. it's fine just leaving enough fabric around the edge for your seam allowance. so in all the fabrics you cut one apple core and one dress no plate. there's 12 pieces in here and 16 in there so oh, you've okay. got 16 different fabrics so you can follow the pattern exactly as you want or you could choose 12 of your own fine. depends if you've got one in there that you particularly like or you don't like then you can leave that out but i've yeah. kind of kept the, the rainbow pattern going okay. around really. what are you saying okay. hannah Oh, there's so many messages. So we'll show you them after. There's so oh, many messages. Thank Welcome. thank you. <laughs> right, OK. Right, so, so we'll start with... Oh. You haven't cut anything yet? No, I haven't cut... I haven't stuck anything yet. Right, oh, so... Oh, you stick it first? Yeah, so I stick it first. So the Dresden plates, you'll see on the paper, there's a line that goes across there. Yeah. It's just a marked line, and that is just to tell you where to stop sewing. Oh, and okay. it just helps oh, okay. you get the right curvature and they meet up at the end. Brilliant. Okay, a lot of my papers tend to do yeah. that. Cause I've learnt the hard way. So you dab a bit of glue on the back of your paper without the mark line on. Obviously the mark line's on the top. Yeah. And then you cut it out with a generous quarter inch seam allowance. I'd yeah, say. but don't go, because when I did this the first time, don't I thought oh, I'm going to cut a huge seam allowance just to be able yeah. to say something. Then you end up with too much fabric, yeah. don't you? Yeah. I mean, you're going to glue it down, and this glue is amazing. So you're not going to, um, you're not going to get too. You don't need too much. Okay, right. So along the straight edge, you're just going to run a line of glue. Yeah. Not right on the edge, just in from the edge. You don't want it right on the edge because you don't want to catch it in your sewing. And then just press it down. Yeah. Press your fabric against the edge of the paper. So my papers are quite a sturdy weight, uh -huh. so they can take a nice pressing so if you try to do this with copy paper you probably wouldn't get such a nice smooth no. curve because you need it quite sturdy this is well, also we don't need copy paper we've got your card well exactly and uh, this is how, also why you can reuse them how many times do you think we could reuse three them, or though? four i mean if you don't sew, you're not going to sew through them yeah. sometimes i do catch them i have to admit um but to be honest if you just catch quarter as long as you don't tear them when you're taking them out 
you should be able to use them three or four times really okay okay so oh sorry I did that with that so when you've got an outer curve edge just as I say glue around the inside and then just push the paper so you've got a nice smooth curve okay so that's uh -huh. your Dresden so I'll just do another quick one to sew them together they need a tiny bit of the glue then just on the just this is just to be honest this is just to keep it in place Still. while I'm cutting it out Okay. And the glue pen, I know some people are still a bit averse to the glue and like to glue ba uh, thread base because traditionally with EPP you would thread base your paper uh -huh. and then you'd obviously then have to take all that thread basing out to remove the papers. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't suggest doing that with these papers because they are quite heavy and you, right. would, you will have holy fingers right. if you try and thread base it to be honest. So, but the glue, I mean this glue is amazing, it really does disappear. Because um, I'm gluing the paper, any glue residue, which I'll show you in a minute, afterwards is on the paper and not on the fabric. Oh, okay. So that's what I found. There's just it doesn't get on the fabric at all. Don't ask me why. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. I will say if it does stay in for a while, the glue, and it does get a bit hard, and you have got trouble taking it out, just give it a press with an iron, and that softens it up again. Okay. So there's you got your two Dresden plates. Lovely. Okay. So needle. Threaded. Thimble. Where's oh. my thimble? Oh no. Do you like my pouch? I do very much. Is it one of your designs? This is one of my, my... You remember when I saw you last, I was talking about doing a subscription box? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's up and flying now. Brilliant. Where can they find out about that? You've so not left your thimble no, somewhere. No, I've not. It's my only thimble. Um, is it that old plastic It's full thing? of... Yeah. <laughs> It's full at the moment. The um, oh, the subscription. So the you can't subscription. join if you wanted to. But where um, have you had? Did you have it outside? In the, have you done any hand stitching on the table outside? Yeah, but I thought I put it back in here. Well, it's plastic. It's not, not like a normal thimble. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. <laughs> Can I have a look at what, Hannah? Okay. No, it's right. We found it now. Sorry. Oh. And you've only got one. <laughs> I have got a ve another variant. I did find it, but it's not quite the same. I think maybe I've worn this one in and it's, it fits nice. Right, so when you're sewing these together, you need a binding clip. So you can, I know I just said about another stitch, but if you wanted to, because these are actually flat edges, you can do the traditional up and over whip stitch if yeah. you like. Yeah. Okay, but I am going to show you the flat back stitch. So. As I said, you've got a line here. Is this the right way around? You've got a line here to use as a guide. So we're going to start from this point and sew all the way down. So you just bring, so I've knotted the end of the thread. Yeah. Bring your thread out at that point. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like so. And then you're going to take it across. So my, that is actually a, um, an engraved course. Engraved? Well, it's like it's not a drawn line, it's a lasered line, they call yeah. it, but you can um, actually fold it. So, okay. because you can't see the edge, you can fold it and find that edge. Point Brilliant. There. So, then you take that through to that point there. Mm -hmm. Scored, it's like scored. scored that's isn't the word. It? Thank you, thank you. So, then do it, just a couple of stitches over the seam allowances to connect them. And then pop a binding clip just to hold that end point. And then you're going to hold them flat to each other. Yeah. And you're going to sew a flat back stitch. So you're not going through the paper, you're not going through to the front, you're just picking up very little, <laughs> very little stitching, uh, very little seam allowance yeah. across each piece. So you're still going up and over, but it's like a flat back stitch. Try not to get a knot in it. Yeah. Do you condition your thread? No, I don't actually. This is all refill. Right. I mean, obviously, at the moment, I should because I'm getting. I never get any of these knotty. Because you're here. Yeah. Um, what weight is it? It's 50 weight. Right, okay. Um, and I also, back in well, not back in the day. What's she doing? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Can you hear drilling? I thought, what are you doing <laughs> over there, cat? Um, I used to. So for something like this, I used to use um, like a grey or a neutral thread right. for all of it. But I have now started. I found this lovely box of Aurifil threads that I've forgotten I had yeah. that had every ball colour of the rainbow. Oh, what? So the John, was it the John Scott? Maybe. No, threads. no, it was older than that. I got it years ago. Uh, oh no, mine wasn't years ago. Um, so I've now actually started match 
matching thread to the fabric and it does oh, okay. make it does make a difference actually. but also this way when you do edge to edge no when you do the when normal you're doing one, the flat back you yeah can you can see, see stitches stitch. on the other side but this way you're not going to see you're any not going to see them sometimes you can when you've slightly when you've pulled the papers out yeah or when you've quilted it you can but not so much when you use the thread matching uh-huh but i mean to be honest if you see the stitches it's fine it's like it's handmade it's oh yeah no no I don't, it doesn't bother you me like that's not bother me in the slightest yeah, yeah. so you go all the way down what are they drilling out there carry on carry on well i thought we thought it was cat drilling we couldn't figure out what she was doing is this yours oh no 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 mine was before uh this one here if you want to do the traditional way of doing i'm just going to bring that into shot mm -hmm. There, so you've got a beige, a cream, a sil no, a beige, a white, a silver, and a black in there from Aurafil. It's called Necessities. You get four large balls, 50 weight. So I think the grey for this one would be great. 35 99 Works out at 69p, uh, 100 metres. That's very good. Mm, right, I'm going to move on. It's oh, next door. Got... So we haven't got a door, and now they're drilling next door. Fantastic. It's more my dreams coming true from last night. So when you come to the end, just pull your thread through the last couple of loops, stitches, just to knot it. And then you can break the thread. Or if you are going to now put another colour on there that's similar to this thread, yeah. or you're using a neutral thread, what you can do is just run a tiny little running stitch along oh, okay, the just than in the seam allowance yeah. and then you've got mm -hmm. so again just to connect okay, that point okay so that's mm -hmm. that piece so you carry on piecing all your dresden so you've got a nice circle perfect okay when do i take the papers right out? so you take the papers out i took these out last yesterday so they've got a bit of skew i will take the papers out just when you're ready to sew okay but i will show you that i'll just in a minute. do the apple core and mm -hmm. then i'll take the papers out of the big one and show you how to do that so again when you are based in the apple core mm -hmm. so and this one's symmetrical with no sight uh, no lines on it so it doesn't matter which way the paper goes up on that one hang on Bruce wants us to move where oh no talk to cat sorry so cut it out with a generous so this one I would be a little more generous with the concave edges just because well just because <laughs> yeah but you're gonna have to snip them so you don't want a little seam allowance really. oh yes okay so so when you've got your concave so edges that go in yeah you came in yeah just snip into the fabric stop in two or three threads width from the paper so just okay. stop in just before the paper mm -hmm. about a quarter of an inch half an inch apart and then when you run the glue again you're just going to go in from the edge yeah don't use much glue do you no you don't really really don't need a lot of glue just one thin line and then i'm just pushing quite hard against the paper so you get so you haven't cut right into the paper yeah of course paper, yeah, so yeah. You've got a nice cut so do the next side like so oops But you haven't snipped the bottom got, then? No, I won't snip the bottom because when you've got an outer curve, you just let it gather itself on the back. Oh, okay. So I've dabbed a bit of glue on that fabric there as well. Mm -hmm. And then you just push and you get a nice, so that see it'll gather on the back a bit. Right. As long as that's smooth. If, if you've got a point in there, if you get a point, just unpeel it and do it again. Right. Because the glue is repositional, so. Okay, so carry on just making a nice smooth curve. Like so. So that's your apple core, or squashed apple core. And then when you're doing the eye shape, so that's just basically. Oh, that, the eye shape's white, yeah. Yeah, so that's just two outside curves, really. Mm -hmm. So again, snip around the seam allowance. And then run the glue down one side. I 
Oh, that drilling. <laughs> the what? That drilling. Oh, did you did not hear it before? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going deaf as well as blind, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you've been married to him for how many years? <laughs> I suppose you, got, you can turn off the noise. <laughs> He's coming in later, you know. He you won't see me because I'll you. still be on air. Oh, he'll so. come on air. Yeah. <laughs> right, before you do anything else, yes. uh, they're selling so fast, I just need to go through the kit. Okay. So, if you just pop over here, not you, but if you come over here with me, we have got two kits to show you. The rainbow one, which is the one we're working on here. So you get a square of each. So you said 16. 16. 16 colours in here, 12 of which you need for your Dresden. Yep but 16 you need for your outside circle. So you can choose which 12 you want in your Dresden. So if you ate that blue one, don't use that blue one. If you don't like that yellow one, don't use that yellow one. But anyway, you get all of those, you get 16 squares, plus you get your binding, plus you get your border, <laughs> plus you get your white fabric for your background, plus you get your instructions. So you get in this kit, for 34 99 you get everything that you can see there, right? So, um, you need to supply your own wadding and your own backing. Now, if it's going on a wall, you can get a bit of calico, a bit of cotton, or anything like that to put on the back. That's not a problem at all. Right, seven left. Seven left of that one now when you've all checked out. Seven left. Do you know what would be nice? It'd be nice on a table with how big's that middle centre? I'd put a big, like, church candle. You know, have it flat on the yeah. table and then have a really lovely church. Make one in a Christmas print. You could make it in a Christmas print, yeah. couldn't you? But then you can only have it out to Christmas then. Well, you'd make two. Oh, yeah, make Christmas a colourful one. one. Buy yeah. the kit and yeah, make a make rainbow one for every day. Yeah. Then you've got the pattern and the papers to <laughs> then make your Christmas one. And I know we're talking Christmas in April, but... No, we're no, 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 we're no, but Vix was talking about this yesterday. She had some Christmas fabric on yesterday. And if you're making to sell, yeah. then you have to start making that. Right, that's take me to... Have you got an angel policy? An like, angel? As in, can uh, people buy, make these to sell? Oh, um, tell them. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I didn't know. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> but as long as they're not. Well, yeah, I mean, a credit would be nice um, if you're displaying it or you're putting it on your website or whatever. Yeah. Um, and obviously not in man mass manufacturing exactly. or anything. Just so what we ask is. Especially if for you're charity. If it's for charity, fine, make as many as you want. But yeah. yeah. So what we ask is that you don't give the pattern and the papers to somebody else because that's. Oh, yeah. yeah. So don't do that. And if you are selling them, give a nod to Louisa. And if you're John Lewis's, don't make 10,000 of them, but you can if you call her first. But if you're Liberty, you can happily stock them if you wish. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Liberty, yeah, of course, of course. Anyway, so there you go. So that's 34 99 for the rainbow one. Then we've got the Liberty one. Talking about Liberty. I went to, um, when I went to Cornwall, I stopped off at this really, really posh, it was in Devon. It's like a really posh garden centre, artsy crafty with a nice oh. big coffee. I think it was called Darts Farm or something like that. These would sit beautifully in there because they've got a cold craft section right. that they sold things like um, little felt rabbits that you made and right, all that yeah. sort of thing. These would fit beautifully mm. in there. So anyway, thirty-four ninety-nine. So you get the Liberty squares, you get your binding, and you get your border. And this one has cream. Well, it's actually called linen, but it's not linen. They called it cream now. Oh, they changed it. I think it? it's because it was te linen textured linen. It was a bit confusing, Com so they've called it. It was, yeah, because that's where yeah. I remembered it. It was linen texture, <laughs> linen colour, but no linen at all. Anyway, <laughs> so you get all of that for your 34 99 You just need a little square, or a square, or not little, a square of wadding and a square of your backing. Glue pens. Oh, uh, for, 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 for that Liberty one. More people have got this in their basket than we've got stock of. <gasps> You're going to have a sellout, Louisa. <laughs> That's a funny old picture. What were you doing with that picture? Oh, it looks all right on that telly. On my screen here, it looks Squashed. a bit blurred. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> glue pens. Le glue pen. Le pen de glue. I did a whole hour in French the other day. What? <laughs> you didn't. I did. Five ninety nine. <laughs> there was a bit of... Was um, it proper French? Franglais in Frangle. there. Is that what they call it? Half French, half was English. Was it a bit of allo No. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. Anyway, five ninety nine. Buy this. Who's Bruce talking to? Oh, okay. He was attacked by a pheasant in France. He doesn't like me talking in French. <laughs> okay, that's five ninety nine. And the glue pen refills. And as Jan quite rightly said, I said they're blue, they're white. They've got blue glue inside them. 
all dry it's clear so it really does not matter and I they're all the same I think it depends on the fabric you're putting it on so if it's yeah. a darker fabric you want oh yeah who it. was it that did that the other day said oh did you know this John so you could see it on the fabric <laughs> well, wait, no, before it dries like, so if you're marking on white fabric you don't put white glue on because you won't see where the glue is you see or if you're doing a white cardboard say you don't put white glue you put glue then you can see where the glue is anyway 7.99 Right, right, carry on then. Okay, so you've got your apple core and your petal shape. Yeah. All nicely basted. So I would baste everything first. And if you are following the rainbow pattern, so there's your, your final layout. Yeah. I would stack them in order and just concentrate on what you're piecing where. Right. Basically, because obviously it's not random. The Liberty is random if you want. Mm -hmm. um, so that doesn't mix much difference but this one's quite important so, so are they all are they all Alice in glass fabric yeah they are yes I yeah. don't recognize they're that her one, sun though. prints okay her, I think she's done an a, is it a hundredth anniversary of Macau or Andover or something oh, okay. so I think it, a lot of it is from her old collections yeah right so we're gonna start with this end so uh, is the is the uh, that one yeah does it matter which way round it goes, or is it shaped no, to fit? No, no, that's symmetrical. Oh, that's the word so I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. So you're going to start with joining the two points first. So bring up your thread at that point, like so, and then just take it across to that point there. So it's just at the top where you can feel the paper, at the top of the paper, and then just connect those two points just with a couple of stitches across the seam allowance like so and then again take your needle through the loop and not oh. the thread and oh we're not going it. okay i mean if i was being a bit more well what well, well you could left that thread in there then to connect to the next point oh no but because i'm color matching yeah i'm surprised you didn't just say it so you, what you're doing is you're matching both I'm ends. matching both ends first because it is a curve and it will move around and yeah. like that will move around so i tend i've used i've tried binding clips i've tried pins but now it, i've just based them together and i know that they're not going to move well yeah it seems sensible yeah yeah some people try and uh, put sellotape on them so they'll oh. Put, there is tape available. that you can get actually. The what? There is a tape, a tape like a masking tape or something. Yeah, low I tack, wishy washy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they would then put that on there oh, and hold okay. it. But I've never tried that to be no. honest. I think stitching is probably the best. Yeah. So again, you're just gonna sew across the two points to connect them, and then you turn it so you're sewing it away from yourself. And like we did before, we're just gonna do a flat back stitch all the way up. So do you only do flat back stitches now then? Yeah, generally. Even if you're doing hexes? Well, if it's a big hexy unit, then I'll probably turn it and mm. do it back to back. But because the stitches, as I say, aren't sewn on, shown on the front, it is quite a nice yeah. way to do it, really. So there you go. So quilt all the way up. And I think if you do do the... Quilt. Quilt, so stitch, sorry. If you do go, if you do the original, the traditional whip stitch, you have to have very tiny, neat stitches. Mm. Whereas, because you're not going to be seen, these aren't going to be seen on the front. If you miss like an eighth of an inch or something, or you go a bit big, yeah, or you miss a gap, you're not really going to see it anyway. So, but I would try and keep them as close as you can. Mm -hmm. as small as so you now, can. if you're doing oh, a white yeah. to a colour, do you do the colour rather than white? I've done the colour instead of the white. Yeah. I mean, again, like right. Okay, so we've done. You go all the way up. Still kick upon connecting all your shapes. Yeah. So you've got your ring. Right. Okay. So then we're going to give it. So I use best press. Okay. So yeah. So you might find that it's stuck up a bit, and that's right. just the curves playing around. Basically. Okay. We've got best press in stock at the moment. If it is standing up like a tent, then well, to be honest, this one shouldn't, because you've got obvious lines where you start and, and stopped where your sewing is. So, so that's, that's just, just the travels, card. Yeah. Yeah. So give it a best pre Ooh. give it a spray. What are you trying to do? That Lift up. that up, yeah. <laughs> Put that down like that. Give it a good spray with best press, which yeah. I haven't got with me, but and Oh then we've actually got some if you want some. some. Can't <laughs> oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm alright. Wreck in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> How are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> it's square it's yeah. Mm. Okay, so because the pillars, you see these pillars behind us, they're yeah. not 
they're not oh, they're solid. Not <laughs> they're not pillars. <laughs> you went they're, to lean on it. I leant on it and then it knocked the mannequin over. <laughs> oh, dear. OK, so give it a good press, dry iron, um, and then press particularly around the edges so that we, when we take the papers out, you're going to keep that nice curved straight edge. Uh, curved straight edge. Yeah. Curved folded edge. So you go all the way around. It is flattening out, isn't it? It is, yeah. And then even when you take the papers out, it will flatten out even okay. more. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And as I say, if you've kept the glue in for a while and it's got a bit hard, this is going to soften the glue up yeah. again. Okay, so we do that. Okay. And then when you take the papers out... Oh, I like that side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just scratch at mm. the fabric. So yeah. as you say, you've got quite generous seam allowances, so yeah. you're not going to fray. You will see a little fray on the edges, but because you've got seam, generous seam allowances, it shouldn't affect it at all. Yeah. Do you need nails? Well, it's nice when I've got them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then just pop the paper out. Okay. And I haven't sewn through that one. So, and as you say, like, there's a bit buffeted at the end, but that's not going. If you're going to reuse them, that's not going to affect the shape. No, 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 of course so not. So actually, you can reuse those. Good quality card as yeah, well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So then this one. Do you find? Well, you wouldn't know painting your nails, but when you <laughs> when you paint your nails, yeah, I always think you know when you, like you've got a plaster or you've cut yourself and you try to avoid that finger. Yeah. I do that with when I've got my nails done, and now I'm like all being. What, because there's nail varnish on yeah, them? Yeah, and I'm like all being careful and silly, like I've hurt my fingers. Do you not normally have nail varnish on them? No. <laughs> you could come with it au naturel if you wanted to. I only do it for the... Well, oh. No, oh, no, 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 you wouldn't want to see my au naturel oh, okay. nails. No, I treat myself when I come here. It costs me a fortune coming on here, but I treat yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so then just carry on going all the way along, taking your papers out. So, as I say, I wouldn't do this until you're ready to sew it down, because yeah. you don't want it sitting around for a while. Okay, so you carry on mm -hmm. doing that, and then when you come to sew it on, so I'll show you how we do the. Hmm? Oh, what have you lost? Oh God, no! So the Dresden plate. So You've got your wellies on as well. I've got my wellies. <laughs> it was snowing when I left home. Oh yeah, of course it was. We had about well, we had about four minutes of it yesterday afternoon here where I live, and it was like really, really big and like a blizzard it's and then it disappeared and it was beautiful sunshine again it was the weirdest thing yesterday morning we woke up and there was white everywhere at home and it wasn't well it was snow but it was like proper tiny like hailstones hailstones but like they kept their form it was mad oh, and then wow. the sun came out melted it all out yeah. and then an hour later it did it again because you're up near Loftus aren't you yes, yes. Right, so when you've got your background fabric, this is your yeah. fat quarter. Is, is this cut to this size? Yeah. 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 So you don't have to do anything with it's it. It's just a fat quarter. Yeah. So fold it both ways to get your crease marks. Obviously, there's more crease marks in it. <laughs> Give it a good eye in. <laughs> and then you've got your crease mark there and there. Yeah. And then centre your Dresden plate. So I've had this hanging around in the bag for a bit, so the seams have come a bit out, but... Just give it a press on the back. Just check out, check out. More people got all of the, both of these kits in their baskets and we've got stock of. Okay. Oh, camera. So then I use these lines here to center it on the crease marks. Okay. Hannah just wants to make lots of those. They are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. So when you're pinning them, so I just use pins. To be honest, it's not going to take that long to sew. And I think I've just got to the point now that if I prick myself a little bit, it's fine. Oh, okay. we'll but get used to it, don't we? Them, yeah. So we do the first four quarters first on the inside rim. Okay, so you don't put anything on the back of this then? Not yet. Okay. No, we're going to applique it down first. Right. So I would just... So the ideally, you don't want any of the background gathering up behind this. So try right, push so you want to keep out. it as flat as possible, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do this on the lap watching the telly I would do this on the table you can do the EPP bit on the, your lap watching the telly yeah okay so pin it in place and then when you come I just to need to interrupt you one oh, second okay there's four left 14 in baskets <laughs> oh dear you do the math <laughs> it's a wicked laugh isn't it <laughs> no it wasn't 
Oh, I've lost my needle <laughs> Love now. a cackle, wasn't it? A cackle. Right, so I use a white thread, actually, to applique this down. I can never remember if you're supposed to use the thread that you're pliquing it onto or the thread that... What? What, what are you supposed to do when you applique down? You're supposed to use the colour thread that you're appliquing it onto or the colour that you're putting onto. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Well, you, you know these things. I'd use... What would I use? I use white. Oh, do you? Although, to be honest, I think I have actually used... There's an 80 weight Aurofil that you can get. It's yeah. even finer. Yeah. And basically, you just want it to disappear into yeah, the yeah, yeah, But, yeah. I mean, I'm using an 80 here, so it's a, okay. a 50. Here a 50. In what colour? White? Yeah. We've got 50 in white yes, in here. Yes, that'll be perfect. And it's picture this. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Right, go on then. Right, so when you're going to slip stitch it down, bring your thread up just behind your ring. Okay, can we see that, Bruce? Oh, it's too far over to the left now. You're going to oh, move that way, but there you go. There you go, perfect. <laughs> okay, so just bring it up behind your ring, just to, a couple of stitches in the background, just to give it Oh, get behind there, uh, yeah. Just to get it secure. And then you're just going to pick up a very small amount on the edge of your ring. Yeah with your thread and then go directly down into your background fabric, travel along behind the background and come out again. Oh, in your okay. Ring. Okay. Yeah. So you always go directly down into the background. Right. That just make sure you've got tiny little stitches that won't be seen. So you do your inner edge first. And then if you do have any, you shouldn't on this shape to be honest, but any these called dog ears. Yeah. Dog ears. Yeah. Right, isn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tuck them under, so you don't want to trim anything because that just um, ruins the integrity of the piece. Yeah. Especially when you've got, so you are going to have them on here. So any of those, you just tuck under as you applique around. Right, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so then, you, yeah, so you just carry on going all the way around, finish the inner edge, and then you're going to Applique around the outer edge. Okay. Okay, so when you've got that one appliqued, and you've taken your iron this and taken your papers out, again, you can use your crease marks to line up the centre point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, does it matter where, you, it, it's up to you where you want the colour, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, this one, actually, you've got the, the same, same, but I think I did it the other way. So you've got the oranges on the other side. Yes, yes, yeah, right. obviously it's by the blues, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, again, you can do your own thing, um, or you can follow my design, and then make, just make sure. I think this is about two and a quarter inches. Right. So just make sure. I mean, in theory, because you're lining up these paint, they sh it should be even. But sometimes it can be a bit skewed. Yeah, it so depends just, how, how much you've manhandled it. Yes. I suppose. So just check that these are all the same measurement, and then pin around the inside, and then the outside, and then sew that down. Okay. Okay. So then when you've done that, yeah. I was going to show you... Good. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be chopsing more. I expected you to be chopsing, talking. All right, I'll carry chopsin. on doing... Chopsing. I think it's a Welsh thing. You should know chopsing. I'm not Welsh. Well, you're nearly Welsh. Oh, you've got to say hello to Auntie Jean. Oh, Auntie Jean. In Chester. Bless Hi, you. Hi, Auntie Jean in Auntie Chester. Jean. Is she watching? <laughs> I hope so. And she won't be yet. It's 10 so. to 10, she'll still be asleep. <laughs> No, I don't know. Well, no. Uncle Tom's not well, so say hello oh, to Uncle Tom. Oh, Uncle Tom, get better soon. <laughs> Uncle Tom, cobbly and all. Yep. Oh, and oh. I forgot. Yeah. Fiona, happy birthday. Who's Fiona? Fiona is in the Fens. She's a very good customer. She's lovely. We like a chat about everything and anything. Right. Um, I think her and her husband actually are just getting over horrible oh it, i just it's more more know, around yeah, isn't it? it's I ridiculous heard, yeah, yeah no it's um but yeah no she's a little gem okay it's so happy. fiona jean tom <laughs> anyone else what um we? no i think that's oh joyce 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 i didn't get a new frock this is old <laughs> she came dressed as mandy Shaw today everyone <laughs> Um, we didn't notice it until we had our pitch take before the show she looked at the pitch and went i look like mandy Shaw. <laughs> you haven't got red hair Oh, that'll be next then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a brooch. You have to make a brooch. Oh, do I? All right, okay. Okay, so go all the way around. And then, if I've got the wadding. Yeah. I do have some wadding. I can show you the hand quilting bit. Oh, right, yes, brilliant. 
So in in real life, in real you'd life. stitch this on. Yeah. You'd stitch the big circle on, so you've yeah. got one piece of fabric. Yeah. So it's all done yeah. onto this single piece yeah. of fabric. And then, then you get your wadding. And out. then, before you do that, you need to cut this down to I think it's a 19 inch square because this isn't quite square because this is a fat quarter but you need to trim it down also because when you sew them in it pulls the fabric in so you're not going to get the certain size that you want okay to laughter so you sew that on trim it down to i think it's a 19 inch square yeah and then you've got your, your borders in the kit so you cut you've got three strips of border so out of one strip you'll cut the top and the bottom okay and which one have you got let's take this it's one the off blue from your one. shirt yeah So you'd sew two 19 inch strips on your sides and then I think it's 24 inch and Yeah, half but they're cut for the you. Bottom. So the short well, ones go on You've got to cut them first. Oh, you've got to cut them. Yeah. You've got to cut you've them. You've just right. got them with the width of fabrics. So right, okay. There. So you need to cut them down. So And you've been generous with your fabric. You've not been skin yeah. to. There's three strips in there. Oh yeah, no, I have been generous. Yeah, yeah. You'll get two out of the two shorter ones out of one strip and then the longer ones out of the other two okay, lovely. Okay, so then I actually machine sewed those on. You can hand sew them with a little running stitch if you want, but I machine on. Right. Machine those on. Okay, so if you were going to quilt this one, so obviously this is machine quilted, um, which I love my straight lines. Yeah, because it's easy. Yes, it's easy and it's quick. So you've got your top, give that a good press, do your um, sandwich quilting sandwich Oops. yeah lovely. so you've got your back in wadding top I use curved safety pins to base them together and then when you're machine quilting so this one I have started in the middle right and you have got your center line there so you can oh, sew yeah, all the way yeah, down yeah, yeah. if you're unsure of following a straight line you can before you put it under the machine you can use something called quilters tape yeah quarter inch tape or masking tape and then just stick that down along the middle. Use your ruler. Single-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Single-sided. It's just just a guideline. Yeah. Um, or uh, alternatively, you can use a hair marker and then just. Or basically, you want. Why a do line. you want one down the middle? Just to use as the sewing to start okay. off your sewing. Okay. Yeah. So I've just gone down the centre as the sewing line. So once you've got that centre line, in theory. I then use that line as a guide on the edge of my walking foot to do right. the next one and the next one. So you're just going to go like that. And you go up, no. down, up, down. I go down, all the way down, cut thread, pull it through and go down again. Oh, so you I, don't go down, up, no, down, up. No. Okay. It's always worked for me. I know some, I think when you're piecing fabric, if you're doing jelly roll strips, you're supposed to go up, down, up, down, yeah, so I it doesn't do. pull the fabrics behind. Yeah. So yeah, okay. go all the way down, and then this way also you haven't got any thread to sew into, so you're just going to start off in the wadding, yep. break off in the wadding, mm -hmm. carry on. Lovely. I've extended the stitch to about three and a half, so mm -hmm. it's a nice, not the middle one, ignore the middle one, I forgot to do it on that one. Oh, yeah. But these ones you can see, <laughs> it's a nice big stitch. So you do that half, then turn it round and do the other half. Okay. And it's a great way of doing quilts that way as well, starting at the top in the middle, You've only ever got half your quilt bunched up in the machine. Uh -huh. So you just do that half first. Rolled in the throat space, yeah. it's not bunched up. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, and then do the other half. Yeah. And the wavy lines is another one that I do that I love. So it's a wavy line machine with your walking foot again, like this, but you just, you're guiding it. So you're not, yeah. it's not feet down, that's, well that's, yeah. I'm saying I'm just getting this one down because this one's different, isn't it? Actually, I, oh no, I didn't. Um, yeah, so you can do the wavy line. There is a tutorial on the website of how to do the wavy line. Machine and what's your website? Sewmotion.com. Sewmotion.com. Right, so that one's sold out. Oh, So okay. then there's the Liberty one Right, now. okay. So this is the hand stitching one, which I was going to show you. Yeah. So this, again, base, put your borders on. And this is just a simple running stitch. So Only five I, Liberty left. If I've got... Um, what, do you, don't have to, you can just talk us through it, because we've only got a couple of minutes. So it's fine. Okay. Okay, so... Um, this one, I've echo quilted each individual shape. By hand? So, yeah. So, so, so you made your quilt sandwich, but there's no machining? No. Right, okay. I've, well, I've machined yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. the borders. So I'll start in the middle. Always start in the middle if you're hand quilting, because you will push your fabric out. Right. Um, I've pinned it quite well based in with the um, curved safety pins, but I've also started using a hoop. Um, I've got quite a big 12 inch embroidery hoop now. Right, okay. And because I have found in the past that it can gather a bit when you are quilting, especially oh, if you're okay. on your lap in front of the tent, yeah, which yeah, I yeah. tend to be. Um, so just put a hoop round 
um, and that will keep everything nice and tight. Yeah. So then I've used um, just a normal embroidery floss. I think you have. I've got some. I've got some embroidery. Uh, yeah, I've got some embroidery floss. In fact, I think I've got that colour. There you go. Uh, ARGZWO9, Hannah. So I've done. I've split them into two, into three spread, three spans. Dusky so pink. Just half. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Um, and yeah, split it into two, so you've got three strands in each. And yeah. then you're just doing a small running stitch. Um, they don't have to be tiny. They just tend to be. Or have neat. To be, they have to be neat. But oh. um, who did oh, this one then? Cheeky. <laughs> but try and just get them the same size and the same size in between. Yeah. And then they'll look neat. So Gorgeous. They don't have to be silly signs. Oh, is that all you've done? Yes, yeah, so I've done all Not the way all. around. I don't mean all. I don't mean Cheeky. all. It looked like there was more than that on oh, there. Oh, I've missed a bit there. Oops. <sighs> yeah, so I've done that. With, then go around each individual Dresden and then around the outside and then around the outside and then each individual upper core and petal. And then, so this one, I've actually, you've got a wad in and then I actually back it with a bit of mus butter muslin when right. I'm doing hand sewing. It oh, just okay. makes it easier. Um, I'm not that always, I'm never that fussed about the back of handmade quilts. I'm always more interested in the front. Right, okay. So I've then backed Put a backing it. on it rather yeah. than go through all three exactly. layers. Exactly, yeah. Okay, and I then you put your binding on. And then you put your binding on at the end. And then if you do want them as wall hangings, you can add, um, they're five inch squares folded in diagonal and they're just added into the seam allowance before oh, you fold it. Oh, I've not seen that way done before. And then you can just put a stick in. Oh, no, that's nice, because I don't like... Uh, first of all, the, 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 sometimes you put the tunnel... Oh, is it called a tunnel? Yeah, Channel on the yeah. back there. And then other pine put tabs on, don't you? But that's... that's uh, that, Which one? Oh, Liberty's sold out now as well, so you've got nothing left. <laughs> Goodbye, then. <laughs> right, so she'll be back in an hour, where we're going to be doing a very busy hour. We've got the yes. two cushions, the blue and the grey, and we've also got the... Wonky, wonky squares. squares. I've done this with you before yeah, and I keep forgetting yeah. the name. Wonky squares, right. I, I've got nothing to recap. What, to, <laughs> have I got anything to recap? I don't want those. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. Now, I've got an open, I've got an open one of these. I have to open another one. Poor old Chris, we've opened so many of his. Right, Ooh, so in wow. here, this is an Orofil Street Art, Chris English. They're all signed. Oh. Now, we know that you love Orofil, so in here you get, and it's written down somewhere, isn't it? You get uh, two floss, you get mm. two 12 weight. You can tell by the colour of the thing, can't you, which is the 12 weight? Is that the 12 weight? No, the red. No, that's 28. That's red. 12. So, that, so that's, your fl that's your floss. I would just come to me in a second. Okay, so there you floss. There on like a pa the wood, the pale wooden spool, sixteen meters. Then you've got your twelve, 12 which are your variegated, which is your next thick one. Then you've got your twenty eights, which are the grey ones, not the colour threads. The actual I'm talking about the um, spool holders. Then you've got your fifty weights, which will be those, mm -hmm. and then you've got your eighty weights, which is what you were talking about about yeah. that middle bit there yeah. in those two colours there, Ooh. and they're on beach. They're lovely. Beautiful, aren't they? So you get all of those for £39.99 in a so signed box. Imagine if you had that variegated, just doing your... Oh, straight, that'd be nice, doing your quilting. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's it now. <laughs> OK, Anna, do you need to do anything else then? OK, that's everything. So she'll be back in an hour's time. You look very tall today. It's my boots. My wellies. Boots, my wellies. Uh, she'll be back in now when she's going to do the cushions and, the, and the, the lap quilt, but it's bigger than a lap quilt. I'll be back in four minutes when I've got all sorts. We'll see you, I'll see you in four. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.
In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Right, I need to remind you about this, right? This was something that Vix had on yesterday. She wasn't meant to have it on yesterday. So we, me and Hannah, have insisted that we're going to have it today. But it is the last day. It is the last day. It, at midnight tonight, this will stop. Now, had I known I'd got this on, I convinced two of you to buy this yesterday, didn't I? Not convinced. Not convinced, that's the wrong word. I was chatting on my day off, wasn't I, with you about buying this machine. You bought it from Vix, didn't you? Yesterday? Didn't know I had it on today on my figures. Anyway... What you get for your £1,249 is the sewing machine that I've got. If you only have to look at the, fa go to the Facebook fan page now and look at the strand that was going on yesterday. I won't say the name of the lady, but she said, oh, I'm thinking of buying one. Shall I get one? Shall I get one? And then there's, there's a whole tirade of people going, I love it. I love it. It's my favourite machine. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right. It was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant strand and everything. Um, so I've got it today. I've got it today. So for one thousand, you'll always pay one thousand two hundred forty-nine pounds for it. That's it. That's the price, right? However, what now? How many of these have I got left? Right. Okay. When the last of stock sells out, we'll just check to see how many we've got. When the last of stock sells out, that five-year warranty disappears. You normally get a two-year warranty, but when the stock of what we have here runs out, right? then that, you'll go back to the two-year warranty. However, if you buy it before midnight tonight, you get the five-year warranty, but then you get um, a Ruby Society, Star Society pin tin, you get weights, you get snips, you get uh, lim, uh, liberty, uh, not liberty, um, linen look panels, you get fabric, you get panels, you get wadges of fabric, you get that lovely owl box there, you get a Wendy, oh sorry, you get a Wendy Orlando pattern thrown in there as well. Then you get a, um, a Delphine pattern, you get a Fat Quarter book, you get a Helen Newton pattern, you get all of this. How much is this worth? £150, over £150, only till midnight tonight. And I've only got it because they played it yesterday when they shouldn't have done. And I've gone, well, we've gone. We want it, we want it, we want it. So it's, oh, we'll have the machine, obviously. We'll always have the machine. But you won't have this lovely bundle. And when the stock of the machine runs out, you won't get the five-year warranty either. If you need to know any more, I'm going to be doing it in the 12 o'clock hour today. Just so you know, just so you know. Gorgeous, isn't it? All that. Right, okay, come with me now, because this is the actual hour we're doing. It's an Alice and Glass, well, it's an Alice and Glass plus hour, this one. So, we've got Alice and Glass, I've got some Lou Orth, I've got Judy, I've got Creative Grids, and I've got this, and what's her name, sorry? Zioko Santo. Right, okay, it was, uh, this is all that's left. They had three hour special with Stuart the other day and everything flew out. One lady said she'd been waiting years and years and years to get this fabric. Oh, and I also need to tell you, when we, the, the, you know normally we go, oh, we'll just find out if we can get some more. I know the turnaround on this fabric is like three months, at least three months. So once this the Japanese fabric is gone, we haven't got the book, the book sold out. Do you know the book? It sold out before Stuart even came on air with it. There were two, two books, right? There are two books. They're both... Quilt one sold out before they even got to air. <clears throat> so that's how popular she is. But anyway, we need to start with Alison Glass. Right, we do have a mega bundle. This is beautiful. Now, it's been folded differently again this time. I don't know who does the ironing. Because, look, they've sent those up that shape and those up that shape. Anyway, 
These are gorgeous if you love rainbow colours. Well, actually, you can see from there, can't you? If you love rainbow colours, and put that in shot there again. If you love rainbow colours, then look at all of those. So I've got two smaller bundles. I've got a green and yellow bundle, and I've got a blue and purple bundle. But this is the mega, mega bundle, this one. £118.83 on split pay, 59 41 twice. This is it now. That's all I can make out of the whole bundle. That's it. That's the. We can't make any more of this bundle. Is what I'm trying to say. I'll have some of the fabrics left, but some of them have sold out already. 118.83. It is a Sunprint Luminance. Now you are getting half a meter free, so you would normally pay 6.99 for half a meter. Keep the curtain shut. Half a meter. Then little Paul just poked his head in. That was on their drilling on the other side of it. That's all. Thank you, just pop it there, thank you. Uh, 118.83, 59.41. Beautiful, now that, the still that Bruce shows you doesn't do the fabric any justice whatsoever. So let me show you each of these individually. So you get this lovely magenta one. No, 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 we won't, they're not going to come through and do it. Let me move to that, there you go, there you go. So you've got your magenta, you've got your, now these are not the names she's used. The names she's used are very, very different. Beautiful, um, rusty there then we've got a soft coral all the patterns are slightly different look you've got the pale lilac you've got the rose pink you've got the spear minty green you've got the lime bright lime green you've got the yellow you've got the emerald green you've got a kind of olivey khaki green You've got the purple with the octopuses on. Then you've got this one. It's amazing, isn't it? Lilac and purple with big uh, lovebirds or birds of peace on there. Then you've got your huge chartreuse signature. Then you've got the kind of lemon, bright lemon. You've got then the, uh, the caramelly coloured one, the pale blue one, the mid blue one, the cobalt blue one, and the red one. All of those for 118.83. Eighteen in total. You get half a meter for free. Even the pic the pictures on there are different sizes. Look, yeah. You'll get the same amount of fabric all of them. It's half a meter of every single one of them. Single figures of that bundle left now. Take advantage of the uh, split pay. I would. Gorgeous. Now that's your mega bundle, that's your mega bundle there. We've also got a pink and purple bundle here. Oh, hang on, that doesn't belong to it. There you go. You have just picked one up. Five fabrics, two and a half meters. The green one is bigger. There you go. 34 pounds and 95 pence. Be careful though, limited number. Load says, morning, I love Alison Glass fabric. Louisa is always very generous with her fabric in her packs. Oh, this is random from the last hour. I can always make extras with the leftovers. Oh, now why can't you order on the website, Lisa? Beautiful. Yeah, just ring the call centre, they'll help you. When well, you can't now, because they're sold out. Sold out now. But in future, in future, if you have any issues with the website, just ring the call centre. They're in the same building as us. They're here in the building. This is gorgeous. Look. £34.95. pence. Lovely. I'm just going to move a bit of something over here. Second. Oh. Ah, oh ah. Yeah, I'm just getting a chair to sit down. No, no, I'm, I'm not doing gymnastics, but the, st the stool keeps going down. Every time I sit on it, the stool sinks down. Yeah. I was doing a what? Wooden things on the wall that you pull out at school. No, we didn't have those in my day. We just had the, like, the horse box thing. Thirty-four ninety-five. This bundle.
Got the bluey greeny bundle coming up next. There we go. So you've got your emerald, your lime, then you've got your sky, and cobalty. Oh, there's more fabric in this one. Then you've got your other green there. And your, oh, the soft green there. So you've got more green, a prominence of green in this one. Beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry? Sandy, so is it? Yeah? Is it Stuart then on doing it on Monday? Stuart's on doing it on Monday. Yarn Lane, that is. Yeah, it is, but when I did my um, thing, I was writing my thing down yesterday, it didn't have... It, uh, it must be Stuart, because Stuart's... Uh, Oh, he's doing, oh, I've seen them on the table upstairs. Stuart's doing, Stuart, Stuart's doing Yarn Lane on Monday. With, I'm the presenter on Monday, and Stuart is the Yarn Lane guest on Monday. And Sally Ann Harrison is the guest on Sight Street on Monday. £48.93. Uh, Yarn Lane is every Monday during April. But you'd have to go anywhere to watch it, it's just on here now beautiful love those colors so now have you maxed out on the green then on this one so once these have gone they've gone yeah so once these bundles have gone we can't remake them just so you know okay Right, some patterns. Okay, so which one do you want to go first then? Good night from me, and it's good night from him. Pick a, pick a quilt. Array. Lou Orth, 8 99 This is lovely, isn't it? Now, I think she did this one with me on air, didn't she? Anyway, 8 99 Array quilt pattern. Single fit. We thought these would be fantastic for the colours in here. Oh, ow. in here. So if you like bought that, oh no. Yeah, yeah, but if you bought the white bundle and then bought some of the fabrics, I'm doing the gonna do them by the half meter in a second, you could create this beautiful quilt, couldn't you? Or just buy the mega bundle, I suppose. What you need is oh, it's because it comes different sizes, baby, lap, and bed. So if you, right, okay, so if you do the biggest one, 98 by 81, you need 10 colours, half a metre of each. Well, you've got that in the bundle, haven't you? And one and a half yards of the other colour and six yards of the background fabric. Perfect. Well, yeah, look, completely different whether you use um, Alison Glass, whether you use William Morris, whether you use Liberty. It's always going to look different, isn't it? It's going to be a pattern that you can make. Oh, oh use cushion. How big are the blocks? Uh, blocks. Oh, hang on. It doesn't say how big the blocks are. But you can make cushions. What I'm thinking is to make cushions as well. Okay. The which one? Sprout is this one. Very easy to make this one. Very, very easy to make. And you can do it with the stalks or without the stalks. Look, I'll show you. I think it looks nice with the stalks. To me, it looks like whale's tails. Okay, eight ninety nine. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. I didn't even see that crash. It was very, very quick. Gorgeous. Now I've got different sizes on that as well. Yeah, baby lap and bed again. So this one you need eleven half meters, eleven different colours, all with half a meter of each. Coloured stem, half a meter. Background three meters or three yards. She's put all hers in yards, but 
6.99 keep going through for that one saving two pounds till midnight tonight next city lights that's like a song isn't it in the 70s can't remember what it is then oh got crashing on don't expect crashes on everything by the way two pounds coming off this one this one i think's got a moroccan -y feel to it Oh, you want a cushion? Where would your block? Where would your block be? Or do you have? Oh, yeah, that's a, let's have a look. Um, I don't know where your block would be on that one. If you're going to make a cushion out of it, I'm just going to open it. Well, I think it must be. It must have the. It, they must be overlapping, mustn't they? Let's have a look. Oh. I don't think there is a, I don't think there is a, can you see a distinguished block on that one? I think you just make it in rows. You can do different size quilts, you can do baby lap and bed. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do a cushion that's 40 inch square. That's a huge cushion. It would fill up your lounge. For his room. Yeah, so Steph, the boyfriend, Hannah's boyfriend, has bought a huge television for the house. Hannah is very, very, her house is exquisite. The pictures I've seen of it is absolutely exquisite and well thought through and everything, and not everything's in proportion. If they, and Steph's coming home with a huge telly. They do live in a two up, two down. Oh, and it's the size of the bed when they put it out. Okay. So we so you're going to be like that. You're going to be watching it like that. No, not in the bedroom, but in even whatever room it's in, you're going to be sitting like that. Never, no, bad feng shui. You haven't got a television in your bedroom, have you, Hannah? Bad feng shui, three people in the bedroom. It was free. Um, okay, I'm saying nothing. Yeah. In the village that they live in, you can get a lot of things for free you know where to go next ball tracks this one now this one this one must be blocks must not it 899 it's lovely that one isn't it gorgeous look at that baby lap or bed again <clears throat> Princess says, oh, that sounds like great fun. What, having a telly so big, you're going to... You've got to have a bit of distance from it. Uh, Hannah's Lounge, you can sit on the sofa and touch the wall with your feet. Anyway, 6 99 Maybe, now there's two of you, see, maybe you could both club together and get a bigger house. Six ninety nine. You could have bought Karen's old house. No, thanks. No, don't move from where you are. It's lovely where you are. Not that I've been in. I've only been outside when I'm waiting to pick her up to give her a lift. I've never been invited in, of course. Six ninety-nine. But they have got some fabulous plants in your um, the plant shop that's got moved from Worcester to Bir Birmingham. Have you been in it yet, Han? They'll deliver to you free. Yeah, but it means they'll just bring it round. Save you having to carry it because it's too far. It's too far for you to walk with it. You're not going to get on the bus with it, are you? No. Also, now you've got the telly. Is there room for a fig tree? Right, last one is called Ripple. No, no feng shui when you've got the telly that big. No. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Lou Oth's ripple quilt. Lou Oth's been on. She's been a guest. And you, oh look, I love it in the blues. Oh, you know what you could do? You could do it in. You only need. Hold on, two, three, four. Oh, you need four. 
you know the blue and green bundle but you need to buy a bit more fabric but you could buy by the half meter you need half a yard of your first four colors three quarter yard of the fifth color one yard of the sixth color then back to half yard and then your background fabric doesn't that look lovely ombre through the colors see that's nice but i really love that one Imagine going through all the pinks or all the yellows or all the greens you've got and things. Beautiful. Two pounds off today until midnight. That's it. Midnight goes back up again if there's any left. We will do these fabrics now by the half metre. Do you want me to shout out rather than you try and find? Yeah. Okay, so the first one is red. MPWU 79. Eight meters, this one left, that's it. This is a new launch fabric, this. Eight meters left. Look, it's lovely. Look at the detailing in it. 6.99 for half a meter. Right, it's only been on with me, right, and to, again today. So I launched this. Was it the Saturday? Which Saturday was it Nikki was on? Was it not like, what? 26th, the Saturday, the 26th, right? That's when we launched it, and then this is the second time it's been on. It's only been on with me. Lovely, isn't it? You've seen all the prints on there. You've got um, hearts. Have I got it upside down? Hang on. Oh, no, it's multi-directional. So you've got a moth, a beetle, the moon, a carrot, a pencil, a fairy cake, a horseshoe, a, a what? Oh no, that looks like my, that looks like my hay fever pills in there. Is it a palette, a paint palette? Oh yeah, because it's got a paintbrush next to it, yeah. If you keep looking, scissors, keyhole, apple, turtle, strawberry, door hinge. Bruce thought that was funny. And it was his idea. And he's been waiting since last Saturday to say it. S seahorse, thimble. TP. Gorgeous. Right, the next one is... Now, they're all they're all set different, all different patterns in here. Don't think, oh, you're just going to show me that pattern in all different colours now. O-A-W-U-58. Right, there's only four metres of this one, cobalt one left. Big print on this one. Oh, look, the door hinge is on this one as well. I don't think it can be a door hinge, though, Bruce. Because, look, because it doesn't, the, the line doesn't go down to the bottom. So some of these are the same motifs as on that last one, but bigger. There's a wasp. There's a delphinium. There's a pear. There's houses. Oh, there's Hannah's house. Can you see that? It's like where Hannah lives. What, what? The, um, the telly's not in there yet. Lovely. Now, the next one is a pale blue one. Uh, YVWU14. Sold out. Not doing that one. Then I've also got the caramel one, which is QWWU03. Oh, does it? Hannah thought it looked like floor tiles. I think it looks like flowers. It's called Flourish in Amber, this one. But then you've got like a big wasp, but then a big, is that a pigeon? Or is it a bird of love? Love bird. There's the love bird, that's a pigeon. 6.99 for half a meter. It's lovely. The ca caramel tones in there are lovely, like caramel and sand. I'd say not that you'd want to put caramel and sand together. 6.99 for half a meter. Gorgeous. Then I've got this one, which is very bright. Uh, NKWU40. Mm, says Bruce. It's very simple, this one, isn't it? Like geometric shapes. Is that a tie or an angular fish? 
a faceted gemstone, a feather, or is it an ice lolly? Carrot or Christmas tree? Envelope. Oh, moving on. She's bored of my description of that one. Then this one's a very unusual one. WT WU51. How big are these motifs look? Look at there's my hand in shot, right? You don't get my hand. Big flower. Flower. Berries, bird talons. Oh, is it a leaf? <laughs> I imagine it was a chicken going, I'm coming to get you. A leaf, apparently. <laughs> Beautiful. I loved what colour have we called this one? Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Uh, it's called chichose, chartreuse, it carved, it's called, carved, not chicken's feet. Then we've got, now this is the same as the caramel one we had earlier, but in lilac, XLWU83. Oh, it's only half a metre of this one left. It's gorgeous, isn't it though? Flourishing lavender, this one. Oh, Jan, I've got the Janome TX607 and finally lost all willpower and bought the Elna. I hope I love it as much. Jan, you will. It's the machine I've got. It's the machine I've got. Fold that. Folded? No, that one's gone. Now I've got the octopus on purple. Uh, XNWU29. There's three metres of this one left. It's only been on air twice. Only been on air twice. And there's three metres this one left. It's a big octopus. Look, there's a mermaid, I think, on here somewhere. There she is. Now, is this the mermaid? or is Yes, it is. There she is. Can you see her? Upside down. Hang on, let me turn it around. There she is. Can you see her? Can you see her, Hannah? She's Hannah's favourite. Beautiful lady. Now, are mermaids only ladies? Oh, yes, I suppose they would be. Do they have mermen, do you think? Mer people, mer people, yeah, exactly. Enchanting the sailors. LFWU21. Very fresh, this one. This reminds me of Lib uh, uh, Wimbledon. Don't know why. What's it called? Oh no, 20 it's called in grass. Oh, grass, Wimbledon grass, court. Cliff Richards. Martina Navratilova. Yvonne, I don't know what she's called anymore. Billy Jinking. Tennis rackets. Moving on. Bruce didn't play in that game. Then, now this is Village by the Sea, this one. Uh, number is, yeah. I love the colour, I also love the print on this one. It's not called Village, oh, it's called Village. In Emerald. It's a bit like when they do Landscape Artist of the Year, isn't it? They all sit there in a row having to paint that, and they all paint different things. Or the one with fern on it. What was that called? Watercolour challenge. What worries me though is this is obviously the sea here. Because the ships. Look how close it is to the houses. Beautiful. Next. Yellow. Sunshine. This has got to be called sunshine. Is it? Yeah. Village in Sunshine. Go on, please be called Village in Sunshine. Oh, lemon. And it's about going to sell out. I'm not surprised that's lovely, it's old. Uh, then I've got a very soft green DSWU50. There's only four metres this available. Well, it's kind of luminous and soft at the same time. 
That's it, Yvonne Goolagong. Thank you, Viv. Oh. Lime, this is called. Latitude in lime. Stop being polite to each other, you two. Sorbet. Daiquiri. Uh, you have one in the top of your beer, Solero beer, you put a piece of lime, don't you? And, and tequila, yeah. Then you put salt on there. Oh, that's how I know, because it goes like that. When you take the lemon, it... IHWU25. This one's about to sell out there. She is La Mermaid on mint. It's called Depth on mint. Lovely, isn't it? I'm very delicate. There she is. Gorgeous. About to sell out that one. Then I've got a soft pink here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YXWU17. Lovely colour, isn't it? That one. Taffety. But what does taffety mean? But what does it mean? Oh, is it? An American sweet? Oh, you see, I was going, oh, it's taffeta. They just spelt it wrong. It's taffeta. So it's taffety after a sweetie. Are they pink sweets, though, taffies? They are. Yes, they are, apparently. Well, there's a river in Wales called the River Taff, isn't there? So it could be after that, really, couldn't it? And in the 17th century, there was a pastry called the Taffety Tart. <laughs> we just call her Hannah now. FHWU89. Love, this might be my favourite. Now, this is carved, isn't it? In lilac. Oh, that's just reminded me. Caroline Lindsay was in my dream last night as well. I know. Maybe, maybe that was the bit after I'd handed my notes in here and I was looking for a new job. Six, now in my dream, in my dream, but you know what they say? So it's a dream. Hannah's so upset. She goes, it's a dream, John, it's a dream. You'll never leave me. She's more likely first before me. And yeah, of course you will. You've got a fabulous career ahead of you. In eventiture, investiture. What, what are you doing? Events. Six ninety-nine. And then I've got the cot ooh now. M E W U forty eight. Tangerine, I'd call this. Peach. Okay. So on the long right the right lines, wasn't it? Six ninety-nine. Gorgeous. Two more. Just two more. Then we've got the rusty rusty coloured one. G D P R. No. G D W U fifty nine. That was a political joke, I think, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't understand. Uh Latitude in Longhorn, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Longhorn, is that a colour? Latitude or longitude, we say. No, longitude or latitude, we say gratitude. Oh. Cow. A longhorn is a cow, apparently. Imagine if your cows were that colour in the field behind your house. You'd move, wouldn't you? I started watching... Um, on my day off, I started watching Glow. Is it called Glow Up or Glow, where they do the makeup competition? Glow Up, but in Ireland. And the, the presenter is that Maura from, right, and I, I started, I was like, oh no. She, she was, she's brilliant. She's absolutely fantastic. And I completely and utterly fell in love with her. She's adorable, she's so nice. I just like it put out there. Uh, this last one, uh, 60. 
six. Or, no, no, I'm not going to go and glow up with her. But you know what? You know when sometimes they they do a presenter and you go, oh no, she's not a presenter. She was brilliant and she was fantastic with the. She was like really um, not sympathetic, but empathetic is that the word she was just adorable with the contestants you know if they're going through a tough time and they all they all it's turning into that i did this makeup because when i was a child this happened that happened they get all that and they start crying and the makeup goes everywhere and one one girl i her eye didn't fall out but she did a frog eye and it fell off and everything uh, anyway she this the morag was mora was so lovely no on love island she made me angry on love island but You see, I've never seen Jane anything else. Hannah said she did another programme on Channel 4 and she was brilliant. I was just guessing. Anyway, I loved her. I thought she was, her real true spirit came out and I just thought, oh, do you know what? I bet you any money all the people on Love Island saw that in the house, but the way they edited those things, they made her out to be a hard, like the one this year with Teddy, you know, the one day estate agent this year had all the temper tantrum and everything. I bet it was, she wasn't like that because why would Teddy... Why would Teddy stay with her all the time if she was really like that? Anyway, we haven't met the real Hannah yet, she says. Here you go. Okay. 118.83. They, they did one of those things on Yahoo about look around the luxury home of Teddy and... I can't remember what she's called now. It wasn't Millie. That was the other one, wasn't it? Anyway, it wasn't that luxury. And there were about 20, 20 pictures the same corner of the house. 118.83, two split payments for 59.41. I cannot remake this. This is it. Once it's gone, it's gone. And it's the only the second time it's been on air. Oh, no. Single figures on that bundle. It's lovely. Just if you do rainbows, if you love rainbows. Also, testament to this fabric, Louisa uses Alison Glass all the time. Yeah, it's Andover, which is Macau, isn't it? So it's good quality. But just the colour and the pattern and everything. If you love rainbows, you're going to go... Uh, I was going to say, a door and something else. And it came out with a gore. You're going to Google this one. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. <laughs> right. At the weekend, no, it wasn't even the weekend. What day was it Stuart had these? During this week, Stuart had uh, this gorgeous fabric. I'm going to show you some slides in case you missed it, right? So, Yoko, I'm going to say it's Saito, Saito. I don't really know. Can I have it on the big screen, please, Bruce? Originally from, oh dear, Ichikawa City in Chiba. Is that the Chiba province? Like, pre prefecture, is that a province? Yeah. 1985, Yoko established the quilt shop and workshop Quilt Party. That was to become her base of operations. She soon garnered a reputation for her painstakingly precise needlework. Renowned quilter and teacher, she's known around the world for ingenious use of taupe colour palettes. Now you see that top, oh, sorry, that top right hand picture, right? That's like, does she write that book as well? Oh, but it's very like that book we had, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, next slide feel like that man next slide please any questions at the podium it's just coming up now don't worry uh, anyway uh, Marcia you know our Marcia watches she adores this lady absolutely adores her she does the most incredible um log cabin I've watched a video of her making a log cabin by hand right okay here's some uh, there you go here's some makes of hers Beautiful. And she, she used them all by hand or just use the machine? Yeah, predominantly just by hand. Different techniques. Uh, the thing is, we haven't got any of her book left. You have to watch the videos. But. Oh, I love these. Look at these, right? They're not necessarily by her. Can I have those on the big telly, please, please? That's right. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're traditional Japanese taupe quilts, not necessarily hers. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, look, tiny, tiny, tiny. Beautiful. Oh, look, 
Stuart was saying on the show how uh, it's, the, it's the culture to actually spend a year, maybe years on a quilt. Well, it can understand that because look, oh, there's the log cabin one I was telling you about. Behind the vine is the log cabin I saw her doing. I love those berries and leaves. They're nice, aren't they? So now, the books sold out. The book's completely and utterly sold out. We have, now I do need to warn you that once these have gone, it's a, a minimum of a three month turnaround to get more in. So by the time we've ordered some, gone through the shipping and everything like that, it's three months minimum to get it in. 10 weeks, 10 weeks to get it in. But frighten the life out of me then. I was like, Colin, they didn't want me. I'm only in one day this week, just today. Yeah, no, but Colin, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Steady. You know Colin, statuesque Colin. Our boss, you know. Anyway, shh, Colin, I'm busy. Right, now. The what, what, what? The great, is that this one here then, yeah? Oh, it's only five. Oh, it f do you know what it feels like? You, if you buy, um, what's the lovely lady from Australia that we always get mugged up? Anderson, Lynette Anderson, right? If you buy her fabric, this is very reminiscent of her fabric. Well, she has, she has her fabrics made in Japan, doesn't she? So, oh, these are so subtle. I'm surprised Hannah likes these because they're a bit subtle, these, aren't they? Oh, look, that's your grey bundle, right? So it's greys and pale blues, three metres, £44.94. Pence. Remember, it's, once these are gone, there's how many left, say five? Five of... We won't, it'll be at least three months before we can get any more. At least three months. They, now, well, the only reason you've got five of these now is because five people didn't check out the day. It was that busy. It was that busy with Stuart. There you go, more people got that in their baskets. Now, don't be leaving me with one. Make sure you all check out now. Don't be leaving me with one. There's more people in there, more people on that. Now, Bran, what did you just say? Oh, I didn't hear that word, I heard a different word. Right, there's more fabric in this bundle, is that? One, two. Yeah. Now, you see, I'm not normally an advocate of brown fabrics, aren't I? but I love these. I think these are stunning. You've got this textured. Now, the thing is as well, is what Hannah was saying is she loved the fabrics, but it was only when she saw them being made into the techniques that she did that she loved them so much. I think these are beautiful. Yeah, look. I've seen that kind of... That must be a traditional print I've seen. Gorgeous. Oh, yes, you're right. That one there. Yes, we did... Remember when we were at Sewing Quarter, we did, um, like, the coverlet thing, didn't we? And the... And the Quilters Guild of the British Isles recreated different fabrics. They gave them late people's names, didn't they? And that, I remember that one. You're right, yeah. I love that one there. That's so subtle. You see, it's when you see designers' houses, isn't it? People have got really good taste. You see, look, and I think, oh, I don't do anything subtle like that. I've just done, I've just ordered a bright orange velvet cushion for my Indian sofa. Oh, I know it's gorgeous. And then I was in there to find, to find that and ended up ordering a whole brand new sofa cover. Casual, casual. Anyway, they are beautiful. See, my house would never look like that. I'd like it to, but it never does. I love colour, though. So glad you're presenting. The allergies have developed into a cold. Oh, dear. Moving on. I have, oh, I've got fat quarters now. So they were, they were half metre, bun, you know, bundles made up of half metres. Oh, right. Now, these these have got... I've just listened then. Sorry, I went all quiet. Um, these have got some of the... I apologise, Hannah. I was listening to you. I was... Um, which makes a change. Um, I thought I'd say it before she did. No, it's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, you'll, in here, you'll see some of those fabrics and some that you didn't even see in the half meters. So I've got the one with red in it, the one with green in it. One with red first, right? Okay. Oh, okay, so you've just seen this one in a darker brown, haven't you? These are fat quarters, remember? Then you've got your woody print. Gorgeous. Yeah, because she uses lots of little bits, doesn't she? There's the red one. It's a deep, deep red. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Look at that. I'm going to open this one because that's very unusual. She uses this for like tree stems and things like that. And weeds. Hair weaves. she got green hair. Oh yes, I can see it now. Hair weaves. Uh, no, 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 but do you remember the quilt we had with Emma Brad the other day? We had like wood print and weave print in that as well, didn't we? Beautiful. I think that's lovely. I don't know if I'd want more than a fat quarter of it, you know what I mean? You wouldn't make a blouse out of it, would you? Oh, did you? Did you? Well, by the half metre, not by, so you didn't buy, sell it by like four metres and five metres. Oh, okay. Hannah's going to make a dress out of one of them. She said, what other colours did you have? <laughs> oh, yes, I can see mahogany coming up in a minute. I don't know what wood that would be. Mossy wood. And then that's designer wood. Oh, it's her centenary collection. She doesn't look a hundred, does she? Okay. Anyway, moving on. How many of those have we got left? Gorgeous. Now, if you're going to do all those little... Now, you know, her books have sold out. Have, have those other books that we've got sold out as well? Oh, okay. I, don't know. I was going to make a suggestion, but I won't know. Just nice having your stash. Then we've got the other fat quarter bundle with all oh, look at the time. That didn't make any sense at all, but there you go. Okay. Right, that's a lovely soft pink, that one, isn't it there? Oh, this is a love oh there's the brown one we saw earlier. Oh that's nice, that mustardy colour's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh now I no we're not allowed favourites, but that's my favourite. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 37 99. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Less than four pounds, three pounds seventy-nine, a fat quarter that. For Japanese designer, I should say so. I'm still working out how I'm gonna get Louisa Galt's cushion home without anyone noticing. Nobody'll notice. That one there. It's a bit like it would match in one that Emma Bradford made for me. It's my birthday, it's the same colourway. Anyway, 37 like that. I've also, while I was doing my sorting out, I found this piece of fabric that I bought in, um, oh, where did I used to go on a Sunday? Um, when I went from South Africa, where did I go on a Sunday? Did you, Zimbabwe, no, not Zimbabwe. Oh, it'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, I bought this huge piece of fabric and I just suddenly thought, imagine if I made a quilt out of it. Just day fabric because it looks like it's got gold and blue and black. I'll take a picture of it put it on Facebook later oh it was, it's gorgeous I bought this massive piece of fabric and it's just sat it'll be filthy because it sat on top of my sofa about uh, not on my sofa on my top of my cupboard for about 30 years that's a bit of an excess 25 years right I'm getting off my stool then that cushion I just mentioned that one no it's sold out already Oh, okay, right, before I go anywhere, let me just talk about, so the original order, the original lot for this sold out, if you go to pre-order, is it under a different SKU then? So go to pre-order, there's more in stock. The grey one, okay, don't worry, the grey one, is that all right, is it? That's, that's on pre-order. Okay, so there's more on pre-order when it does sell out, because we think that one's going to sell out too. Now, what's about from the last hour?
Okay, right. So, in the la Louisa's last hour, everything sold out, right? If you wanted the rainbow wall hanging, the Liberty wall hanging, or the pattern, that is, is it on pre-order? Go to pre-order right at the very bottom. Sorry? But they shouldn't be on pre-order. They've sold out. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, pre-order... Go to pre-order, not onto today's show deals. Go to pre-order, past this one, which is sold out, because we haven't even played it yet, have we? And it's sold out. Go right the way down to the bottom. Are you going to show it? No, no, don't worry. Go right the way down to the bottom of pre-order, and there's more stock gone in there. There's more stock gone in there. Okay, come with me. Now, these are flying out last day of the deal this is the machine i've got as you all know you see i like being over this side better the lighting is much better on this side isn't it well it's pink on this side and it's cold white on that side i don't know why because there's no pink bulbs anyway this is the price you pay for this gorgeous home machine it's the one i chose to buy i didn't i'm not an elna ambassador i didn't get it as a gift or anything like that i bought mine right £1,247 is what you will always pay for this machine at the moment. Obviously, eventually in the future it will go up again, but not now, not now. So £1,249 is what you pay. At the moment, while the stock we've got in stock with us here, you will still get the five-year warranty. It normally only comes with a two-year warranty, but you will get a five-year warranty with it, right? But what you also get, now this is only till midnight tonight, only till midnight tonight, right? You also get a Helen Newton pattern. You also get a Fat Quarter book. You also get a, a Delphine pattern. You also get a tin from the Ruby Star Society. You also get a tin of uh, pattern weights. You also get a lovely Fat Quarter Stories lantern by Lee Brampton, who we know is the husband of Beth Dudley. You also get a pair of snippers. You also get your linen look panel and half a metre of the fabric to go with. You also get your um, uh, bobbin, not your bobbin, your uh, spool holder with the owls on top. I would get rid of that and have it as a nice little collection box like that. That's just my own personal. To what? Oh, sorry. Then you get, oh, there's a panel. You also get these. Uh, they're fat quarters, are they? their fat quarters then you've also got two meters of white fabric then you've also got how much of this do you get then no it's not half a meter there's a couple good couple of meters there the cream oh two meters that one and as a booby prize you get a wendy orlando pattern as well but you don't have to use that if you don't want to no no you can't have that that's louisa brought that in with my ginger water in anyway gorgeous machine make sure you check out on it so many of you have done already congratulations you've got yours well, we know jan got one because jan messaged in earlier um i have to say the first i'll talk more about it in the last hour but when i bought mine right um no not when i bought mine before i bought mine when we first started working at stone quarter i'd never used one before and i put my pieces together for a show that i was doing and it almost sews it together for you it doesn't obviously but it feels like it's sewing it together for you you feel totally and utterly looked after and cosseted while using this machine and if you look at my facebook page my um, heart for ukraine which is in my window i made all of that on this and it only took a morning only took a morning i cut it out with the gemini die cutter which you'll be seeing soon um it's this week on the channel must be wednesday is it this week or the next week on the channel here pardon one thousand <laughs> that wasn't me by the way that wasn't me that was a drilling noise from next door that was my ginger water gurgling anyway i've got to go louise is back after the break make sure you buy her stuff on pre-order because it's all flying out now go in need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Justin's just been in. That's Louisa's husband. He's got cold ears today. Oh, that was Louisa then just popping into shop. That's right. Right, now let me go through everything because it's quite um, confusing, right? So before we do this hour, 
Can we put the graphic through for the last hour? So, in the last hour, we did this rainbow wall hanging, tabletop, whatever you want it to be, completely and utterly sold, oh, completely and utterly sold out. Okay, now we've got more. We've got more. So that's the code you need to use. Z, ZDL, hang on, ZDL787. It's different, isn't it? ZDL787. So that's back in stock already. Now, however, I need to just warn you, it might be a couple of days before, because they all come from Louisa, and she's got to order more boxes from her box supplier. Is that right? Yes. Not that Justin's got to sit and cut all the fabric out. No, I do that. Do you not let him do any of that? Lorna helps me now. Oh, Lorna, not Justin then. No, he does other things for me, like Like books. make your dinner? Yes. Oh, okay, so that's that one back in stock. So put that one on your trolley so you don't forget right, that one. Say. We also have the Liberté one, which now we never had a phone call from Liberty saying if they wanted to stock it either. Oh. But we've got more of this as well, more of this one. And that one is TEL742. Gorgeous. And now what a lot of you have been asking for, that one's yours, put that in your trolley, so don't forget yeah, sure. it. A lot of you have been asking for this. The pattern on its own. The pattern on its own. Okay, quarter of the stock of the new stock has gone already. So it sold out in the first hour. A quarter of the stock. Now, how, how fast do you photocopy her? Oh, I can do those. Though. Oh, we're all right. We're all it's right with those. It's just the papers with those. <laughs> yeah. You do get the papers as well, you by the way. You will get them within a week, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's them. fine. That's fine. If not, just let me know and I'll barrage just let you. Just me with know insult. and yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll. But everything <laughs> is coming directly from Louisa. So don't be ringing our warehouse. It's and it's coming only from me and Lorna, so. <laughs> oh. He could go to the post office with them though, can't he? Yes, he could. Oh, yes. mind you, he's got a, Now he came in, apparently he's not in charge of the bin men, only the lollipop people. He's road safety, so he's. he's no, no, he's rod. He's rod, rod safety. Rod. <laughs> so I kept saying, he came around I do rod safety, me, rod safety. <laughs> anyway, he's lovely, Justin. Anyway, 11 99 Please be careful on that. There's so many of you coming in for that. That's the pattern and the papers. Oh, half the stock's gone now. Half the stock's gone. And there's so many people on the front. Right, we'll wait then. We'll wait. Dun, 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 dun. What are you eating, Hannah? Rice with carrot, onion, tomato, <laughs> some spicy stuff, and some spinach. Do you know what Charlie, little Charlie, you know 14-year-old Charlie who directs on the days when Bruce isn't here? <laughs> he makes food. He makes from scratch every single day. Wow. So the other day he had paneer and peppers. Ooh. And oh, it, I sat next off to it with my boiled egg and my cheese, just like going, and I was waiting for him to say, oh, dig in. No. Anyway, because uh, cause his mum taught him how to do the curries. He does a lovely curry and all these gorgeous, gorgeous. He comes in with a Tupperware box and it's just, he sits there, we're like, oh. And <laughs> Hannah's already eaten her lunch by 11 o'clock, so she's got nothing to eat when he's in. Bruce doesn't bring anything he doesn't eat to, he's just muscle packed. Yeah, just muscle packed. Like that. Anyway, uh, are we all right with this? Yeah. Oh, even more people coming through now. What we were going to do was politely wait with the, those of you who were on the phone. Now, there's so many more. There's not going to be enough. There's not going to be enough, <laughs> Louisa. She's just laughing manically in the background. Okay, I do need to get. We do need to get on because this is this is an even busier hour. We've got loads to do. So let me just put that there. So that's from. We'll come back to it. That was from the last hour. This hour. My lovely cushion <laughs> that's going to go on my big chair, you know, my big throne. This is gorgeous. It's flying home in indigo. Go right, now remember, they all sold out before we even came to the hour. We've now got more in. And how many of the more have gone? Fewer than 20. Fewer than 20. Of them. That's of the new stock. That's of the old stock. Now, I need to warn you, there's no back to this, is no. there? You just get... Oh, that sounds a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. There's just fabric. Look at... What are these? Riley Blake, Indigo Garden. These are gorgeous. Look at the... Oh, sorry, you haven't got an overhead, sorry. 
Look, not yet. We haven't look. Look how gorgeous these fabrics are. And the colour is perfect. So you've got your Macawa linen printing indigo. The uh, blue stone. This, now, this is not EPP. This is the most simplest, even I could do this. We're going to show you how to do it now. It's to make your perfect half square triangles, isn't it, this? So, you've not printed them all out. So, you know, normally on something like this, you get one and you have to photocopy it yourself, right? You don't have to. Look, they're all in there. They're all in there, ready for you to go. So, as soon as you get home, you don't need a photocopy or anything. As long as you've got a machine, and some needle and some thread you can start so that's oh you have more people in baskets than available june uh, i can't see it from here yay managed to get the liberty wall hanging it's going to be fabulous from june oh june it is they're all lovely aren't they Thank you. oh how brilliant is this i'm so happy i'm really i mean i have no doubt that it would be popular <laughs> no 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 but they always are aren't they but to, to sell out and now we're going to sell out of the extra stock as well. Thank you very much. She won't be back for nine months, you do realise now that. Right, so that's that one. Now, the grey one, the grey one, do you want to get that? Can you reach that grey one? Sorry. And then Louisa can hold this one for you so it finished here. <gasps> no, no, these are Alison Glass. Yes. Oh, thank you. She's and not that's gonna slightly hold this different. You've got eight different fabrics in there, whereas the Indigo, you've got four different fabrics just doubled up oh Whereas right that one you've got eight different, eight different fabrics. fabrics but then you can create this look but then if you wanted to i'd make all my tri half square triangles and then just just random. kind of random yeah. or would lay them out before i sewed them yeah, yeah, see yeah. if it worked might not work random might not it but so i see what you've got here you've got the green and blues there and you've got the orange and the pinks there but there's no no reason to say you have to do them right around because no, you make no. all your half square triangles with the gray background to start with mm -hmm. and then it's the play because i was saying earlier if you twisted some of them you yeah. could do create you could do yeah. um what are those things pinwheels you yeah. can do all sorts of things with it can't you don't have to do oh, it that yeah, way you've got to. four by four so you yeah. can do pinwheel pinwheel yeah. yeah yeah so it's up to you it's up to you it's up to you the colors are gorgeous now the gray oh that's a macau linen for yeah. a linen texture so that's, that's it uh, and no. you get the squares and you get the border what you don't get you don't get the back here but you can get that yourself hi john can a beginner do this never done it before loving the show from vanessa yes Definitely. I'll show you how to do it. It's the simplest FPP and you can then say that you can do foundation paper piecing. But also it really it's not foundation paper not piecing really. like you think because you've not got any of that turning Numbers. over and putting on the back. You're just putting two pieces of fabric together and yeah. sewing and cutting, aren't yeah. you? So it's a really, really good way to start just getting the technique. It's not the one, you know, FPP, not foundation paper piecing. You normally put the first one on there, then you put the next one and you turn it over, you sew down that line, you turn it back, you cut the quarter. And then your brain goes into meltdown. Yeah, <laughs> none of that. None, <laughs> none of, that. of that. Having said that, my friend Shimoy Mary, who, when we first started sewing quarter, would buy a few of the kits and said, I can't do this, can't do this. We did, you know, Lucy Ben and she did a balloon yes, type quilt. Yeah, yeah. She did that and Shimoy Mary got it straight yeah. away like oh, that. Wow. And she now designs her own <sighs> FP pick, not for Fantastic. sale, just for herself, yeah. you know, like the roses. The thing is, once you get it, you get it. Yeah. And you think, yeah. oh my God, yes, but it takes a while to get yeah. it. <laughs> Question, is it done by hand or is it a machine from Chris in Greater Manchester? This one's machine. These two are both machine. Machine, machine. <laughs> right, so that's that one. That's that grey one. Now, here we go. Here we go. Pattern on its own. I'll give you that one back. Thank you. Pattern on its own. This is... So that doesn't come with all eight templates. It only comes with one. So you do need to photocopy Okay, it. so in this one, you just get the template once and you need to photocopy it, obviously, for seven nights. Well, you're not going to get five... Anyway, uh, the first lot all completely sold out. We then ordered a lot more and quarter stock oh she was swallowing that i thought <laughs> she's just ignoring me she was swallowing the rice oh no so you know when the bit of spice hits the back of your throat you're like <coughs> she was a bit like that then anyway that no no i just like to tell them so you're not ignoring me seven nights oh seven nights nine. yeah <laughs> What's it called? Arj oh, FPP, Flying Home Cushion Pattern and Template. Template. It's called Flying Home because it like, looks like geese flying inwards. Kind of. You know, like flying geese. No? Okay. Seven ninety nine. <laughs> Does Have you done... So this one here. Oh, no, it is the same. Mm. 
you've done the green and the red that way and the yellow and the red that way. I, this doesn't, but it looks different to that one, doesn't it? Just by the colorway. So if you're gonna make your own, do you know what you can do as well? If you've got loads and loads and loads of stash, just tiny bits, like how big is that square? It's eight inch square? Um, to do it, oh yeah. Uh, seven and a half. So, so if you've got an eight inch square bit of fabric, you could just use loads and loads and loads of different colours if you wanted to. Just create... But though, using that, you create eight at a time. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So you'll have eight identical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could, but you could, you don't need to use, you could use a red one, a yellow one, yeah, a green yeah. one, a blue one. I would keep the background colour the same yeah. like you have. So I would do a blue or a grey or whatever. But then you have eight. I just think it's brilliant. What's the matter? Nothing. She's muttering away there. I'm not muttering. She is. <laughs> okay, so my cushion has gone in all variations, in all colours, in everything. So the blue one, all, all everything, they've all gone. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. No, no, I'm not going to, don't be silly. She's taken hours doing it. She wouldn't want to give it to me. She's got to have a, she's got a stall, she's got to display at Festival of Quilts. At this point, right, I'm not going to have any fabric. Like, you can have it when I've read out of the fabric. Oh, right, then, thank you. No, I wouldn't do that. I've said that I'll buy it, I'll now. buy it, I'll no, buy it. Uh, I'll see you at Festival of Quilts. Anyway, I'm doing a talk in the theatre. Oh, on, are you? On the Sunday. About your life. Yeah, well, yes, because they rang me, and they didn't email me, go, would you give a talk? And I was like, oh, yeah, for us. So I said, they gave me Sunday afternoon. I said, everyone will have gone home by Sunday afternoon. There'll be nobody there to watch it. So then they rang at the email, going, what, what, should I, what should I call it? And I didn't reply. So suddenly the brochure comes out this week going, the life and the loves of John Scott. It's called the life. The, have you ever got a question you wanted to ask John Scott? The life and the loves of John Scott. Isn't that Korea. what they call the life and loves of the she devil? Oh, yes. <laughs> That was Julie T. Wallace, wasn't it? Oh, you're too young, you can't remember. She scared anyway, me. <laughs> what? She scared me. I don't know who she was. She was brilliant. I worked with her on something else after that. Anyway, seven ninety nine. The pattern and the pattern on its own with the template. Right. Okay. Right. Let's go onto the quilt. For, before we will do some sewing, we've got to we've got to get on. Actually, it doesn't matter if we go a little bit over because it's only me on my own in the next hour, isn't it? This is lovely. Now, I've seen this before, but only that, like yeah. four, and they were smaller. Yeah. They, they're calling this a lap quilt. It's huge. Big lap yeah, quilt. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Single bed. Could fit on a single yeah. bed, couldn't it? Or a child. Yeah. Just lovely. So what technique is this, then? Well, well it's mine that I came up with. I was playing with freezer paper one day and came up with this technique, but I have no idea what to call it. I just call it a clever, nifty technique using freezer clever, paper. Clever, nifty techniques. <laughs> Right. Okay. You need freeze. You need freeze paper. Need yeah. freeze we haven't got paper. any freeze paper in stock, but we'll let you know. Well, you, lots of you've got it already, and you get to get thirteen meters on the roll, don't you? So you should have some left. Right. Which colourway am I doing first? The one that's on the wall. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, what do we get here? We get seven meters of fabric and the pattern. So here's the pattern. There's your pattern. Now, obviously, this is going to be just for the front. And, right, we'll talk about the binding in a minute. We'll talk about the binding in a second. So you get seven metres of fabric. You get a metre, I've got it written down here, thanks, Hannah. Yeah, I think so. A metre of that. These are all muda, all muda, all muda, <laughs> grey and orange, wonky squares. What's the, what's the connection called? Cosy up, that's it, cosy up. One metre of that, one metre of that, one metre of that, one metre of that. <laughs> One and a half metres of that, and one and a half metres of that. Now, why have I got more of that one and that one? Because then, you need more than... Yeah, Hannah was, going to, Hannah was answering for you then. Because <laughs> <laughs> you need more than um, a metre to, to do, oh, to the, do bigger the bigger bit. square. So, so in, the, in the old one that we did before, we just stopped at that square. Of course, yeah. But this one, you need more than a width of fabric so to do So they have to use this for their you background. You don't have to, though because you've got one and a half of each. So if you wanted a more darker fab, a darker quilt, you could have this as the sashing and the cream as okay, the Okay, but you've got one. to keep the cream and the big. Yeah. I'll just to explain this to you. You have to use this one and this one for your either your sashing or your outside triangle. Those 
you can choose whichever yeah. order you want to put them in anywhere, can't you? Yeah. Which you've done, you've alternated them, haven't you? Yeah, there's two different. Yeah, so that's that well, That's that bundle. We also have it in a green bundle, which I think is the one you're going to demo in, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So this one here, you get the instructions. Right, then you get this gorgeous green, it's like my bedroom wall, pay for that. Uh, that one, a metre of that. You get a metre and a half of the shutters. Get a metre and a half of the white, oh, yeah, ivory. One metre of the blue, one metre of the peacocks, and one metre of your flowers. That, you see, now that has the feeling of that Japanese fabric earlier, doesn't it? You know the pattern we had with the circle and the leaves? Hannah's not going to agree. And then that will make... Hang on this. There you go, a mixture of designers in there. Oh, that's lovely, look at that. That works so well, doesn't it? He said surprisingly. <laughs> Hayley put these together. Hayley? Yeah, she did. <laughs> you look surprised. Oh, Hayley. Yeah, well, she told me she did. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She'll have got Joseph, a nine-year-old, to do oh, it. Well, well, he's no, got no, a no. very good eye, if it was. He's got a very good eye. Anyway, so that's that bundle, £84.99. Now, this bundle, you're not going to see this one being made. There's no sample. I'll just give you that back. But how gorgeous is this going to look? So you get, uh, you get your pattern, £59.99. You get your pattern. You get one metre of that, that blue. You get one metre of that blue. You get your metre and a half of the white. You get one metre of that blue. You get one and a half metres of the, that looks um, like silver mink or something like that. And one metre of your soft grey. So there are your ones you mix and match. These two are either your sashing, oh sorry, either your sashing or your um, outer square. Gorgeous. I bet that, Hannah, that would look lovely. We're sitting on your... Um, window seat looking out to sea oh lovely she looks out to sea at the front of her house in Where birmingham does she live? <laughs> yeah she lives in a village a little bijou <laughs> village in birmingham is this available on its own yes right so if you want your own colorway do your own colorway you've seen how much you need you've seen how much fabric you need that okay. is more than enough as well you've got enough to do the binding right and to be honest you've probably got enough to do a pieced backing oh wow if you stretch it a bit oh that's about to sell out Oh, right. oh no, I need to keep that, I need to keep that, I need to keep that. <laughs> right, so in your seven metres, what Louise is saying is you can make this, would it have to be a scrappy binding yeah. then? You can make a scrappy binding. Oh, well, oh, hang on. So that's as much as I had left. Oh. So you could actually get one binding. Yeah, there. yeah, look. But you've so probably got enough to do a piece, piece back. back in. I would think. Yeah, the pattern on its own sold out. Pattern on its own sold out. So, so we're saying that, thank you, in that bundle, you can bind and you can do a pieced back, not a solid back, but a pieced back as well. So you can make the whole quilt. For, you just need some wadding. Two quilts in one. Yeah, two, yeah flip it over. Mm. Exactly. Shall we get some sewing done? Would you mind? Because it is 20 past. You've yes, kept me well. waiting all oh. this time. Right, go on. Right, so half square triangle. So this is the cushions. We'll start with the cushions. Apparently you always mutter at work. Who told Lorna <laughs> Lorna's said that. back again, is she? <laughs> I normally work on my own and I don't know how much I mutter and huff and puff and everything. So she's sitting there now listening to all my oh, muttering. Like Elliot, <laughs> Elliot doesn't realise. He, he sits there and goes like, oh. yeah, exactly. I said I sigh a lot. Oh. And he's, he's going, Elliot, you're right. Yeah, why? Well, I'm just breathing. Right, very quickly, Jenny Jackson's message in. Yeah. Hello, lovely Louise. It's amazing to have Hello, you back Jenny. on the screen. Graphics are for what? Oh, okay, the graphics are for the grey cushion. The grey cushions. We haven't got the blue cushion left anymore. Oh, actually, I might just have to put it somewhere safe then. <laughs> it's safe, it's safe. Right, go, right, go, but go. But we're going to be go. demoing the blue one. What have you done then? Right, so in the kit, you get. Eight, oh, we're demoing, we're demoing. We're demoing the blue one, unfortunately. Okay, that's Sorry. fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> um, you get eight background squares yeah and eight printed squares so right. the blue one you'll get two each of these ones but in the gray cushion you get eight different ones so you start off by putting those two together right sides together 
You've got trimmed templates in there already, so you don't have to trim them down. So just place that on top. Her? Is your template to her? Did you say her? Yeah, you said you have to trim Did her I? down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking? Probably. Yeah, probably. probably. Can't remember. It's a long way I for will you to be come tonight. down south, isn't I will it? be tonight. Will you? We're going somewhere posh. You going somewhere he posh? He wasn't going to tell me it was a surprise and I didn't know what to wear, so he had to tell me, and now he's got the ump because he had to tell me. Oh, <laughs> for your anniversary, the take somewhere posh. Yeah, well, Hereford. Yeah, it can still be a pie, it can be a pop no, that sells pies. <laughs> no, 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 it's it's posh posh. Oh, wow. You've got taffeta in your gown, you've got taffeta <laughs> no, ball gown. That po exactly, I don't do posh. This is as posh as I oh, get. Oh, So I've had a right, right. Two so, and eight, right. So. Here's your template. So right. as you can see, you've got red lines. Can we see that? Oh, yes, there you go. Brilliant. Red lines, black lines and blue lines around the corners. Uh -huh. Okay, so what we're going to do is just sew down all the red lines. So I'm going to take the machine down, which if I can remember how to do it. Oh, to about no, that's the wrong one. Who said that? To about one point one point five, say. Oh, small, 1 small. Just because you need to rip the paper out after. So mm -hmm. the smaller the stitches, the more perforated the paper yeah. will be. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to start at that corner, sew all the way down, and go back all the way up there, okay. and then go all the way down there, and sew all the way up there. Okay. Right. On the red lines. Just on the red lines. Ooh. Oh, if you break it, you pay for it. We got pedal. a pedal. <laughs> right. Ooh, right. So yeah, so you're just doing straight as you can. Straight as you can. No, stay straight on the line. Well, stay on. Yeah, stay on the line. Yeah. Corner. And then, rather than breaking thread, just lift your needle. Ooh, how do you lift your needle? Lift your needle and pull it across to the next bit. Yeah. And then do the same. And it doesn't matter if you're going up one side and down the other. No. Thing. no. This is just to save thread again, so rather than breaking thread all the time and having to restart. <coughs> Excuse it's me, just yeah. It's easier if you do that. Oops. I think Bruce has just fallen off his chair. What did he do? Oh, it was Hannah. Message, you two are absolutely adorable together. We need not need more Louisa. Oh, oh thank what? You. Oh god. No, we don't. Oh <laughs> we'll get Justin on next yes. time. Yes. Oh, or we could get who is she called? Lorna. Lorna. Get oh Lorna yes, on. get Lorna on. <laughs> uh, Joy says the quilt is wonky square in a square. Love the triangles pillow. I have a roll of paper triangles to use. Oh yeah. Oh, right, yeah, because you be can right get size. them on roll. Yeah, yeah. This, these finish at two and a half. Right. Um, I know that you can get rolls that... Yeah, we've got a quilt. We had a quilt, didn't we, last week that had um, a roll of... What are they called? They're called something funny. Triangles on a roll. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just making it up now. <laughs> right, so... Okay, we've sewn the red sewn lines. Sewn all the red lines. So now you're just going to cut through all the black lines. Oops. Okay, so yeah. you get your ruler. Yeah. You're just going to cut all up and down. All the black, black. lines, you yeah. say now, yeah. yeah. So we've sewn red, cut in black. So if you've got a square ruler, actually you can use a long ruler for this one. <laughs> square ruler. Got a ruler with a straight edge. Yes, a ruler with a straight edge. Oops. <clears throat> if you do go off one then. You've done what? Nothing. <laughs> Wonky. Obviously, you'll be taking a lot more care and attention than I am, and not rushing. I feel rushed. Okay, so those are right. the straight lines, and then you're going to go across the diagonals. And how many times do we have to do this? So you have to do this eight times. So you've got eight different prints. Right. Or four different prints if you've got the blue one yes. twice, yeah. But you've got eight pieces of fabric, yeah. Okay. So that will make you up your 64 triangles. Thank so you. So then when you've done yours, then you just need to chop off. So these are the dog ears. Are they ears. black lines as well? They're then? blue lines. Okay. So you just trim off the blue lines. So these would be the dog ears that you would normally have. Yeah. On. I read a pattern the other day. I was reading an old pattern of mine. Yeah. Similar to the thing. And for some reason, and I really apologise for anybody that's bought the Sunspell pattern lately, but it says flaps of skin. Why? <laughs> I should say flaps of fabric. 
a dog ears. And for some reason, I've put flaps of skin. I was like, oh. And well, has nobody mentioned it? No. <laughs> so I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was going on in my head at the time. No. So, yes. So, if you've had a cringy moment like I did, <laughs> I'm sorry. How embarrassing. <laughs> you printed them all up with that. Did, you, did Norna not notice before it went to print? No. no. And Barbara and Sarah, who do read my patterns, didn't. So, I'm telling you. Oh, no. <laughs> you got a pointing at them, Barbara and who? Sarah. Barbara and Sarah. Who's also got COVID. Barbara and Sarah, you've got Sarah a pointing doesn't. at them. Sure. Well, both of them actually have had COVID. So oh, nice. Both, nothing to do with me. There's a thing, I'm going to put it on my Facebook later. There's a Korean doctor who says, if you haven't had COVID, you've got no friends. And then there's another one, <laughs> right? And then there's another one that says, only I the attractive people have never caught COVID. And I thought, well, I'll which one am I? One, one with no friends or am I the attractive one? I know the answer. You don't have to message in. <laughs> right, so when you've done your your dog ears so yeah. then you need to remove the paper so the easiest way of doing this is if you fold that seam yeah watch just in. backwards and forwards yeah, to it's not that it. one it's that one there yeah come on. and then rip that so it's like that so yeah just rip it in half and then pull that away what you don't want to do though is tug on your stitches is no it? no and then that should just pull out like lovely that. okay so you're going to do those you can do a couple oh i don't do any work oh here. you do yes, right you so do. hang on so you fold so it you over fold it over a couple of times rip the middle bit yeah. And then just gently pull. It's like a, an old fashioned stamp anyway, with your stitches being that close. Yeah. It's kind of created it's that serrated edge. It. Not serrated, what's perforated. the word? Perforated. Who? Perforated. That's the one. <laughs> there we go. So then you're going to do those. So you'll get eight each. And that. And then if I'm really quick, I just wanted to show you a quick way of piecing the block together. Okay. It's um, that folding it in half and then splitting it halfway down is a really good suggestion, mm. isn't it? Yeah, and obviously the smaller the stitch, the, the looser the paper will be, really. I think that was a 1.8. So and if, you, if you're doing this from the pattern at home... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> oh, by the way, by the way, loads of you got it in your basket, right? You need to check out. The pattern on its own, you need to check out. There's way more of you got it in, way, way, way more of you got it in your basket. So some of you will get sold out, sorry, sold out. Please be careful. If you want it, make sure you check out. Um, I was going to, there's the pattern, there's the graphics, the pattern on its own. Um, what I was going to say was, paper, if you're, because if, if you buy the, the kit, you get the, enough pieces of paper yeah. in it. If you get the pattern, you have to photocopy your own. Yeah. Can I just use normal photocopy paper to yes. do it? Yes, oh yeah, yeah. This is what this is. It's just a cheap, cheap and cheerful. Okay. The thinner, the better, really. Right, so when you're ironing it... Yeah, back onto the overhead. Lovely, thank you. Um, put them printed side up, I did, just because one's... If you say... You should do the darker side, really, but these are as dark as each other. Yeah. So put them... That's... Now, what did we say? This relaxes the seams. Setting. Setting the seams. And then you asked me once, what does that mean? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I you think you it just means it's it. well, it was in the beginning, wasn't it, when I didn't know about sewing or anything? Well, no, but yeah, I think you I've written a book it about in. it now. I've got yeah. To yeah. Oh. Second draft went in yesterday. The loves. No, it's not the life. Oh. Oh. Oh, can't change the type right, now. The so now you're going to going. push that open. Yeah. So the seam goes towards the printed. Right. And give it a little press. But don't force it because that middle no. bit's on the bias, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just be gentle. You don't want to. So, yeah, don't use steam if you can. Just a nice dry hot iron. And you're rather than pressing it. No, yeah. rather than ironing iron it, it, you're pressing it. So you're just putting it on top. So that should keep you nice straight line. So when did you leave London? 2008. Because you're still Seven. quite, you know. Here, go blind me. No, well, I was born in the sound of the Bow Bells. Were you? Yeah? Yes, I was born at Barts, in the sound of the Bow Bells. Oh, I filmed so some I of them for weddings at Barts. I love Barts. I don't know, Mum never, she she worked in town in the city. Yeah. Well, it sounds posh in the city. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Mum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't watching, be insulting your mum now as well. So she went, no, <laughs> she went to Barts to have me instead of the oh. local, which was yeah. lovely. Anyway, right, so. You're going to lay out your, so the pattern. Oh, Do you want the pattern? Do you need the pattern yeah. then? So I you've know just the lady got... who wrote it. Do you need to me to? <laughs> I don't know what we did with the cushion. Oh, you've nicked the cushion, haven't you? No. Right, so as you'll see in the cushion. I told you it was in a safe you've place. You've got some going that way. So when you've put, so you're going to create it in quarters. 
you see this? Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. So Oh, no, push it, because the graphics come in there. You go, brilliant. So this one, the colour's going that way, and that one is going that way. So you've just okay. got to be careful of where they meet in the middle. Right. Okay, so when you're doing your top left corner, so now I've forgotten which one. That oh, way. sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. So your top left corner, lay them out. Actually, yes, you should really say hello to my mother because you said hello to her cousin, who was my auntie. Oh, no. So you should say hello to mum What's well. your mum called? Joe. Who? Joe. Joan! Joe. Hello, Josephine. Jo Josephine. Josephine. Yes. Josephine. <laughs> she's going to kill me. think she's watching? She'll have gone out She now. better be watching. No, she doesn't go out. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there you go. You've got See, your she thinks quarters. you're just having this very quiet life at home, Josephine. When you're, she's up north, you're out partying with all your friends <laughs> oh, every I wish day. she was. Right. right, so a quick way of sewing them together. Right. Okay, so have them out in your four rows. Yeah. This is I use this for quilts and all sorts. Mm -hmm. Do it all in rows to themselves, all right? So right. the most important part is to get your second one face down on your first one. When you've done that row, everything is set. If you confuse those two, your brain goes and it all okay, goes wrong. Okay. All right? So you just put those into it and then we're going to sew down this seam here. Bye. Okay. Uh, quarter inch seam allowance. Uh -huh. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's. Uh, here, 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 look. Oh! Uh, is it. Oh, I thought it was four. It's not four. Is it three? Three. Is Maybe it? I don't two. know. Do you know what the quarter inch is on the 560? That's the zigzag, isn't it? Yeah, no, that, no you're, you're just moving the um, needle across that one. That one. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry, anyone at home know the quarter inch <laughs> on this one? Because it's 06 on mine. What's 03? Let's have a look at 03. No, that's not it. Hannah's just looking up now. Sorry, I should have looked at no, this No, no, it's first. all right. Um, it's 01, hang yeah. on. 01's... Oh, no, that's 10. 10. 01's a straight. Yeah, it's straight, but look, the needle's over there. Hang on, let, let's just get a bit of... Have we got a bit of scrap? Actually, what I'll do is I'll use the quarter inch on the... Are you sure? Let me clear yeah, it Yeah, I've got a quarter inch. Yeah, just clear that. Right. OK. So there's a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch, isn't it? We see when you start if stitching we go it. Wonky. You won't go wonky. Yeah, a quarter of inch is five eighths, so three eighths, so two eighths is a quarter. Two yeah. eighths is a quarter, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So if Justin was here, he'd know. <laughs> does he not get involved in any of the same side then? He just does the cooking? Yeah, just does the cooking and the caring and the loving. Oh. Right, so come yeah. to the end of that. So you're not going to break thread. You're just going to oh, do the same with the next row. Okay. So you're going to sew all the way down that one. And then the same with that one. Just ignore the seam allowance. Too. Yeah. yeah. Just a quarter inch seam allowance. Yes. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so you go down there. That looks kind of perfect to me. <laughs> Bless you. Right, so then you're not going to break thread. Right. But you're then going to feed them back through. So you're going to start with your top one and then you're going to put that on top of the next. Oh, hang on, can we, you have to put it on your mat to show us how oh, to do sorry. it. Sorry. So then you've got your, so rather than breaking thread, yeah. you're going to take it back through and then where that one was. So you you're picked up number three off row one. And put that face down. And put down that face on down. Row one. Oh, okay. So these are quite small blocks, so you can you can pin them, but yeah. I just hold them together. And again, without breaking thread, take the one from row two and put that face down on your next one. Oh, it just moved then. Yeah, sorry, my foot was. A bit <laughs> 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 and then the next one. Yeah. So the one from there. So you just carry on doing that. And then row four. So rather than finishing that, I've got well, Apparently it's snowing in London. Those. You're not going to London, are no, you? No, I'm not going to London. So then you end up with a panel like this. 
Derek says good morning John and Louisa popping Hello. in to wish Louisa best wishes for her first day at Sewing Street can I hear a plaster in the background no they've gone now um, I'm thinking of recording Louisa's laugh and use it as my ringtone <laughs> says Judith I'll be in a permanently good mood oh, oh. brilliant program with Louisa says Helen the triangle cushion would love lovely in cave prints yes definitely uh, Linda says that's the best way of removing paper she's ever seen <laughs> and Princess said a little bit late Princess don't forget to change the stitch length yes. right so sorry right so you end up with a panel like this so all your lines rows are connected together with the threads that we didn't break okay right. yeah so yeah. when you sew them together so when you press them so I yeah. pressed this one already press all the seams in that row towards the left yeah towards the right yeah. towards the left towards the right yeah so then when you pin them together yeah. you will have opposing seams opposing opposing nestled I've never said that before I don't know where that came from nestled yes so then as you see you've got one seam going one way one seam going the other way the only way to match your seams in my opinion and then I put a oh. pin in diagonally just right, to catch okay. both seams now did I when I did my I've done a quilt for my window and everything oh, yeah, when I, I came that. to seams like that I put one either side right yeah was that not right then? no no you can do um, yeah, so if you've got one either side, the pin that's in the seam isn't going to be affected when you go through your machine. So, yeah, some people do that as well. Yeah. Um, but I kind of done it, put them in diagonally. Yeah, so, in theory, right. you're catching that one and that one and holding them in place. Right. Okay, so yeah. you do that. And then go on, then. Just do together. one. We'll do one. Or oh, do you need to do the whole block to show us how to go together? I'm just no, thinking no, about no, fitting no. the quilt in as no. well. No. So, I'll just do this with my dodgy seam allowance. <laughs> Not and obviously when you've got an accurate got seam allowance, the next you're hour. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yeah, you're messaged in to say what it was and Hannah couldn't find it. Maybe it's, oh I don't know, maybe you just do move the needle. Okay, so maybe yeah, just... so then when you've opened it out. Fran's got a question. Oh, uh, look, morning, great demo. I love this lady's pinafore. Fran, <laughs> Louisa, <laughs> did she make it herself? I knew someone was going to ask that, no. <laughs> Where's it from? You're allowed to say Tesco. Sainsbury's. Oh, Sainsbury's. <laughs> Sainsbury's. So I told you I don't do posh. I've got it's nice. Posh. No, it's lovely. Thank you. No, I do love it. It's very comfy. It's got pockets. Yeah. But I need to buy. I was going to buy. Who's made the pinafore? Catherine. Oh, which one? The Wear Anywhere, uh, Wear Anywhere pinafore. Catherine, right. Yeah, yeah. I need to buy that. Because that looks Sold lovely. out. Oh. Back on the eighth. Back on the eighth. Right. So there you go. So she I've got well. nice matching points there where my, I'm miraculously, my quarter inch. Work. Right, Brilliant. so just carry on doing that. Yeah. So then you've got your four blocks. Right. And then, as I say, you're going to piece those. Actually, we don't need to do this, but it's the same one, I think. So in those ones, in the green ones, I. You've done it the wrong way around. The seams. Oh, no, you haven't. Press the seams. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have done it the wrong way around. No, you haven't. Well, I've sewn them the wrong way around. Press the seams in Have those you? blocks upwards yeah. and block the, sew the seams in those downwards. Yeah. So again, when you come to piece them together, it's you should neat. have opposing seams again. Yeah. All right, so you then sew what those two. What have you done wrong then? There's nothing wrong. No, nothing, nothing. I would just I normally sew them that way in rows. Oh, I see but what I've you mean. You've sewn them that way, yeah. yeah. Um, which I suppose if I just move it around like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you sew those two together, those two together, and then those... And then again, you've got your border strips in there. Yeah, so, they come in the kit. Yeah, so cut two, cut one down for the two. I think this is the same size as the wall hangings, more or less. So short strips that side, long strips that but side. But it's all the instructions are in there, yeah. thingy, aren't they? Fabulous. Right, while you get settled, settled. Yes. No, while, you get, while you get ready to do the quilt, let me just go through what those go are sales-wise here. Right, pattern on its own. Cap, cap. Pattern on its own. There's what, so you say, Han? Right, you need to check out. So many people got it in their basket, right? There's more people got it in the basket we've got stock of, right? So you need to check out, need to check out, need to check out. If you're thinking, oh, I really, really want that, you can ring up or you can put it in your basket now and check out straight away. And the people who've just got it sitting in their baskets will miss out. That's all I'm saying. $7.99 for that one and you do get the paper to do the pretend FPP in there but you have to photocopy it yourself yeah and cheap cheaper photocopy paper as you can possibly do don't put your best paper in okay that's yours 
Thank you. Right now, are there any of the grey cushion left? Right, grey cushion here. This is the kit now. So you get the instructions. The only kit now I've got for this, right? So you get your fabrics, your grey fabric, your pattern fabrics, your, you get all of your pieces, do your FPP. You get, but these are your binding pieces. And you get the instructions, obviously, 22 .99. That will make that one. Gorgeous. So I'll put that here because I've got some of those left. Right, have I got any of the summer bloom? Going back, before we go to the quilt, have I got any of the summer bloom left? Right, what should I do first then? That can just pass my... Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. The rainbow one first. Now, these sold out earlier. We've had more back in. Louise has got more back in. You might have to wait a, a few days before this one gets posted out to you because the cardboard boxes and the cutting out and everything. Of the new stock, that's you, Han. That's 14 left, that's it. There's 14 left. And how many baskets? Seven. Seven, seven, so if, if those seven people check out, there will be seven left, but at the moment there are 14 available. That's all. And that's of the second batch. That's of the second batch Louisa supplied for us. Right, that's that one. Then the Liberté is this one here. So you've got the soft pinks and greys in this one with cream. And these are the Liberties you'll get, aren't they? Yeah, these are the Liberties you'll get. And these are the colours you'll get here. There you go, 34.99. It's enough for the front and the binding and the uh, border. You have to display your own back on that one. <coughs> the pattern obviously comes in there as well. Then the pattern on its own. And you get the papers as well. Okay, there's 20 available, but 24 people have got in their basket. So at this moment in time, four people are going to miss out once you've checked out. Brilliant. Next. Right, now we're going to start the quilt now. So I'm the one on the wall is this one here. Pattern on its own is sold out. You can't buy the pattern on its own anymore. So this one here, you get one and a half meters of your ivory, or is it cream? You get one and a half meters of your big flowers, clovers. Then you get a meter of the ones on yellow, a meter of the little flowers, a meter of those flowers, a meter of the green acorns. Seven meters, right, that is enough to do the whole of the front of the quilt and a binding and a patched back, we think. 89.99 so you've got a double sided quilt for 89.99 all you need to supply is the wadding and the time and the sewing machine and the thread and I've got a lovely sewing machine in the next hour okay that's that one the one Louisa is actually going to demo in we will be going over a little bit just so you know because I'm not expecting to, Louisa to rush right so this one here you get the pattern you get a meter of the flowers um, a meter of the peacock so that Loads both Lewis and Irene. Then you get a metre and a half of the tiles. That's uh, Riley, Blake, Lucy, Jane. Yeah. Then we've got one and a half metres. You know that one, Rose and Hubble. Chartreuse, Rose and Hubble, one and a half metres. And then I don't know who this one is. That's Lucy June again. Oh, yeah, by Lila Tuller is the designer. I wonder why she wasn't giving me the name. 84.99 plus your instructions and again enough to do the front the binding and a patch piece back so you're going to make a two-sided quilt for your 84.99 all you need is the wadding it's brilliant that isn't it and then a more affordable version and i think you're not going to see this one being made but i think this one would be quite dramatic so you've got white a meter and a half and your gray a meter and a half so there you're back you're either your sashing or your biggest squares and then your smaller ones are your silver your pale blue your mid blue and your cobalt blue 59.99 teenagers university quilt i reckon teenager in university do you i was thinking hannah on a sunday afternoon but there you go <laughs> she's like a teenager isn't she sometimes all and the, she is doing it you know hannah's doing an ma is she? as well as working here she's doing oh an ma i know what? eventing production something wow fantastic it's something like that isn't it yeah morning all lovely show with louisa 
I hope we get more of Louisa. Oh, thank you. And Jane says, is the paper available electronically so that it can be printed rather than photocopied? We don't do PDF here, but... Um, actually, my website's got free templates on it for... Don't HS be telling them that. For HSTs. Just oh, for, for, the, for half square the, triangles. For half right, square, and there's all different sizes, so you can actually print them off my website. Brilliant. Go to the website, sewmotion.com. So we won't get in touch or anything like that there at the moment. Right. Okay, right. so... so First of all, there's that many fabrics in here. I've started off by numbering them. So in the pattern, have you got the pattern? Sold out, but there you go. <laughs> Don't rip it, because that's going to someone. Yes, it is. <laughs> right, so you've got, I've numbered each of the fabrics, obviously, A, B, C, D, and E. Yes. So they are made up of two different versions, if you right, like. Right, okay. So you've got, that one and that one, and they're just alternated. Okay. But because they're obviously using the same four fabrics, one, two, three, four, well, the same four fabrics in there, all of the outer ones are the, the same. The same, yeah. But those ones are obviously, so I've numbered them. Right. So you've got, uh, and then I've numbered each block Y and Z. So it's just all like numbers and letters. Okay, but as long why as you've Y got, and Z? Well, because I went the other end, so the fabrics are all A, B and C. Uh, and then you've okay. got two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. Yeah. So then I thought, right, I'll go the other end and okay. call it block Y and block Z. Okay. okay. So in the pattern, you do have the block Y and the block Z. Brilliant. And it does tell you, so the cutting instructions have got everything that you need from each of your fabrics. So if I was you, I would snip off a little bit of the fabric and just stick it down. Or do what you've done, do a separate piece of paper because you might do it yeah. in, in different fabrics. Yeah, or do a separate piece of paper. Yeah. And then on the cutting instructions, you've got what you need from A, what you need from B, what you need from C, and so Brilliant. on. Okay. So then you've got then what you need for block for each block. So for right. block Y, you need two, yeah. six, yeah. two and a half of fabric A, B, C, D, then. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay, so that's how you do that. So what's this here then? So, so this is the ones that we're doing now. So that one's that one. So oh, okay, so this is block. Oh, okay, that's that fabric for that yeah. one, and that's the fabric one we're about yeah. to do. So okay. the only thing that I would bear in mind is that you need, so this one, the outer fabric, you need something between this one and this one. So you don't, basically, you don't want your that brown, brown one, one next, next to, it. to it. So never put the brown one on yeah. the outside. Yeah. yeah, so just bear that in mind. So D basically has to be a different from yes. C and D. Tone, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay so that's the only thing you have to worry about right. with those. So, right, now this is just the amazing, this, the simplest thing I've ever done in my life. No points to match. No so it's brilliant for a beginner scene. then. Brilliant scene. yes. Right, so we start off with a square and a square. Okay? Right. Yeah. So I'm just going to sew. Oh, here we go. Quarter inch. <laughs> oh, God, this, yeah. Well, again, as I say, it doesn't have to be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So we're just going to sew a two and a half inch square. Right. And if you want to do this all at the same time, you can strip a uh, chain piece this bit. Right. So if you've got, you need six of block Y, six of block Z. Right. So you but can I would make, what I would do is I'd make one, make one Z yeah, and one Y to make sure they're right yeah. and then chain piece maybe. The thing is, everyone's not in a hurry, are they? You know what I mean? No, like it's, exactly. For chain piecing is good for you when you know you've got a deadline yeah. to be here or a show or whatever. Yeah. But actually at home, we're doing it for fun, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Exactly. You don't have to chain piece, do you? So press your seams outwards towards the green. Right. Um, preferably with an iron, but I can't bother to. Okay, fine. <laughs> so we're just thinking. Oh, it didn't take her long to settle in, So did you're going to do a rectangle at the top and the bottom. Yeah. seams are very dodgy. Ignore the curving. <laughs> oh dear. Can't you say in a straight line no. after all these years? I know. No. Shocking. Mm. We've got to go I'm somewhere posh up. tonight. But it's just... Posh. <laughs> you stayed in the posh hotel and everything. I know, yeah, yeah. In oh. the same place. It's like, it's amazing. Well, I knew we were going there for dinner because they do a nice taster menu. Oh, okay. And then we were going to stay somewhere else for the night, I thought. Yeah. Oh. So then set your seams again. Yeah. And press them outwards. 
so obviously you would have done that in the middle bit as well so it would yours will not sit nice and flat oh there you go that's not too bad yeah. right so then this is where it gets not confusing but where you need to have just concentrate a little bit so in your freezer paper you need oh you need more than half a meter i forgot about that one you do need a meter of freezer paper yeah but normally it comes in boxes Rolls. oh yeah i sell oh it how do you sell meter. it i sell it by the meter i think okay we haven't got any in at the moment so if you want to get this started you can get it from yeah, Risa. Okay. right okay so you need a five inch a seven inch a nine inch and an 11 inch square right okay these are going to last you throughout the whole quilt so you, that's all you need is just one set okay yeah because you can reuse it over and yeah. over can't you so this is the wonderful thing so you've got a paper side and a gummy side yeah this is i use these for the quilt that's why they're not so smart so you put your shiny side down onto your fabric. So now you're going to have fabric Y. You're going to turn, you're always going to put your square on at that angle. Fabric Z, you're going to put it at that angle. Oh. It's just so you just get the difference. Yes, so that yeah, one's yeah. going that way. Yeah, and, and that, that one's going, going that way. way. Okay, so that's the only, right. well, so put it on at an angle. So just make sure that the paper is on top of the fabric. Yeah. And not hanging off the end. Yeah give it a good press like so and then you're going to cut around that oh and that's it so you don't need all you need to do I mean to be honest I think this square has trimmed down a bit where I've knocked it caught it but if you use a square ruler you, you can, make can sure see it, yeah. that it's five inches. So you're just going to place your five inch line yeah, yeah. on there and trim. Oh. And if you've got a rotating mat, we have to better. stop at the moment. <laughs> We've had a very busy few weeks. Yeah, you have, haven't you? So cut all the way around. So this is what I call nearly improv because you can't really see what's going on underneath. No. So you know you're going to have it at an angle, but can't really see. And you have so a reveal. Peel that off. Woo! And there's your centre square. Right. Okay, so then now you're going to take your next fabrics and sew it on the top, on the bottom, and at the sides. So okay. you get another square and a square. So I'll do, do that, that quick. Then. Now the pattern on its own sold out of this one now. We've only got the three different colourways. Blue is the most popular. Oh, lovely. Followed very closely by the one you're working with now. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, I think it would look solid. Uh, lovely with solid. Solid, would it? And it, look, it would look solid. <laughs> 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 and then you could do the um, wavy line quilting across it or the straight line quilting across what it. What are you doing on yours? Oh, I haven't quilted, quilted it. it. I, would, could, I would have done um, wavy line, I think. It just gives it a lovely texture and it's so easy and like as I said you're controlling the wave and it's with your walking foot so you there's no free motion nonsense about it it's, it's feeding <laughs> and itself. not the free motion is nonsense. no sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> say yeah. it as it is Louisa you know don't worry you know just me. on telly <laughs> and then if you go if you if you're doing your curve and you go out a bit and you leave too much gap you just fill that fill in, in with a bit of and it's supposed to be tree bark we can do that next and you're time a genius. you're here so that's that next oh, time yeah if we invite you back if you invite me back i've got my subscription my next subscription box to get ready now oh have you but nobody can join we can't join <laughs> that yet then no there is when does it full start the again well i do it yearly right although this year this seems to have gone on <laughs> <laughs> but um it's only some 12 months, months it's well, the same. Yeah, it yeah i know i, I keep no extending what happens it in, yeah when does it start is it january to december yeah if but then if it. people drop out or i do have a bit of extra fabric then i can do a few more boxes i'll let the best thing to do is yeah, no, to if sign they bought up eight january february march and drop out in april then you haven't got a january for march to send out no, they. Um, it's, it's just one project a box. Oh, it's not a block oh you're not making a thing by the no, end no, no. of the year. No, no, no. So this was one. That was oh, one month. Oh, I see. Um, there was a bag. There was another month. Um, oh, so just keep an eye on it. Will you put on your Sign up for your, the um, newsletter. Sign up for the... Well, I've got the newsletter. I've never seen that. Have you taken me off the list? Have you deleted I me? Meant to, I meant to look at your thing to see if you'd opened one in a while. <laughs> I've not received one in a while. It's probably going in your junk then. 
I haven't unsubscribed I, I think you. Justin's unsubscribed. <laughs> Calling him a bin man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with being bin man. No, 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 no. Mind you, it's not like the old days. You don't have to lift, lift the bin anymore. You just wheel it to the machine now. Oh, it's so easy now. <laughs> well, except that. I, mine's not very pop I'm not very popular with mine because now I've got cats. I empty the cat litter oh, into nice. the bin. And every time... <sighs> Do you not yeah, have disposable bags broke. bat? Oh. The bags break when they go up in the machine. It gets covered, not covered in, just the litter, just the litter. But you're putting the litter in a bag first. Yes. yes. But then the bag splits when it goes up. And goes, oh. 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 How are the cats? <laughs> oh, that was silence. She's being rude to me. No, I'm not. How not are the Not you, cats? no, not oh. you. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Right, get the next square right, woman. So then right, you're so go now that way we're going, again. are we going the same oh, way again? So you're going the same way. Yeah, so you're going to towards the right. <laughs> towards the right again. So all of the Ys, or whichever this one is, go yeah. to the right. Yeah. And all the Zs go to the left. Yeah. To the right, right, right. To the left, left, left. What song's that? To the right, right, right. How are the cats? Oh, that, that let them out this week. Yes, I saw that. Oh, and last well, night the I birds panicked. still alive. They're fine. We're not living in the middle of nowhere, don't I? Well, I know. But, um, no, they're fine. They love going outside. They're How old so, are they? They're uh, they, Cherry got them. Uh, uh, Cherry got them from the rescue when they were kittens, and they're now oh. two and nearly two and a half. Right, so you're just going to, again, my cut paper's a bit thinner, so just make sure you've got your oh, seven-inch yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your ruler. square. Yeah, they, I don't think Cherry knew they were going to get quite so big as they are. Oh, really? They're massive. And Norman and Ellie were tiny. <laughs> they're just black. They're just black cats. They're called British Shorthairs, but I don't, we don't know what breed they are. Because Cherry got them from the, from the rescue home, um, you know what I mean? Do they molt? Oh, well, they do. Oh. Why? Should they I not? I thought Shorthairs don't molt. Well, there's hair all over my bed. They love fighting. There's hair all over my oh, bed. Really? There's hair all over the sofa. Not horrible fighting, like... Just brothers playing. boisterous play in fighting so there you go so you've got that one okay lovely so then you're gonna Let's do one more do one more so no, i've got a whole hour to go i've got louisa's got to go she's got to pack all her stuff in her car <laughs> mind you you'll have let you'll have got more room now now you're not taking the blue cushion <laughs> <laughs> one day one day more Okay. Oh, so hang on, I've got a question. Loving the wonky square in a square. Yes. When stitching FPL, I reduce the stitch dice to 1.8. You don't need to on this one, though, because you're not removing any paper. Because no. you're just going round and just drawing round the edge of the um, thingy. Yeah, so you, don't, you can still do a small stitch, but you don't need to rip any paper out of this one, do you? It's only the um, triangles you need to rip out the paper. So this fabric, actually, I tried to have, because it is directional, I tried to have all the peacocks facing in. It was not that it really matters, because you lose Because it's wonky anyway. Yes. And it's wonky, and you, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have all the peacocks facing the same direction, then cut the wonky. <laughs> cut the reds off. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed on your, now this might be, why is the border? got a diagonal seam in it because you join them there's um there's four four five you cut borders so the width of fabric wasn't big enough oh, okay so i always join my borders with diagonal, with diagonal even though it's on the straight yeah oh, okay yeah i don't know why i do that i'm i think because it's less obvious when you've quilted it yeah it'll be yeah, less yeah. obvious and less bulk i suppose yeah i know you so do that did you train binding. in sewing no, no, oh. no. Um, what did I? Oh, I did art history. I've always sewn, but I'm yeah, yeah. But your I'm degrees, not, you haven't done a oh, sewing course. Oh no, my course. degrees. In, well, <laughs> this oh. is the story. So I went. I was convinced I did should do graphics degree. Yeah. So I went off to Bristol. Hated it because it was too fine arty, and I can't draw for toffee. Yeah. So then I left there, and then I was then convinced that I wanted. Well, I wanted to do textiles. Right. And then I was convinced that I should apply to Central St Martins and Chelsea. Obviously didn't get in. I got an interview with South Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously didn't get in. So then I ended up going through clearing and doing art history, art and film history instead. Oh. At Middlesex, which was where I did my foundation art, which right. I, I loved my foundation art. And I should have done textiles way back then, but they didn't do 
They didn't do anything like interiors or no. or anything like this. It was like and knitting where, oh, still and Bath? fashion. Or Bristol? And, no, no, this was at Middlesex. Oh, okay. Middlesex, Middlesex in Twickenham? Polly. Uh, no, um, Middlesex. No, no, cause, uh, because... Cat, Cock Fosters. Oh, Cat yeah, yeah, because there's Twick Twickenham's in Middlesex. Yeah, and yeah. Um, there's the arts, the artsy side, all their drama Cat sides, Hill. all Is in Twickenham. Is that now? Because it used to be in Cat Hill and it's moved Oh, now. no, it's in, well, it was in Twickenham when I was there. Probably. Right, so anyway. keep going round and then you end up with your blocks. So you're going to have three different blocks. So lay them out, alternating them. So you've got Z, Y and Z. Or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I was going to sew that onto there. Oh, don't worry. Right, so then you've got your... I think this works so beautifully with that it's green It's lovely, in isn't it? So then you've got your... Um, sew them into rows, so you've got mm -hmm. your three-inch sashing. sashing strips, and then you've got your... Longer sashing Longer strip. sashing strips. And then when you come to sew them together, this is what I was going to show you, when you come to sew them together, just make sure that when you're pinning, that you can line up the last sashing with the new sashing. Just oh, yeah, make yes, sure. yes, yeah. So you peel it back, line those up like that. Could you, you, could you get that. a friction pen and draw a line from there upwards do. so that with the top, you know, you're lining it yeah, up Yeah, or, or just on there. So put a ruler there. Yeah, and just, put and a just do a and notch at the top yeah, as, a, as, an extra, idea, as an extra yeah, one, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that's how you'd get it all nice and squared up. Brilliant. So then carry on. And then put your borders on. As I say, the borders are two join strips. Yeah. Um, and then quilt as desired. But Brilliant. But as I say, you've got enough fabric there to do. So if you got a whole, I think the width should do it. If you've got half a metre of one of them, you should be able to. Yeah, you might have to put a panel down the middle then. It's not quite wide enough. Uh, what, for the um, For the back. Back. End. For the back end. Yeah, but you could but always you chop it up and do whatever yeah. you want oh, with yeah, it, you couldn't you? Do you? Whatever you want. And then would you do a scrappy binding or would you use one fabric for the binding? Personally, this one I would actually do a, a one binding. Right. I would probably do it in the orange, this right. one. Right. Okay. Just to pick it out because you've got enough going on in there. Brilliant. And use the rest for the back. Uh, I can't, we can't say when she's back. When you're back, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> I've got to get through this first. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been lovely to see you. And Thank you ever so much. Thank you for she asking me back. No, it's our <laughs> pleasure. It's been lovely. Right, let me just do a recap very quickly. I know we're running late. Let me do a recap. So, Han? Which, oh. The one that's on the wall is this one. No, no, sorry, I just need that. So you get the pattern, and then you get seven metres of fabric, all beautiful fabric there. The ones you get most of, these two, these have to be your sashing and your, choose one of them as your sashing, one of them as your uh, outside uh, wonky square, and then all the others are those, mix and match with those. 89.99, but you will be able to make a double-sided quilt out of that, and, and a, um, What's that? Binding. Binding, thank you, round the edge. <laughs> she knew what I meant. <laughs> right, then there's the green one you just saw being sewn together. This is now the most popular. Now we've seen it out on the desk. So you get your metre of your green. Your meter, well, these two are the two that you choose from between your sashing and your outside square. And then these are your other ones. This is a mix of designers um, for all your other ones there. 84.99 plus your instructions. Then, last but not least, we've got the blue, le bleu. So again, that one and that one have to be your sashing or your uh, outside border. And then you've got your four blues coming in there for, and gray for your um, mix and matching. Beautiful, and how much is that one? Oh, I'll just wait for the graphics coming, sorry. That's right, Han, that's you. 59.99, the spice has gone to a head. <laughs> 59.99 she's getting old she can't cope with all the excesses of life anyway do not go anywhere I want mum doing anything else no no that's fine I thought there were too many people in baskets but we'll go back so how are we stock wise too many people in baskets but do please, please, please check out, because the only person that's going to miss out is you, really. The only person that's going to miss out is you. 
A lovely message. So pleased to see Louise today. I love the designs and fabric choices. You inspired me to start quilting. Oh, thank Megan. you. <laughs> oh, Megan doesn't get out much. Oh, oh look, but Megan, she's happy. Megan, I'm only joking. I'm only joking because it's Louisa. Happy, so well, it is a lovely message because do you know what? You've inspired. I know you've inspired more than one person, but we don't do it for you know what I mean. That one person has watched you and thought, yeah. oh, I can do that. Exactly. I, when I trained to be a teacher, all I wanted was one kid to be yeah. inspired in a class, and that's enough for me. So, uh, Megan, thank you so much for your lovely message. Right, and then the pattern for the cushion. Le cushion pattern. <laughs> now Hannah's tried to do it in French. <laughs> what was that that came up on my screen then? It was a brick wall coloured like, like in a nightclub. $7.99, who apparently, now I've just heard, they did um, polo shirts on the other channel then, and they nicked all of our mannequins to have our, on their polo shirts, have they? They think we don't know, you see. $7.99. Yes! Yeah, they're queuing up for their polo t-shirts behind me. $7.99, pattern on its own. Way too many of you want that now. Oh, grey cushion, grey cushion, sorry, grey cushion. Right, here we go. The grey cushion, the blue one is completely sold out twice. This is the grey one, which is following suit. So this one, you get all your lovely Alison glass fabrics in there. You get your lovely silver as your background and your pattern. And you get your FPP sheets in there as well, look. £22.99. £22.99, gorgeous fabrics in there. I'll just try and put that back neatly. I'm not successful. Right, that's that one. Do not go anywhere. When I come back after break, and I know I'm late and I'm late, I've got the Elner sewing machine, I've got the 680, I've got loads of lovely machines for you. We will see you in four minutes. I've got to get her out of the building yet. Four minutes from now. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about Yarn Lane? TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? A TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Okay, this is that this offer that I'm about to tell you about now finishes at midnight tonight. Um, cat and um, not not this cat, producer cat and Vix did it yesterday. They weren't supposed to, uh, so we insisted that we had today. Haley said no. We're still doing it. We're still doing it, but it is until midnight tonight, and then that is it. It will get taken off us, right? This is the machine, you must be sick of me saying this, this is the machine that I chose. I bought this machine. This is my machine, this isn't my machine, but I've got this machine at home. In fact, Sally, my friend Sally is coming round with her boy this afternoon, Dalton, because he's got another bar on his black belt in judo, so I have to stitch the bar onto his black belt on judo, and so I'll be using mine this afternoon. Anyway. £1,249, that's your price, that's your price, that's your price. You can get it. Five split pays of £250. If you want to use it, please do. Um, it's up to you, but you do not pay any interest whatsoever. So you, if you pay for it in one go, or if you pay it in five goes, you still say pay, pay the same price for the whole machine. As I say, this is the one I chose to buy. It was not a gift from Elna. I am not an ambassador for Elna. I chose to buy this one uh, of my own accord, right? I'll take you through the machine in a minute, but I will tell you, that the stock that we have at the moment, not just today's stock, but the full stock, will come with a five-year warranty. It normally comes with a two-year warranty, but the five-year warranty, until these have sold out, now, we had 150 odd, they sold out. We got another 150, they sold out. We got 150 this time. Now, how many are left, Hannah? Right, okay.
There are 14 left. That's it. 14 left. Now, I'm not saying we'll never get them again. I'm not saying that at all, right? But I'm saying in stock at the moment that we've got, that we can sell to you, that are on the shelves in Stockport, we've got 14 left. That's it. That's it. So, oh, okay. So only 14 have got the five-year warranty in. Number 15, if you buy number 15, you will have, you'll still get a warranty. You'll get a two-year warranty, but you won't get the five-year warranty completely for free. If you buy today, however, now I'm, I don't want to add any undue pressure. I don't want anybody spending, I said this on the Facebook yesterday. I don't want, you know what it's, if you know if you have money worries, you wake up in the middle of the night sweating, thinking I can't afford to, come. we've all been there. We've all been, I don't want anyone to do that. Yes, it's a gorgeous machine. Yes, if you can afford it, buy it. But I don't want anybody, anybody, anybody stretching themselves. But that is why, sort of, we did the, we did the split payments to help that sort of thing. Right, that's the machine, first of all. Now, until midnight tonight, if you buy one, we've got enough to do 14 of these bundles, right? But then that will be it. This bundle will be disbanded and they'll go back into stock and everything. If you buy this before midnight tonight, now they are waiting on the shelf in Stockport. So if you buy this before midnight tonight, what day is it today? Friday. Oh, well, so you won't, they'll, they'll um, email Elner over the weekend on Monday. It, they will start the shipping process on Monday. It's that quick because they come directly from Elner. Lots and lots of you said you got them in a couple of days, but I can't guarantee that because it's obviously it's the weekend. So what you get in this bundle of goodies is you get this lovely Ruby Star Society pin tin. Cats just went to camera, hang on. Oh, there you go. It's got a label. A lovely little pin tin there. You get these Sewing Street pattern weights. You get your Linen Look Fawn uh, panel. Linen Look, remember. You get the half a metre of the extra wide fabric that goes with it. Fawn. Then you've got these fat quarters here. Now I have no idea what these are because I've, oh, I've seen that one before. Mystery fat quarter bundle. Oh yeah, cows. That's not part of it. Five fat quarters mystery bundle. You get a panel here. Now is it a mystery panel or is this one you'll get? There you go. So that uh, there is the birdhouse panel, which is lucky really because you get the birdhouse instructions. You need to, you'll need to brown for your thing and then whatever you're going to put as your background. But you've got all the colours to make the birdhouses there. You also get this um, thread box, which is lovely with the owls on it, right? An owl! Right, that's how. You also get two metres of, oh, actually, there's your background for your Tripunto. There's your background for your Tripunto. So you only need a fat quarter of brown to make the branches out of. Brown. Right? You also get, if you want to do the background cream, you get two metres of cream. It's up to you. But you get both of them. You don't choose. You get both of them. You get a fat quarter accessory book by Susie Johns with the pink hair. And you get a little pair of snippers. Marvel snippers. Do you know me? Do you know me well? I hope. Hannah said she wishes she didn't. Then you also get the seagulls pattern from Helen Newton. And then I know this has got to slip in, but there you go. There's your Wendy Orlando. Sorry. Wendy Orlando must have had a really good show because everyone on Facebook's going on about how brilliant she is. Not just, she, I, I do think she's brilliant. I'm not saying that she's not brilliant, but she's obviously had a good show. Anyway, I'll drag my stick myself out to that one. <laughs> This machine is gorgeous, right? I sew with this machine. Um, what I, I, I haven't got time to do a whole splurge on it, but what I love, there's so many things I love. First of all, there's all your stitches in there. All your stitches are all listed in the, in the different modes. You get 176 stitches. You do get two needle plates. So the stitches at the end there are the, the professional stitches you do with your straight stitch needle plate. You get all of these. You get your satin stitches, your buttonholes, your embroidery, um, uh, decorative stitches. You get all your utility, everything like that. You also get alphabets. Now, you can do the alphabet and the numbers in capitals up to nine millimetres because it's a wider stitch width, this one. Do I mean nine or seven? Yeah, nine. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, you've also got a celeriac one as well. 
which I will say wrong. Uh, anyway, so there are, there are all your stitches. To actually thread the machine, it's like your simplest, simplest, simplest sewing machine that you started with. It's very, very easy to thread. But what I do love is in here, you have all of your favorite um, feet already there in the base at the top there. And it kind of pops forward like that so you can get them out easily. You've got your pivot pin, and then you've got your labelled up feet here. They, they, these are the ones they think you'll use most of all. While we're there, you see this, you've got your go faster, go slower. This here is your scissor, your thread cutter, when you get to the end of a seam. Seam? Oh, uh, sorry. Then you've got your needle up, needle down. Then you've got your da 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 da, -da lock stitch. Then you've got your reverse there. Now you see this button here, that's got green on it now because I haven't got the foot pedal plugged in. Yeah, yeah, look, because you can use this machine, if you just have that, if that green light is lit up, it means you can use that, right? You can use this machine by just starting and stopping the sewing there. Now I'm gonna plug in the um, foot pedal. It should turn red. Oh. I thought it turned red. Now, isn't that funny? Oh, it doesn't turn red, but it won't let you work it. Mine turns red at home. But look, because you've got the foot pedal in, it won't let you sew like that. This is what I love about this machine. It does not let you do anything that it, it doesn't want to do. So if you try and do something, it'll do that. Listen, does that be... It'll go, no, 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 not doing it. Look, and look up here, look, it's flashing. That's saying, your foot, oh, hang on. Your foot pedal's in, your foot pedal's in, you can't use the button. Take that out, the foot, the foot pedal icon disappears, and it means you can, you can sew with that without, the foot pedal, without the foot pedal. Right, so that's the front of the machine there. We just move across, here. oh, while I was, sorry, while I'm there, it's got a bobbin that you load from the top, it's got a see-through case there. I'll just tip that up so the cat can see it. So there you go. You load your bobbin in there. It's very easy to get to. Um, you literally just thread your bobbin round, uh, the thread through it round there, cut it with that, and it just leave it alone. Uh, if you change the needle plate, I'll show you that in a second because I need to move the box out of the way. Um, it's got your normal up-down presser foot. Right, that's it up, down. But then if you need it to go higher, if you've got other fabrics, you can get it higher. Stay there because you've also got... Now, I hate automatic needle threaders. Can't bear them. This one is so easy. It works 99.9 .9 times out of 100, I'd say. The only thing you've got to make sure of is that the needle is at the top position. So all you do to do that is you press that down, up, right. Now it's at the highest position, that needle threader works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. You've also got this here, which is your, um, when you're doing buttonholes, that's where it stops and starts, you know what I mean? It has to, it tells the machine, you've gone far enough, you need to turn around now and go back down the, down the side. While we're here, I'll just take this off because the gubbins tray comes off. That there is your, um, look, that just takes your needle plate off really, really easy. When you're putting the needle plate back on, there's a little target symbol there. Just press on there and it goes back into, um, into its place. It does have a free arm, this machine. Now, this one here, oh no, it's on the other end here, don't worry. Um, so that's all, all around there. Let's carry on up on the front to the control panel now. Oh, does it go red when the foot goes down the sewing? Oh, I don't know. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to check out that. Check out, Carol, when I get home. It's what? What? Oh, it did go red a minute ago, apparently. Oh, we'll see that. We'll see in a minute. Right. Okay. So, the control panel here. This is your control panel. So, uh, first of all, this is your stitch width, switch, this stitch width, and your stitch length. Now, this machine has. Is it ninety one? needle positions that kind of doesn't sound right that sounds like too many we'll have a look when we get to the slide it'll tell us but you can move the needle around so if you're on a straight stitch right and you want to move the needle you just literally press here there you go i was right 91 variable needle positions so that's just moving it across um this here remember i showed you the modes a minute ago for you to choose the different stitches that's your mode button there 
This one here is where you can put in a memory locking stitch and a memory scissor if you want to. As I say, that's your stitch length and your stitch width there. So what you need to do is when you choose a stitch, right? So I know that quarter inch stitch is, uh, quarter inch seam is zero six. So I just literally go zero six. It says quarter inch, shows you what the stitch is, shows you where the needle has got to be. And this machine thinks, oh, you're doing quarter inch stitch. You must be doing uh, piecing. So I'll go down to a 1.8 stitch. I don't always use a 1.8 stitch. So you can then, you can alter it. You don't have to go with what they say. Look, you can alter it up or down as you want to. But the machine thinks, because you're doing a quarter inch stick, you know, quarter inch hem, that you're gonna be doing piecing. And most people piece on a smaller stitch. Press that to go back to the beginning. Then what we've got here, though, this one here, you see this E one there? Oh, hang on. There you go, you see that one there? That means this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, thing. So if you look in here, right, you've got all your different satin stitches. If you want those satin stitches to be longer, but the stitch intensity to be exactly the same, but just longer, see all those satin stitches there? You can elongate them up to five times. So if the, if the first one that is set in the machine isn't big enough for you, you just press this. Go, oh, uh, I can't do that because I haven't got the satin stitch on. Hang on, what number is the satin stitch? 78 mode one, right, so 78. Right, there we go. Then if you want to elongate it, you can elongate it one, two, three, four, five times. Just by, so it's the same stitch, the same intensity of stitches, but you can just make it longer. You don't want that, you press clear, you go back to the beginning. This one here is if you're doing a decorative stitch and you want to do it in reverse, the mirror image, you literally just click on that button there and it will do the reverse image. That one there is if you're doing twin needling. This one here is if you want to do any settings. This one here, if you just want it locked, you don't want anyone to touch your machine, you just press the key, nothing will, nothing will happen, nothing can happen because it won't go, it won't start, you can't change anything. That's your lock key there. And just unlock it. And then that one there is to go back to the beginning of the set that you've just done. Then along here, you've got a shortcut to your buttonhole. You've got a shortcut to your zigzag. You've got a shortcut to your, that one's not your um, quarter inch, but that's another stitch. And then this one here is your shortcut to your factory settings. If you're halfway through deciding something, oh, I just, I just need to go back to the beginning, just literally press C and it will take you right the way back to the beginning. Um, you do get a large extension table with it. And I'll go through the feet that you get with it in a second. The other needle plate is inside there. So there's your spare needle plate. So when you get your machine, don't panic if you can't find your needle plate, that's where it lives. And then in here, in your gobbins box, you've got room for your bobbins and your other feet there. This will be a mess, I'm gonna warn you now. And then in there, you've got your buttonhole and your free motion and everything like that. It is a fantastic machine. Talking about free motion, if you want to drop the feed dogs, you just turn it around here. There's the, 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 the um, switch to drop your feed dogs. Now, I need to warn you, if you drop your feed dogs, they've gone down. If you then set it to go back up again, you click it, nothing happens. They won't come up until you start stitching. So don't panic thinking, oh, they haven't come up, they haven't come up, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken. It's not broken. They'll come up the minute you put your foot on the pedal or you press the button at the front start, they come back up again. So don't worry about that. As I say, it comes with a big um, table and it comes with like a semi, a semi stiff cover. I'm going here to show you. Semi stiff cover. Um, can we go through some of the slides, please? Would that be possible? What time is it? Oh yeah, yeah, we're right for time. Here we go then. I just got to go over here to read that. So, oh, can it go back on the big screen, please, Bruce? Thank you. So it's got 170 stitches, including 10 buttonholes. You've got a built-in superior needle threader. I can vouch for that. Large sewing space, 120 by 210. Goes 1,000 stitches a minute. It's got the free arm if you want to take the box off. Uh, the thread cutter, the presser foot adjustment, the easy guided bobbin threader, the bobbin thread and upper thread uh, sensors, extra wide table, and you get 10 bobbins with it. What's next, please? There's the table. That's your big table. Then look at these. Now, this isn't a deal that we've put together for you. This is what comes with the machine, right? So you get a standard foot A, rolled hem D, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe, blind hem, overlock, quarter inch foot, which we all want, darning foot, convertible free motion, including closed toe, open toe, clear view. You've got your walking foot. You've got your buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate. 
You've even got a foot to sew buttons on with. Oh, your circular pivot pin, which I didn't show you. Quilted gu guide bar for even feed. Straight stitch needle plate, bobbins, easy, uh, more and more bobbins. Needles, lint, spool holder, screwdriver, knee lifter, which I forgot to tell you about. Uh, now, I've never used my touch panel stylus, I have to say. X-ray extension table, foot controller, and semi-hard cover. Is there anything else that I need to show? Oh, there is another slide. Oh yeah, there's all the technical sides of it and everything like that. Now, the thing is, it's a maximum stitch width of nine millimeters, right? So that's wider, that turns it into the next category. So if you're buying any accessory, any more feet or anything, you do need to know that it is category C, or is it D? But check, just check which one, I think it's a D, I think it's a D, because it's a nine millimeter stitch width, which is wider than all the other machines. So that's it really, that's it. As I say, it's the machine I choose to use. I love it, you love it. Uh, lots of people have bought it today, I need to warn you. Not that I'm gonna run out. I'm not saying, oh, if you don't buy it today, you won't get it. But if you don't buy it today, you won't get that goodies worth 150, over 150 pounds worth of goodies. Say that again. Beautiful, 1,249 pounds. Please check out, there's lots of people got it in their baskets. If you're thinking about it, make sure you do it before midnight tonight. Oh, here you go. Question. Please, would you tell me what the arrows on the left of the panel under the mode and scissors are for? Right, what was it? What are the arrows? Underwear. Oh, these. That, that takes you... So if you choose stitch number 45, if you don't want to type it in... Oh, hang on. I'll just wait for Kat to come back. Do you want to type it in? Oh, now... How weird. Can we get the booklet? Can we get the booklet for this? Oh, you know what it is. Can we get the booklet for that? No, I'll come back to you. I always thought that was if you were on a stitch number, you could just move to the next stitch, but obviously not. Good question. Yeah, if you've got this, in fact, Jo Carter, jo Carter was in the other day and she's had hers for a few years, right? She still says that she stitches she has doesn't know what they're for. Oh, would you? Okay, we haven't got the brochure apparently. Um, can we look it up on the website while I'm doing the overlocker? Would that be possible? It's just those two arrows below mode. And on the first two pages, it'll tell you what they're for because it points everything out on there. Unless you at home know, what's that for there? I was li literally, well, I've, I've told you, I thought it was to go, like if you've chosen a stitch like 06. Oh, now I've done that one. Oh. Six, right? I thought it took you on to the next stitch, but obviously not. We shall find out for you, whoever asked that question. Good question. Okay, Hannah's going to do that while I just go over to the, the overlocker, which is my favourite new... I love this. Right. I just need to tell you, right, this is the air threader, so obviously it's going to be more... I have got the 664 on the show, if you want to do the 664 later, which is our most affordable overlocker. Again, really easy to thread up and everything compared to most overlockers. But this, I... Uh, the other morning I came in and I threaded up and I was... Thre it took me less than five minutes to thread this up. After I talked about it, a lady who's had that... Oh, sorry, I'm coming all the touch. A lady who's had hers in the box, because lots of people buy these and then leave them in the box for like three months and don't touch them. A lady got her hand and she went, I can't believe it's so easy. I cannot believe it's so easy to thread up. It, I, can't, I can't tell you what a joy this machine is, right? And I, I was even on the um, emailing Elna the other day about something else. And um, I kind of thought, I dropped in and went, oh, I'm loving. I'm absolutely loving the... <laughs> Nothing. Didn't get, oh, do you want one? Didn't get that or anything. Not that I, not that I do that. But anyway... This machine is fantastic, and I'm going to buy it, right? I am going to buy it, because Hannah's still got my old one, so she can keep that one, and I, I'm going to buy one of these. Oh, have you? Shall I go back, then? Okay, okay, who was it that asked the question? Can you remember? No, no, don't worry. The lady who asked the question about the... Who? Leslie! Hannah's looked it up. I'll tell you exactly who they are in a minute. I'll just finish this, and then I'll go back to that before we finish. Right, so... This overlocker is brilliant, right? So before I tell you about what you do with an overlocker or anything like that, I'll just show you how easy it is to thread up. First of all, you do get your, um, your rubbish tray there. Then you open the front here. Now, as soon as you open that front there, the machine will not work. You can put your foot on the pedal, you can do whatever you like, the machine will not work. 
These two first threads on an overlocker here are your, lo are your lower looper and your upper looper. They're the ones that use most of the um, thread and are the most difficult to thread up, right? With this machine, all you do is you start, well, most overlockers, you have to start at this side and work through. And if this one breaks, you have to take them all out and start all over again. Don't need to do that with this one, but I always start threading this side. You literally bring the thread up. Oh, and for those of you who asked, our buying team are buying more overlocking thread for us because we haven't had any in stock for ages. Bring your thread up through your um, telescopic thing, bring it down. You literally just put it through the loop at the back there. You take it through your tension down here, and then you see these little holes here. What you do is you turn this switch here, that one's for sewing, that one's for threading. So I've literally turned it here. This one here, I've chosen which one I want to do. So I want to do this one first. And then what you do is you then um, twist this round, the, the, the clutch round, until it clicks. And when all the pipes and everything are all lined up, you know it's ready to go. You then take the thread and you put it in there. Now, the mistake I was making to begin with is I was just putting in like by a centimetre or something like that. Put a good one and a half inches of your thread inside there. You lift this up. You press it down, it goes, it sucks in the air from the atmosphere and whooshes it through and it takes your thread straight through to there and you literally, Charlie and I are going to make a film so you can see it doing it. Or you can just, um, I went onto YouTube and I just put threading up of the Elna 864 Air and there's, the, there's about four or five really, really thorough ones. Anyway, that's your lower looper. Then what you do is you thread up the next one the same, you turn that switch to that side there, still keeping this on threading, and you bring your thread through, do that, and the, and the upper looper goes through as well. So now you've got two threads coming out your machine here. You just pull them to the back of the foot and pull them out like that. You then, now what you have to do is you have to switch the machine off. You have to lift the foot up like that, and then you just thread the, these two here, which is your right and your left needle. So your right needle, you come down here through the tension gauge, straight along there, over this loop here, down there, through the guide there, through the guide there. There's a thread, there's a, there's a threader, a needle threader on this machine, look, to thread your needle. So you thread the right one, you do exactly the same with the left thread, you just move the needle threader across to do the left one. And you literally have, then you then, then you're ready to go. You close up the thing, you switch it back on, you put the foot down, put the gubbins box back. Now, oh, just flashed at me then. Get your fabric and then we'll just test out. So now, you know that when Catherine Harrison, Re Rebecca Harrison comes in, why did I do that? I've known her for over 30 years and I keep doing that. She literally, she literally, she literally comes in and um, all of her pieces are all overlocked round. All overlocked round, you see. So, what she does is she cuts all her pattern pieces out. I'm just gonna do a straight line here. She finishes all the edges off like this. Before she sews anything together, she finishes all the edges off like this, right? So there you go, that's your, that's your edge completely and utterly sorted and done, everything. That's because she's either going to carry it around in a bag, she's going to bring it here, she doesn't want it to fray if using linens or anything like that. All your edges are then finished, right? Doesn't just do that. If you want to sew a seam together, let me just get some scissors. Now, we'd normally do this on stretch fabrics, because you can do it on stretch fabrics as well. But if you want to just sew two seams together, So there are two pattern pieces there. So these together, put them edge to edge. And you've even got a guide on the inside of the on the side of the foot here, saying five eight seam length. So you know you're not cutting off too much. What it does is it sews the fabrics together, finishes the edge off. So you've sewn your two bit, but then look. There's your seam there. There's your seam all done like that. Brilliant for jerseys. If you're putting cuffs on in jersey, if you're putting little neck bands on in jersey, you can do that as well. Um, it is fantastic, but it doesn't just do this. It does do this. Have a look at some of the slides we've got for the 864, uh, yeah, the 864 air threader. £1,059, but it goes on split pay, remember? £211. Right, here you go. Can I have it on the big screen, please, please? That's right. 
Uh, so you've got the air thread system there. Two, three or four thread overlocking. Built-in needle threader, adjustable differential. Now the differential feed is like, stay on the picture, you don't have to come to me, but the differential feed is like your, how fast it takes the fabric through. It's like your walking foot, how fast it's taking through the upper fabric and the lower fabric. You've got a five level pressure foot, eight piece feed dog system, two thread converter, built-in thread cutter, and it goes at 1,300 stitches per minute. It's fast, it's very, very fast. Next slide. Okay, so we've got one. With, oh, I, I, what I need to... Right, okay. I need the bottom bit of that picture. So the four-thread programme does overlock, stretch, de decorative, over-edging and gathering. The three-thread does overlocking, reg overlocking regular and wide. Uh, it's like... Uh, rolled hem, narrow hem, pico hem and flat lock and pin tuck. The two-thread, which is cut off your picture, says... Flat lock and rolled hem. You can do a rolled hem on an overlocker. So it's really, really easy. If you want to do a chiffon scarves at Christmas, it finishes the edge and turns, it doesn't have to be for Christmas, but you can make rolled hems as presents for anybody. Uh, you can do gathering. You could do gathering on there. What is that there? The four thread program. Look, you could do gathering on, a, uh, on, a, on an overlocker as well. Uh, it, just sit, get it home, read through your brochure of what it does. I'm, I'm going to get one. I'm definitely going to get one. So. It's £1,059 uh, if you buy it straight out, or 2000 no, not £2,000, £211.80. I was just like, five split payments. So you pay £211.80 a day. Now, the thing about these split payments is, as soon as you pay the first one, which will be midnight tonight, it'll be sent out to you. Again, it comes directly from Elna, so it's on the shelf in Stockport, ready to come to you now, right? As soon as they get the go-ahead that you've paid your first 200 now. You do have to pay three ninety-five post and packaging, only if you haven't bought anything else today. So if you came in and bought, what was the early bird? Oh, the red or black fabric early bird. Bought half a meter of that, or you bought a quick unpick and you paid your three ninety-five post and packaging. That's it. You don't pay another three ninety-five. All you need to know is if you buy this comes from Elna. If you bought something else like the early bird, that comes from us. So you'll get two deliveries. One will be the things from our warehouse, and one will be from the Elna overlocker. Uh, 1059 pounds it is brilliant if you're if, if you're even thinking about it now I don't need I don't really need a whatever to go with it because it just it's just brilliant on its own and I've just gone have a look see how much you can pay we we have got a juke and I'm not saying this to fight them against each other because I said this the other day and somebody went and bought the juki one but we do have a juki air threader which is 1295 not I'm not putting them up against each other but I'm just saying for an air threading overlocker you can pay an awful lot of money more money than 1059 pounds so if you're thinking about it just the thing is about an overlocker is I like, like you'll say oh I don't need one of those what do I need one of those for Jane's even made a quilt top using hers Jane from Elna she's made a quilt top I know um yeah, it's the kind of machine you think, oh, I don't need one of those. Why do I need one of those? Well, I've got, I've got a thing to spend £1,059 on. You get it home, you start playing with it, and you'll be thinking, why, oh, why, oh, why? So what you can do is, also, if you make a dress, oh, hang on. Hi, John, can't wait till Mondays. That's when I'm getting my overlocker delivered. So excited from Christine in Crickwood. Monday, she's getting hers on Monday, see. Um, what was I going to say was, um, you're making a dress. Thanks, Hannah. You're making a dress. You yes, sew your seams. No, no, I'm saying thank you because I was completely lost. Uh, you want to finish the edges. We go, don't we all zigzag it? You just finish, once it's fitted, finish off all your seams, everything you need to. And it's like, it's, it's like um, when Nikki, the producer, was in uh, last Saturday, she went, oh, what's an overlocker? And I just got a sweatshirt and I turned it up like that. Went, That's what it does. And showed it. It's like a professional finish. And it's just, it's the, just the best way. There's nothing worse than if you make a dress and then on third or fourth wash, all the seams are, are um, fraying away and everything like because you're not able to finish them off properly. This, you get that professional finish every time. And it's so easy. The one thing that people hate about overlockers is the threading of an overlocker. This is so easy. I can't tell you, you will be able to, it's easier than a sewing machine. It's easier to thread this than a sewing machine. You will have it threaded, all four threads, in five or 10 minutes once you get used to it. I'm telling you that now. Now, the other thing we also say, and Jan Hill disagreed with me on this one. I said 
just like leave grey on there all the time so if you're not going to see it it doesn't matter it's only if you're going to overlock the inside of a skirt that might move or the in in uh, inside of a cape or something you might see then i'd change the color but on the whole i just if i'm just making a dress i would just make it and put either gray black or white on it there's no there's no need you don't oh, and also you don't need don't put, you can put your orofills because orofill actually says on the website or can be used on an overlocker don't be wasting it on, don't be wasting your best threads. Buy a fine overlocking thread. It's brilliant for what it does. And because you've got four stitches going, it's strong as well. Um, I would never use overlocking thread in my sewing machine to create anything though, because it's not strong enough for that. But when you've got your threads like this going, it's fantastic. And we are going to be getting some in stock because Paul from buying sent us an email this morning to say he'd ordered some more. So if you want that, please, please, please do have a think about a good think about it and check out your basket. Right, very quickly, let me just go back to the 680. Just to explain what those buttons are for, those little arrows are for. So Leslie just messaged in saying what those are for. I always thought they were to go backwards and forwards between stitches, but apparently the instruction manual, it's called the cursor key. You press the arrow. Oh, uh, right, okay. So when you've put in a pattern combination, so say you've done your three, you, you've put your um, sewing machine, then you put in a helicopter, then you put a flower, you can bow backwards and forwards. Like if you put a name in, if you use the alphabet and you put a J-O-H-N, you can go backwards and forwards to check what you've put in the machine to make sure it's the right thing. So it's once you've put your embroidery or your decorative stretches in, memory, moved on and everything, then you can have a look. It takes you backwards and forwards. Oh, that's good to know. Good to, I've never used mine. Obviously, I've never used It's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Anyway, the other thing I was going to say to you is if you buy this, the machine comes from Elna, right? But the bundle of goodies will come from us. So if the bundle of goodies arrive without the machine, don't be thinking, oh, they've forgotten my machine, or vice versa. These come from us, these come from Elna. Single figures now! Single figures for that machine now. So I had 14 left at the beginning of this hour. I know quite a few went during the day today. Um, single figures now. And so, right, now, let me just explain something, right? I'm not saying we'll never get it in again. We will get it in and it will be at this price. And the next batch will be at that price. It's not going to go up now or anything like that. But you won't get the five year warranty. We don't know when the next batch is coming in actually. Don't know when the next batch will be here. But you also won't get that. Now we always do some sort of um, gift or whatever, don't we? But, but, but not that's over £150 worth of goodies in there. I know. I think that's half your Christmas presents done, isn't it? If you've got sewing friends. Do you know what I mean? Or birthday presents, put it up. or for you, self-gifting is the way to go. If you don't like owls, give that one to someone else. Give that tin box, that pin box to somebody. Anyway, five payments of 250 pounds or 1,249 pounds. You don't pay any interest whatsoever. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. I love this machine. Right, very, very quickly. Oh, I've got to be very, very quick. We also have the 550 and the 560. For some reason, we haven't got the 570 in stock at the moment. 560 first, which is this one. So this one here, I'm not going to plug it in. God, it gets very dusty. They, they, they're stored under the front of the desk here. They're free, they're dusty. Okay, 619 pounds. This has got 100 stitches built in. So, so just so you know, the 550, the 560 and the 570 are all exactly the same machine, same motor, same everything. Just as you go up or down, then you get more for your money sort of thing. So for 619, split pay 154.75. We will be getting the 570 back in, we just don't know when, right? We just don't know when. It might be today, it might be here already, but it's just not logged in yet. This machine here, you get all the Elna excellence and quality. So you get here your... Um, locking stitch needle up needle down your thread cutter go fast go slower you've got your choosing of your um stitches here your hundred stitches that are built in stitch length stitch width you've got a shortcut to your buttonhole you've got a short stitch a shortcut to your over edge stitch shortcut to your um zigzag short and that takes you back there you can also put the memory for the scissor the thread cutter into the memory so it cuts every time you finish a seam Yeah, accessories are the same on all three. 
Okay, there you go. So, stand accessories on the right-hand side there. You get all the, ooh, you get all those feet. Brilliant. Uh, standard foot, satin stitch foot, over edge foot, zipper foot, blind hem foot, quarter inch foot, automatic buttonhole foot. You do not get a walking foot with this, but you can ring Elna. They'll sell you one uh, over the phone and it can be with you in a few days time. Look at all of those different, it's just got so much going for it. So many people absolutely love this. It comes with a hard cover. It weighs 6.5 kilos. You get an instructional video for some reason. It highlighted in red. I didn't get on those with mine when I bought my 680. Uh, and it's got a hard cover. So it gets an extension table and a hard cover. So that one there is your 560, which is 619. I'm just waiting. 619. 619 pounds or split pay 154.75. Then. We've got the 550. Now, this is the now. Uh, what I would also suggest you do is Google Yahoo or Bing any of these. I'm not going to do it now because I'm about to run out of time. But do please have a look at how much these could cost elsewhere. 549 pounds, exactly the same sewing machine as the 560. This time you get 50 stitches in built in, a mixture of your, your utility, your quarter inch, your buttonholes, all that, a couple of decorative stitches in there as well. The only difference is you do not get the thread cutter on this one at the top here. These machines as well, you can do the start stop, where is it? You can do the start stop function, you can on the 8680, and you've got a reverse function there. Has got a needle threader, it does come with a buttonhole foot, so it gets, oh, you could do all of that for £549. Split payment, £137.25. Four of them. Shall we do, we'll do the menu and then if I'll go back to this machine if I've got time. Right, uh, menu for tomorrow. It's not me tomorrow, I'm not in again. Let's just come in for one day this week. Stuart's in tomorrow doing the Adrienne Leben Bio Geo Fabrics. We've got nine o'clock, so over it. Oh, Adele's in tomorrow. Aw. So over it, Soraya jacket with Adele Roland. At 10 o'clock, they've got designer fabric bundles under under 10 pounds <coughs> for designer fabric, excuse me. Then we've got So Beautiful with Adele Rowlands. And then um, 12 o'clock, 10% 10 10 off pre-cuts. Very nice. So it's Stuart tomorrow. It's Stuart tomorrow. I am back next week on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What have I got sticking out the top of my head? Oh, some tulips. Oh, yes, I was, I was meant to tell you about this, right? I haven't got this here, but I've got a picture of it, right? Um, this is gorgeous George did this when they came in with Gary, right? This is from Franklin's. It's what, oh, Hannah doesn't think he's gorgeous. She's got funny taste. Sorry, Steph, if you're watching. Uh, right, this machine always sells, right? It is a Tony blind hemming industrial sewing machine. You get four wheels of thread and a light worth six, over 66 pounds. And it literally does what it says on the tin. It's not a beautiful machine by any means. It's quite, you know, when you go to those under the sea, David Attenborough, and there's all these lovely fishies and everything go past, and there's a big ugly one at the bottom. That's what he looks like a fish at the bottom of the sea to me, that does. And when I saw the boys from Franklin's at that uh, Sewing for Pleasure, they went, oh, you think our Tony's ugly then, do you? I said the machine, not the boy. Anyway, it's £579. What date did Gary do it on? Can you remember? Not Gary, George. 14th of October last year. Do you go to YouTube? It sold out within minutes. He did it with me on the 14th of October last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, go to that one. Don't go to the Gary one later on. Stick with that one when George is just doing it. Gary was in charge of ironing that day. Oh, I don't know. Gary, you know, because Gary's getting a bit on a bit now of years. He's like a bit jealous of George getting all the attention. <laughs> At the uh, same pleasure, they all had matching trousers on. They kept showing us their matching trousers. Anyway, anyway, look, I've just got to remind you very quickly before I go, because I've only got a couple of minutes. This machine... It at midnight tonight, we'll still, oh, well, I'm saying we'll still have it. We're down to single figures now. We're down to single figures on this, right? The deal to get the, the goodies worth over £150 finishes at one minute to midnight tonight. So if you have got one in your basket and you're thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? Um, if you can afford it, go for it. I so would. I love mine. It sews like a dream. You only have to go to the Facebook fan page and just ask, 
what do people think about it? You'll, you, I haven't seen any negative comments whatsoever. Oh, no. i tell you what the only negative comment I heard was, oh, it's a bit heavier than the 570. It's not a machine that's meant for taking, lifting and... I mean, it's, it's not too heavy, but you, you don't want to be throwing it in the back of the car all the time. Having said that, when I was doing the John Scott show, it was in my car every Thursday going up to Western Super... or down, across whichever way you go to Western Supermare. It was going to, it went to Western Supermare. It, it's, it, it's not a machine like a lightweight one to take to classes or anything. That's the only negative thing I've heard about it at all. But if you buy it before midnight today, you get 150 pounds worth of goodies. Look, you get Wendy Orlando patterns, you get books, you get Helen Newton patterns, you get snippers, you get two meters of cream, two meters of white, you get a Delphine pattern, you get a panel to go with the Delphine pattern, you get the owl, um, thread box, you get the pin box, you get mystery fat quarters, designer mystery fat quarters, you get fawning around and you get a fawn, oh and pattern weights. I'm going. I'll see you on Monday morning. Enjoy Stuart over the weekend. Thank you for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! For a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.